There we are. Live as a bird. We're live as a bird. And such a like impromptu just Yeah, we're doing an EFAP, guys. We're we are standing like a lemon. Lee Lemon, sir. That's a Futurama reference that you're not gonna get because you guys don't watch good stuff. Correct. We do not watch good stuff. I watch Futurama when I'm high and it makes the experience so much funnier. That's your opinion. Subjectively. <laughs> it's your opinion that you're high. Subjectively the best. It's your opinion that you have an opinion. What's the time for you? It is 4.28 a.m. It is a time where you're not, not supposed to be up as a human, but fuck it. What's the time for everyone It's the else? time when Sargon streams. Is it? Yeah, it depends on when his last bad stream was. Oof. Oof. I mean, muting the opening 20 minutes, that was genuinely like... I would have thought somebody <laughs> would be able to get through to him, but I guess he had like all notifications off. The thing is, you know when you have like OBS, whatever, you can, you can see the, the little levels moving when you talk, like the audio levels, as if the program is receiving, you know? I wonder if he even had that on the yeah. poor guy. Uh, <laughs> good news, everyone. Probably man. uses XSplit. I think he does, actually. I'm not sure. I remember him mentioning that, and I was just like, isn't XSplit the one that you have to pay for? Oh. That's, I mean, you know, I'm not saying... <laughs> XSplit's not saying, the shitty one that I can't get rid of. Not saying it's you know better it's or worse than OBS, but I mean if you're gonna have to pay for it, it's OBS it's is really uh good. it's worse. That's like your opinion. I bro. tried using XSplit once. No, XSplit <laughs> is objectively worse. I tried using it once and it was a piece of shit. Well, OBS objectively really, has less letters. Really That's hard right. to get so off your computer too. On a per level quality basis, it is better because it it is it is a better quality product with less letters. This is true. Like, for example, A New Hope is better than The Last Jedi, mainly because you, it's a shorter title. you didn't... And Downward Thrust. Oh, Wolf is really loud. Okay, I can sort that out. That's fine. It's actually... I'm it's loud? Great. No, no, turn it's, down it's, my no, mic. No, it's great that someone's too loud. That's a great problem to have, because it's always because that everyone's too quiet. We can turn you down, but yeah, you can't people, turn me off. People always tell you that your streams are too low because you're technologically illiterate. They are so low. I don't know what technological is, so I have to disagree. It's oh. the machine. Well, that's is, that, is that the technical hell, or the literal hell, or the biblical it's hell? The, it's the metaphorical hell. I it's see. the figurative hell. It's the mythicist hell. I saw like one of the comments about that was just like, when he says literal hell, is, is he referring to the Christian one, or, or about all the other derivations of that? Yeah, because... Event? Just... Yeah, because it's not real. So the literal, like the literal, f it that means it could be literally figurative. Yeah, and that's why it's confusing. Or figuratively literal. Yeah, because it's a literal interpretation of something. Doesn't he? Didn't he use the word biblical at one point? That was the interesting part. I can't remember. I know that he said a lot of words. <laughs> like, wait, what? Yes. uh... This is this is crazy for a lot of people considering the whole 4:30 a.m. thing. So any of my British fans will just be like, "Why? Why are you doing this?" I'll be like, "I don't even know what time it is here." See, Bryce what time is it for is. me? It's 10:32. Pum. 11:32 for me, boy. 11:32. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, that's not terrible. Why does um, it say I'm still playing Killing Floor? Because you're still playing Killing Floor. I'm not. I'm trying to Open find line. no. So, I, I have the option to play it on Steam, even though it says I'm already playing it. So, Wags, have you actually seen Black Panther? Uh, bits and pieces. I've seen a lot of clips and stuff, but no, I haven't. I haven't sat down and watched the whole fucking thing from start to finish. You oh, should bless be right, your soul. Because everything, have... everything that I've seen has been uh... a lot of the arguments are concepts, so you'll you'll be able to just run with it as soon as you get the information. Oh, good. Needs. But um, I like concepts. You'll, you'll enjoy these ones, because they arguably get to the point of policy. Or at least a lot of people seem to think it does, because, uh, you know, I'm automatically like point a of, crazy... Point of policy? The, 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 a lot of people extrapolate from my Black Panther video that I am uh, coming from a Racist? place of like... Well, it's, it's that, plus 
this element of like the the policy White to try supremacy. and overthrow your I don't even know, man. <laughs> like, your... Dude, I just find it funny that I looked through the comments and I could still find someone shitting on me there. Oh yeah, it's awesome. It's it... very strange that um, I mean, you can't just make a review anymore. What? I'm no. okay with if you're a white guy and you video, said something to go racial. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that, that uh, slant to it. If you said something mad about the black movie, then you're a bad person. I mean, this is the thing, like, I'm okay with criticizing That's my, my favorite criticism. Angle. My favorite angle is like... You fucked up, guys. But anyway, yeah, so... Help us. Um... With the conversation, so something's definitely wrong. Freaking Dude, it. my my Discord literally says I disconnected. Don't I don't watch They'd this almost, shit. They would almost be... While you figure that out, I'll find one more... <laughs> well, Appa Ben's in the chat. Appa Ben. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, what's this uh what's this Peach Bowser thing that I keep seeing everywhere? What? This Peach Bowser with the black dress? Uh can you send me a picture? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, let me I can, I'm sure I can scroll around and find it. But I keep seeing a picture of like Peach and Bowser kind of mixed together here. Um uh, here in the Discord. Do Stuff like that. Yes, I can. Oh, okay. I think I think I'm back now. I have not seen that, but that's that's uh yeah, this it's like a Bowser peach thingy. That's fucking weird. <laughs> Why? Why is this a thing? How is it chat? Is everything normal? I mean, for Christ's sake, I can't seem to have at least one stream without an internet fuck up. <laughs> oh god, off. Bowsette. Bowsette? That's what people are saying in the chat. Alright. Clearly the Clearly the bastard love child of Peach and Bowser. Yeah, cool. I apparently dropped frames, but now it's all good. It should be all good. Just let me know if I start, you know, flipping out or something. Uh, but if we're all good, are we good to go with this video? Is there anything else we wanted to say or do? We need we need the browns. I oh. need, we do need the browns, I don't know but if we, we should, also need a I'll link. Take, I'll take a single brown. We can't have two brown. That's gonna... Oof. That's true. Fr Fringy does have the funnier laugh. Because well, then they start getting bold when, you know... I, mean, I was gonna say, not, you know. if, if Fringy's available, I'd say chuck him on, because he hasn't actually been on an EFAP before. <laughs> I gotta get him in, man. <laughs> well, hey, it means the experience. I had a foursome, but rags didn't come on last time. But I wish I had like a constantly updating internet connection thing, so I don't even know if I'm actually still connected or not. It's frustrating, oh, okay? Frustrating. Are you on Mueller or Mahler? Oh, I'm Mueller. Oh, but it says it says video output low. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. That's good. Well, it's, it says you're live right now. I'm looking at the stream. It's uh, It lowered to pretty incredibly fuzzy quality. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, looks like it's good to me. <laughs> Any word on 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 Fringy, by the way? I'll shoot him a message if Rags hasn't already. I have not. Wow. All right. Both useless. We're gonna have to keep everyone busy with hoping that my fucking stream. You know that thing that says stream health? It's like red right now. <laughs> I'm just like, oh man. Uh. Get out a health pack. The gay frogs are coming. All right, I shot him a message. We'll see. He's online, so he shouldn't take too long to reply. Mm. Oh, he's he's typing. Oh shit! Is he tipping? Is he tipping? He said oh. yes. I will he bring him in. Yes, bring okay. him in. Go ahead. Somebody can anyway. Okay, we got our brown. <laughs> <laughs> we got our. <laughs> can we? I'm gonna Red, tell them blue, green, orange, all our powers unite to create Captain Asshole. Earth, water, fire, oh, and no. air. <laughs> and heart. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony, but then the downward Ooh, thrust attacked. Stream health is back to green. High five, guys. Hooray, you did it, Fringy. <laughs> and then he leaves. And he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. Fringy, please. <laughs> No! He came in. He heard me. Princess Peach in the comic that Bowsette is from is Bowser taking the power up. It is not apparently the bastard love child of one of <laughs> Peach and Bowser's many sexual 
um uh, what what would you say encounters um, i would i you could say encounters though really i think i'm not going to say rape cuz you don't you don't get captured that many times before i think i think she knows what she's i, I think i think she knows what she's doing she's on board with the idea <laughs> she's it? on board oh no i'm rescued again she now wants to got, see if she can know, take that giant turtle d i'll bet she can out by now oh, wait, everyone's saying <laughs> oh yeah is, are we down this is we'll it's try to me. fix the stream we'll keep talking about peach fucking bowser <laughs> I think but at first he just like me. squeezed it in between her thighs, you know. Maybe they're saying F for Peach. I don't know. Oh, there's Fringy. They oh, Fringy's back. Hooray! They, they, they were saying F for Fringy. Oh, there you go. F. They're saying F for fuck Bowser. <laughs> so anyway, Fringy. hey Fringy, we're 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 gonna be assaulting the idea that me and Wolf are racist, and we figured we needed someone to um. You know, back up these claims. Hmm. Um, it was a little it's too... like you know, it, it is interesting how there's a correlation between people I associate with on the internet <laughs> who get accused of being racist. Maybe you're the problem, Fringy. Maybe you exude racism and we soak it up. The big in trick. Our... I, yes, I mean, I I do hate myself, so that might explain a lot. Much like yeah. our white skin absorbs vitamin D, so too does it absorb all of the racism from around us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, we, we thought it was a little too pale in here, so we needed to get a token brown for us yes. to make sure that people couldn't accuse us of being racist. And hey, Fringy, have you seen Black Panther? I think you have, right? Uh, oh, you know what? I th maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> well, it, it was forgettable, so... Uh, it, yes, it was. So we, 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 what we've got is... Oh, wait, I'm gonna have to give... Every, oh, fuck, I haven't even given you guys the link. That's pretty retarded, isn't it? Uh -oh. yeah, no, I just I think I just retarded. put the link on street. Can they see the whole thing? No, they can't. Ha! You guys still can't get in here. <laughs> We're okay. I haven't given everyone the link to the watch together. Oh, I so see. You've learned from Rags' mistakes when he will just display it openly. You know, there used to there was stream. there used to be a time where I made that error, and I have learned from those mistakes. And now it doesn't happen because I have templates. And, yeah, that's uh, what you do. That nature, you, yeah. you put an overlay so that people can't see, like, like I have bookmarks. Yeah, the, the window doesn't. See, so yeah, the window doesn't. The it covers up the, the that bar. It zooms in, and yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's yeah. right. Oh yeah. So I've only got one guy shit? joined so far. So what's what's going on? Other two? Hmm? I'm hold yeah, on. Other I'm two. two. Where are you? Yeah, I'm yeah, there. Other two. Other, other one. Two. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is this? Everything wrong with Black Panther and unbridled rage. Someone, oh in the, <laughs> someone in the chat uh, put down, is Fringy A, and then it's a black smiley face. <laughs> I didn't know they had those. <laughs> I didn't know that existed either. I'm gonna I didn't know either. It's, just, it's, a, it's funny. Um, <laughs> it's just funny. So yeah, in, in Me and Wolf's videos, we, we were very critical of uh, the Black Panther film, which was oh, you you know, a huge cultural boon to the black community for some reason. Uh, but we didn't actually necessarily... I mean, I'm not going to speak entirely for Wolf, I can't remember his video exactly, but like, I made a point to not make it about race whatsoever. I was like, that's kind of the, <laughs> the point. Well, I, I, think, I think it's just smart not to do that, because even if you make a joke, people will assume that you're being racist. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> like, I, you know? I, I made many a joke, and I had <laughs> many a racism. Um... <laughs> Yeah, like, and I was telling Mahler, like, uh, before I posted the video, like, I cut out, like, a good minute and a half of from the beginning because I was like, wait, maybe this is crossing a line. Maybe I shouldn't yeah, the, the, you know, some, yeah, sometimes you're just inviting controversy at that point. <laughs> yeah, I, I was perhaps a tad bit too against the Browns. And so... Right, okay. <laughs> I can see why he did that. Fr Fr Fringy's just like, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, people, yeah. People they... keep spamming that black face in the chat, and I'm just fucking laughing every time how, I see it. <laughs> how long did we take to actually make our videos? Well, it was like a week, right? At most? Uh, wasn't too long. I like think mine was a week. week Yours two? was probably like four days or something like that, because... It was quick, is what I'm saying. Like, well, we, it's not like me and you got. Well, I know that we re we released them at the exact same time, but I don't think oh, we yeah, finished. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was it. I I think I took a few extra days to get mine ready, and then we 
It was like a cross promotion thing, so it was just a little bit of fun. But obviously, yeah. that was the worst idea ever because it makes us the most horrible people on the planet. <laughs> but um, yeah, like, so what I'm trying to say with this is that there probably will be things that me and Wolf may or may not get wrong because of the fact that they are reactionary reviews. They don't get to. Uh, and that's not an excuse, I'm just saying that that should explain it, but this guy's obviously had months now to have watched the film. Right, so he's got no excuse. And I mean, look at this fancy disclaimer here. You know <laughs> that this guy spent a long time on this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, by the way, no no hate to this guy, of course, just like every single person you know, we ever cover. I'm you curious know. about all the lore that's been written in. Like, is it like TLJ? You know, oh, yeah. all oh, that right. stuff that they write in around the movie since it they will, they well, will, the there's a lot of, um, of this thing. inference you have to make. I already had that on a lot of the comments, but, uh, yeah, like, you know, he's pro he's even had access, for all you know, to, like, audio commentaries and interviews and stuff, so it'll be the kind of thing where Meme Wolf did not have the benefit of that. We didn't get to do it all, so I would expect yeah, I mean, us to make that, mistakes. But is that fair to pull from audio commentary where he might explain something that's not apparent in the film? Oh, well, it, it would depend on context, obviously. If, if, well, uh, I'm just thinking of, uh, I had a discussion about the uh, the hyperspace thing for The Last Jedi, and people started citing the novelization of the film. <laughs> and the, 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 the novel that tries to fix the problems of the film. Well, that's that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly it, isn't it, though? Yeah, it was written after the, the fact to try and fix it. But yeah, uh... There's already comments in his video that we'll probably I'll probably like paste the, my favorite one to rags so you can read it out at the end of the video. But like I'm being called a white supremacist, which is uh, oh really oh, interesting for for me. That's a first. <laughs> well, of course they they referenced me in the comments of that video, so they already know two of us are friends. And if you're friends with me, you know Absolutely. you're clearly a Nazi. And yeah, so this is an opportunity for us to clear the record, to, to take some criticism, because, you know, me and Wolf may have gotten things wrong. Not that this is if about him anyway. I've never criticized before, jeez. I don't and, know if uh, I can take this. To, to, to dispel this idea that uh, we, we want the white race to take over the world, that's not really what we're about, but, you know, I can see how you make that mistake when I literally just talk about inconsistencies in a film script. That's fair enough, isn't it? To make sure that, that you... Uh, that you flag this video for criticizing you, and then you can show up on the kill stream later and... <laughs> lie about it <laughs> so yeah uh as as th this guy by the way i've actually said i wouldn't i i'd be up for speaking to him and he was like oh okay cool he's apparently making a part two as well but uh may as well just see what part one has in store for us okay so here we go uh -huh. if everyone's ready man i was hoping for that one guy that creature as he called him <laughs> to make his video on me is he still not done that no i was really disappointed too i wanted to cover that on the last podcast but he hadn't made it yet Damn. Yeah. We'll get there, though. Come on. Well, come on, creature. Disclaimer. This YouTube series exists to fight the corner of movies, not as a personal attack on the people criticizing them. Please don't go and send hate to any of the people I I'm talk personally about. personally attacked. Everyone's entitled Unless to their opinion, and this is just mine. <laughs> I'm seeing this guy's videos popping up in my recommended a lot recently. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> you should watch the him really more. You might learn something. Formula when it comes to getting attention for his film criticisms, releasing them before anyone else does. Unlike the Simpsons, uh, uh, that's inaccurate. Sorry, I'm usually uh, pretty what? late with the uh, film reviews no. compared to everyone. You, else. you, re you realize that moeller has been working on a 15-hour series <laughs> on The Force Awakens, a movie that came out three and a half years ago, right? I think it's two and a half. 2015, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Two and a half. I would have never three. guessed that yeah, your yeah, secret is to get your stuff out first. And besides, even my Rage videos, they're always, like, later than the majority of the initial... Like, yeah, we, like why I, man? Yeah, because a lot of people get the reviews before the film comes out, you know, press. You're yeah. not press, so you don't get to do that. I mean, but, hell, but I, we were just saying that I finished editing my review, like, two days before you did. Yeah, and I had to delay Wolf, because I was like, let me finish mine. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I'm early in relation to people who come out a year later, I suppose, like... But I'm not exactly right, an early I mean, critic. Yeah, your your unbridled rage was on December twentieth. Let me see. When did you? I want to see when our uh, videos on the Last Jedi came out. TLJ unbridled rage that came out on. So did, this was do, five December days 20th? after it released. That's oh wow. That's still late. <laughs> That's yeah. That's five days after the movie came out. It's like, was it? Maybe, maybe. it was just good and oh, people shared it. 
Y- your uh, your last Jedi video came out two days after mine as well. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm usually, and that's strange. the thing. Wolf's ones I'm exactly, the faster one. Because Wolf's ones take longer to make than your average ones as well. So, But I, could, I don't see how this statement makes sense. You've made reviews weeks and months after the films come out. <laughs> Well, that's the funny thing like, with the I mean, first thing, thing you say is wrong. Hey, man, he's probably trying. He's just. It's okay. We'll just let this one slide. It's fine. I, 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 and what it is, what's interesting though, is it's 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 interesting that he instantly goes to the reason that he's popular is because he releases his Wait, videos at a certain time. Look at that. I d- I released my Black Panther one ten days after Black Panther came out. That's. Quite a while. That's not. Yeah, that's, that's more than a week. Quick. That's a week and a half. And he's using this as evidence that I'm really quick. That's interesting. Releasing them before anyone else does. Yeah, that's <laughs> what he's Hold on, I get. You're, you're getting what? recommended and you're popular because of the timing of your videos. He's not even giving you the benefit of the doubt that you make good content. Let's see. When did like. Chris Stockman post his review? Uh oh, Probably what do you know? Day two, day, two days yeah. after the movie came out. Yeah, Stuckman mm, and yeah. Jeremy John stuff, nice. they're often re- reduced by embargoes. They're, that's usually their problem that they can't release before an embargo. Me and Wolf don't have that problem mm. because we'll always never be early enough to actually hit an embargo. <laughs> we'll be like... your, your movie Sucks released it two days after you did for The Last Jedi. I mean, I didn't even watch it uh, until like a day or two after it came out. I think Mahler watched it before I did. Yeah, I wasn't and, and I didn't intend to make a video, but I was so surprised by how bad it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then I decided to watch it after you told me how bad it was, and then I was like, well, I guess I should make a video, that too. That was the blossoming friendship. Beautiful. I story. like how that's... Because he recommended I go watch The Predator. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to, but he wants me also, to see it. I'm not sure, I just want to make yeah. sure we're clear on whatever reference he's having to cinema since here. I hope I hope he's not connecting me to them, please. Film criticisms, releasing them before anyone else does. Unlike oh, 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 I was nitpicking. Oh, You're just nitpicking. All, you whenever go. you point out Wait, writing did, characters in, inconsistency, now, I, mean, I, did, I didn't, I didn't catch it. What, did, let me just see what he says. I'm just curious. Releasing them before yeah. anyone else does. Unlike the cinema. Here, let me, let me, let me go back. Let me scoot it back so we can get the the thing here. Oh, it's my birthday. It does. Unlike the CinemaSins approach of going through the film nitpicking every tiny detail, or the yeah? Brookshire approach of racism, Mauler likes to systematically oh. go through... Oh, so he's, he is saying I'm not. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Like good. Yeah, I'm good. not like CinemaSins. Yeah. Excellent. Good, good. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're all good. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Very good. We do try and get the context, guys, because I know a lot of people hate that we skip over context. Like, I'm trying. we we, we got to get these statements <laughs> one at a time. Yeah. Through yeah, the film, pointing out things that he considers to be genuine plot holes, or at least things that don't seem like they've been that well thought through. But mm-hmm. speaking of things that don't seem like they've been that well thought through, loads of these criticisms are fairly easy to explain if you just think about them. So today we're going to be doing You see, Mahler, maybe if you just thought for place, once in your miserable about... life, all right, yeah, about... just all right. it's a strong it. claim. Yeah. Maybe he's right. Maybe we didn't think about it. Okay. Gosh, yeah. guys, you just assume you're so smart, you bunch of supremacists. About the things that he's saying. <laughs> so Black Panther was a Too many asses. pretty well by critics and audiences alike. Critics seem mm-hmm. to like it the most. I don't really? care. It's higher than the dub. Yeah, I was gonna say like. Yeah, I know, right? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sure why he's bringing that. this up. Like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did. As much as this film was politicized and people were attacked for not giving it good scores, yeah, I don't give a shit. R- 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 yeah, he, he realized R- this is the same movie that people gave shit for for getting a 99 percent before it came out. Yeah, the guy who criticized it said he, there wasn't enough fight scenes or whatever. People were like, how fucking dare you? <laughs> yeah, the guy who ruined it's one. And he's not wrong, actually. Thing. Like, it, it doesn't have very good action. I'm just going to say that right now. Like, yes. I don't think it's very well choreographed, especially that final fight when they're in the train and it looks like a PS2 game. That's insulting in the PS2 That just games. means it's a classic. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was a fucking classic. How dare well, you? no, I, yeah, no, exactly. It, it just, it wasn't good. It, it just didn't look that good, considering no. how much well, money it cost to make. You know, like, visuals very, very subjective and stuff, but, like, you know that awful PS2 CGI fight they have as the two Black Panthers? Yeah, that's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, it looks like, legitimately bad. And well, the funny those part is, hideous, uh, those hideous looks, rhinos. It, they put you them know, on looks YouTube. <laughs> they put the, a large portion of that scene on YouTube, and it was like, oh, don't do that. You know, <laughs> it, it looks worse than uh, the fights in the... Sam Raimi's Spider-Man movies, you know, where they had the falling shots. Like it looks very similar you mean to that. The early ones with Tobey Maguire. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, oh, I was, I was about to mention that. Yeah, it yeah. does look worse than those old Spider-Man movies. It does. Yeah. You know, you look at the one with Doc Ock, it actually holds up really well. It looks worse it than holds Jurassic up. Park. And there's a lot of comments about how they were they were rushed because they wanted to, they needed to work on Infinity War, which I was like, oh, well, that mm -hmm. makes sense. But that doesn't make it better. <laughs> well, yes, yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it doesn't maybe, make it good. Maybe uh, don't rush your movies. Maybe yeah, take yeah, Well, when you're idea. trying to do three a year... Three years is a lot, yeah. especially when you've got finite studios that do VFX. And aren't they talking about doing like X Men stuff? Uh, uh, well, be, I yeah. guess so. I guess so. Post Phase <laughs> Dude, Three, X Men, we'll the point Fantastic Four, like CGI companies, they're just going to be constantly doing Marvel films. <laughs> like, well, next one, next yeah. one, especially with the cosmic stuff. Well, I think it's just more the issue is that every film at this point. <laughs> Like, basically mm. any film with a budget in excess of $50 million has VFX in it in some shape or form. Yeah, yeah. Even, like, the cars of VFX. It's a shame, <laughs> too, know? because um, earlier on, a few days ago, um, I was with some people on my server, and we watched uh, No Country for Old Men, and then mm -hmm. I watched the, the Witch. And both of those were all almost entirely practical effects, and... Yes. They look great, and they were in both amazing movies. Yeah, you don't need. Well, it's the observation we made when watching Aliens. Like you know, Aliens looks pretty good. Oh yeah, man, I can't wait for the new X Men movies. I can't wait for Wolverine <laughs> to be reprised by the legend himself, Michael Sarah. <laughs> Danny oh, DeVito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, can you? Danny DeVito. I, we we need a Michael Sarah Wolverine. <laughs> Danny DeVito can be uh, <laughs> Professor you, X. Magneto. <laughs> Imagine you get a message from yourself in five years from now saying Michael Sierra does reprise the the Wolverine and it's incredibly it likes the best performance you've ever seen. You'd just be like, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Walking no, seriously, says Wolverine. I think I'd lose my mind if that was the case. Do we want to keep watching the video? Oh, of course. No. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, right. what, uh, yeah. what point he was making about. Tomorrow's dead. The Ron Tomorrow's So Black anyway. Panther was a movie received pretty well by critics and audiences. Look at those screaming seem people. seem to like it the most. Really? It's higher than The Dark Knight? I mean, I loved it, but... There's not a huge disconnect between audience and critic scores, though. But it seems all of these people have just been blind to the fact that in actuality, the movie is a garbled mess. Full that can happen. I mean, I'm not gonna... Yeah, it does happen. I've been, oh, I've, been, I've been blind to how much a mess a film Same can here. be. Yeah, yeah go yeah, look up the reviews for Bioshock Infinite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, That's a good example. I'll be, you know, I'm completely honest here. I didn't quite see the the problems with Force Awakens until I started watching videos breaking it down. I was like, oh, yeah. dude. Even I Wars. liked Black Panther a little bit, you know, when I first saw it. I I kind of liked it at first, but then That's when I started thinking you're... about it, you know, <laughs> green. Yes, green. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, uh, I I know he's trying to imply it's like me, you know, me and Wolf, or let's just say me, uh, being like I I can tell you the truth, you guys can't see, but I don't think I ever say it, anything like that. I mean, this is just an appealing to popularity bullshit, and it's it like I don't care. Is, yeah, I, I don't care if uh, ninety seven percent of critics liked it. Most critics don't know what the fuck they're talking about, and the audience, I, I mean. Just because it's seventy nine percent doesn't mean it's a great movie. Sorry, uh, you're actually, I'm gonna look up some films on IMDb that I know stuck, and I want to see what they are. Just I mean, to, like I, uh, the point. the Gray uh, wasn't very well liked when it came out, and now it's got a pretty it. good cult yeah, following. We, we actually I got to talk really about that on, on your podcast, didn't we? Like uh, films that came out that, that did badly, but have later done really well. So, like audience uh, opinion. Not being another accurate. example is Predator. Predator wasn't well received when it came out. We, we mentioned the thing. Stuck. The thing did really badly when it came out, but it's like a lot, of, a lot really of really good movies. The a Wizard lot of really Oz. good movies. And this, this, this is why the, there's not much. I've never really taken the uh, aggregate review site seriously. It is interesting to be like, oh, by the way, this film got a hundred percent. You'd be like, oh wow, really? Why? And then you find out why, and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you never go back to the fucking aggregate sites. But yes, it is it, probably it, worth pointing out though that like Rotten Tomatoes is not a good. It like it's not about the actual score that it was assigned, but how many were positive and negative. So yeah, if anyone really... uses Rotten Tomatoes to cite if a movie was good or not, their opinion doesn't matter. <gasps> well, I mean, I'm it's, sorry it's that you're so stupid. If that's all they've got, like, yeah, their opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> that's it. I mean, I mean, seriously, way, if, if you're citing this site, this site that has the absolute most flawed reasoning for if a movie is good or not, then I'm sorry, you're dumb. 
So the um the tomato meter for the predator is at thirty four percent. Yeah, I think that's about where it should be. Good stuff. <laughs> Congratulations, aggregate site. But uh, all it's, right, it's let's, higher than the nun. Let's let him get to an actual point instead the of the Shawshank Redemption didn't do too intro. well in the box office. All of these yeah, people neither did blind oh. to the or Blade Runner. Yeah, I was oh, about yeah to that, say. that's true. That's <laughs> I was true. about to say. I, mean, I loved it. But... There's not a huge disconnect between audience and critic scores, though. But it seems all of these people have just been blind to the fact that in actuality, the movie is a garbled mess, full of anger-inducing plot holes, poorly executed writing, and it isn't. I mean, as always, okay. it's fine if you dislike the movie, yeah. but your complaints about it should be accurate. Ooh. You know, I feel like that's oh. really a good thing to strive go. for. All right. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's get this well, over with. You want to tell Panther us? Panther opens with a neat animation explaining the history of Wakanda, the country that Black Panther protects. So since this video was edited and released before the DVD release of Black Panther, it's made up almost entirely of bootleg screen caps from cinema screenings of it, which is Oh, I'm glad you were able to figure that out. at least try to get the aspect ratio right on them, though. Aspect, really? No, 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 no. Is this... The aspect ratio is, <laughs> the reason I zoom in on these things, or you'll find I have little blocks uh, for the Predator one, is because they have sites that are added, advertised on it, and I have no idea if they're harmful or not, so I block them out. And in the Black Panther one, I just zoom in so I can avoid it. And obviously, yeah, I'm trying to use as little screenshots as possible, but I usually do this if it's a visual aid, so I can get you guys to understand what I'm talking about when I describe... Like, they have this weird opening cinematic that's all done with sand. Like, you remember that, right, guys? Like... Yeah. I hate sand. Yeah. And they show <laughs> a bunch of things, and there's a couple of things they show that are relevant to some arguments, but yeah, uh, fair but, enough. But have Apparently. you considered, instead of editing, maybe talking about Rotten Tomatoes? That, I not, like how his notes. first... I like how he's, uh, he goes with the whole, um, maybe you should get things right, and then his first this criticism... Is a, is yeah, what's the point of this? Like, ratio. Like, how about you address you the actual it? points he makes rather than <laughs> talk about something so fucking retarded and useless that it has no right or reason to be in this video? It's an it's address an odd thing to point points. out. Yeah, especially it's if it's weird. basically yeah. matter. bootleg footage. Like, congratulations, you were able to point out that it's bootleg footage. Besides, what relevance yeah, I was does that say, have? His point's not even accurate, because if you look at um, the Predator versus Predator, the aspect ratios are different. And that's just, that's their native aspect ratios. Dude, there are even films that have been released in cinemas where they flip between the aspect ratio yeah, during like the film. And stuff. And oh, Transformers yeah. 5. Transformers was 5 was a pretty egregious example. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it was like both, it was shot with both IMAX it was and three like different, some other It was camera. three different ones. Three yeah, different it, he ones. literally pulled a Tommy Wiseau, only Tommy Wiseau somehow made it more consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I guess the point is, like, maybe there was a reason why the aspect ratio was fucked, as opposed to me deciding to deliberately change the aspect, like, you know, there's, that's all. But it's a this strange kind of thing to open considering with. considering the opening argument. Yeah, yeah, strange thing to open with. <laughs> the meteor hit the continent of Africa, and said meteor was made entirely from vibranium. This pushed the people of Wakanda into the future far faster than any nation across the globe. One tribe took over another four, and they essentially blocked themselves from the world as an isolated nation. Why the fuck would they stop at the arbitrary border of Wakanda back in the bloody Stone Age if they were advancing immeasurably faster than any other nation across the world? How didn't they just naturally spill over Africa as a continent and potentially the world by nature of the tools they had. The Wakandans are isolationists and this isn't ridiculous by any means. Isolationists? Yes. Isolationists? Well, um, Why did they take over the other tribes if they were isolationists? Yeah, they're isolationists. They only conquered four nations. <laughs> I guess this isn't, it. like, it, are the Wakandans all five tribes or was there a Wakandan tribe that took over the the um, other I can't four remember tribes. if they're specific, you, you I mean? but the 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 point would be that they chose to uh, combine the tribes into a, a right. singular thing, as opposed to so they're not five. isolationists. Yeah, then, if they were isolationists, it would have they been a single tribe. It's, yeah. it's very strange that you know in you know ancient Africa, really in your ancient anywhere, where you had constant warfare and fighting and skirmishing and you know resource um, competition and stuff that they would just say all right this is enough <laughs> hey, sorry yeah i, I, I mean do, there, weren't, there weren't really many isolationists. i do randomly uh, read chat someone just said isolationist yet they all speak english like huh <laughs> <laughs> i didn't think about that I, I, I do want to mention one thing from someone in the chat he said wolf is a hypocrite he'll make fun of videos they're talking about for someone for having no hair or skim milk i don't just address the actual points either well i don't preface it with saying 
maybe you should have got everything right. By the way, Patrick Willems, change your hair. This is that's what this guy did. <laughs> well, maybe we you should have got everything right. By the way, we did cover this before. There is a difference between an ad hominem and an insult. Mm-hmm. Like, if Wolf's just thrown out an insult, that's that's his own deal. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, for uh, example, it, it's very just... clear that I wasn't talking about like I wasn't trying to say that Patrick Willems having a bad hairline makes his whole video <laughs> bad. That's not mm-hmm. that's not an actual point I was making. <laughs> <laughs> um, so a little bit of a difference. And yeah, like this is going to be a topic, so we may as well just talk about it now for the four of us, perspectives on this, but if you rewind to Stone Age times, or anywhere further, between then and now, and you have just an ex- expanse of territory, and you settle down with these five tribes, it's like, what stops them from expanding? Why would they put up an arbitrary wall instead of actually going, hey, there's some more grass over there. Oh, there's still I mean, look at just human there. history in general. Oh yeah, maybe I mean, ex- every human maybe tribe or it. maybe there's some spills over. part of Wakandan lore for why they didn't do what any other any thing other, would have yeah. done ever. Well, in I guess it's, I mean the only reason you wouldn't is if you had so many natural resources that there was no need to. But is that the case? Well, they had, no, even they had vibranium, metal. but what about? Yeah, but the even then exactly. it would be about culture and, you know, that kind of well, influence yeah, of over, course. You know, yeah. trade routes and that sort of thing. I but, guess it's just that you can't think of many examples of isolationist empires in the old days. And by old days, I mean going back as I mean, far as, you yeah, know, 10,000 years. They would have to, even if a, even if a, a place is isolated <clears throat> geographically, you know, mm-hmm. it still doesn't just stay there. And they usually still trade with people, you know? Like, we, we generally still trade, even if we don't expand. Yeah, maybe if the movie expo- like gave a good reason yeah. for them being isolationists in the I first place. I mean, it's place. an important okay. part of the story. Them being isolationists is kind of the crux of the narrative, so it does need to be explained. And that's the thing. It's, it's not a white versus black thing. It is a human thing that you have a bunch of people in your populace, and you go, oh... There's way more families now, and we need more space for houses. We're gonna have to expand down the lower reach and over yeah, there. Yeah, and I mean, and if there. if this was if the meteor hit Earth like that far back, and they're like, oh, we have this huge tool that can make us, you know, allow us to take over more tribes and more territory. Why wouldn't they do that at that point? I mean, maybe you could make an argument if this was in modern well, it, day, it or maybe even just like a hundred years ago. I guess we're but I mean, consider Wolf that uh, they have a system of trial by combat to determine leaders. So what would stop? A warmongering, angry dude taking over one time throughout Case the Case in point, history. is Killmonger the first guy to be a warmonger in Wakanda's exactly, kind of history? Exactly. Yeah, that's bullshit well, you, because if you become the leader through combat, then the person who becomes the leader and did so through combat, it, it, are you telling me that every single person who, again, became leader through bloody combat? You know, combat. Are you saying he's just an isolationist as well, and we should just stay here and not expand? That's well, they're all re- just really nice people in Wakanda. And they're certainly yeah. isolationists now. When we catch up to them in the future, but it's like at one point they weren't, and then they became that, and it's so arbitrary. Well, you can tell that Killmonger is the first warmonger because he's got monger in his name, and he likes to kill people. So he's he's obviously the first. Yeah, it's just like thank God everybody in Wakanda grew up and said, "Yeah, let's not go outside of Wakanda." And then, yeah, Bill was no one ever like, I don't want to live. I want to explore the world. I want to see the world. I want to, you I mean, know, we actually travel. know from the film that what's his, uh, it's, it's the brother of T'Chaka who actually wants to get Wakanda going outside of the world. That's like the point. That's how it begins. So it's like, oh, so he's the first one then. He, in the entire thousand years' history, he's the first one. It's like, come on. I mean, this is, this is the problem that this guy has already fallen into that every one of the people that defends shitty movies like this always falls into is that they're writing the story for the writers, and you can't, you can't do that. Like, I'm sorry that because- the story sucks and you have to come up with ideas to try and refute our points. Because it wouldn't even be that great if that was the case, like if the story went, and then they were isolationist forever. Every single king that ever took over was all in agreement that they should never go outside the border of Wakanda. If they just said that, I would be like, wow, they just couldn't be asked, could they? <laughs> they just gave up. <laughs> just just, just come up with some excuse. It doesn't even have to be a great one, but just one, at least. Don't just leave us and be like, okay, well, that doesn't make any sense. Like, even if your point didn't make sense, I mean, at least you would try. Well, it might just be an instance of it being kind of a difficult concept to work with. It's tough. It's tough because if you have an established world and you just tell us, by the way, 
How would, how would we reconcile Wakanda existing in our world? And you're like, oh, I guess they're isolationist and they had a big dome that protects them from being seen or heard. And you're like, but why? how would that have worked? How would that have happened? I mean, somebody would have found them, though. You well, know, there's eventually. lots of things that would have happened. They would have been found because somebody in Wakanda would have fucked up at some point. It's like a thousand years. <laughs> or two thousand years. I don't even know. Like, it's... It's ridiculous, and it's really hard to believe. And you could be like, but it's comic books. And I'd be like, yeah, but there's some well-written comic stuff, and some not so much. <laughs> like, depends on what mm -hmm. we got. And obviously we're judging the film, not the actual comic book. So, um, Oh, and so, someone, someone did point uh, out that um, if we keep pausing, we're going to miss the point of the video. We're taking it point by point. So I'm assuming yeah. the point of the video yeah. is to respond to me, and then this made up of individual points. We're responding to a response to Mueller's response to the movie. Exactly. That totally makes sense. But anyway. Also, Mahler, stop speaking in your British language because people are having a problem with you You're pronouncing British it language. Wakanda. Wakanda. <laughs> but they, they, that's, that's something I got in trouble for. I need to start speaking in my American accent because a lot of people are assuming because I'm British that I have this idea that we should colonize everything, which I don't actually <laughs> that's pretty give good. a shit. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Makes sense to me. Well, maybe not American everything. because... Maybe they'll say Americans colonized everything too. I'll be like, "What do you want me to do?" Well, uh, well, you can uh, you can do a German accent and really channel that oh, God. Nazi in you <laughs> because he's German. He thinks that's normal. Why did the Wakandas only stop at four countries? <laughs> <laughs> they lack ambition. <laughs> so anyway, let's keep going. Isolationism is usually born out of the combination of xenophobia and pacifism. Or if not... Pacifism? Xenoph xenophobia and pacifism. Okay, we'll go to xenophobia a second. I have to... Pacifism. Have you seen this film? No. Pacifists. No, they, are, they are very they're, pacifist. They have pacifist trial by combat. By combat. <laughs> to elect their leader to weapons. choose their leader. <laughs> You know, it's they funny. They are leader by combat, but they're pacifists. <laughs> Someone in the comments, like, made a snarky remark about you and me, Mauler, about how, like, we don't apparently watch the movie. If this guy's calling these, if, if this guy's calling Wakanda's pacifists, wh which one exactly is, uh, is I not mean, watching the that's movie? not, like, Black Panther's job is literally to go out into the world and <laughs> fight shit. People. <laughs> that's what he does. It may no, be covert, that, he's but he pacifist. goes out and kills people. I mean, did we forget <laughs> no. the fact that, like, all the bald women are, like, some of the best fighters in the country? No, 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 you guys they're are also... misunderstanding what he's saying. It's pacifist, as in he they're passes also... a fist across your face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there, there are varying degrees of isolationism, too, because it could be argued that in the 19th century, while the United States was isolated from Europe, they were still engaging with, you know, Mexico and the they um, Native pacifist. American tribes. Like, they, they weren't pacifists, but no, they were still arguably isolationist. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then as for xenophobia, uh, afraid of other cultures? I don't think they Is were afraid. True? I think they yeah. were protecting... I'm happy to admit that they were protecting vibranium as a resource, and that they didn't want That to... was their main justification in the film, that they didn't want the vibranium to get out into the wrong hands. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That, in that, that's yeah, not again, that, that is fine to explain why they would I isolate themselves, but I could only believe them doing that much later. I don't know why they would- they would have control of basically Africa, is what I would expect. Quick, mm -hmm. protect the MacGuffin. Not pacifism, any given motivation not to conquer and invade other nations will do the trick. In Wakanda's no. case, they view the rest of the world no. as primitive, savage, and aggressive. When they've built themselves their own utopian society full it's of not. amazing- It's not even utopian at all. It's not utopian. They They're elect a... their leader with trial by combat. Not just that, what dude, What but... kind of fucking utopia is that? It's a monarchy. There's a literal- the brother of the king tried to defect because of how much he, he decided that the, other, the world outside needs help. So, like, again, mm -hmm. your, the problem rises that we've got an example of someone breaking from this idea that, that they should remain uh, isolated, but that's I also one. find it interesting that he's sort of... They're pacifists, but they're not benevolent. They apparently view everybody outside as worse off and kind of doing it wrong. So nobody at any point has thought, actually, you know what, maybe we should rule and then everything will be better. I mean, that yeah, was the motivation of the uncle. Killmonger was the first person who actually managed yeah. to get anywhere with that. <laughs> someone, in chat, someone in chat said, a xenophobic utopia? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound right. Mate, I... Where people are actually educated, well beyond the standards of anywhere else in the world. Why do you so, think... So was the British Empire. What's your point? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit... But the British Empire was racist. 
They didn't have super <laughs> secret MacGuffin tech, though. Yes, they did. They <laughs> had, they had SMLEs. Well, see, so. so this point, you had there's some stuff to hash out, right? But I can't wait for him to try and defend the I fucking wanna... science balls or whatever. That's gonna be funny. I want. I want to get this. I want to kind of get this in one clip, though, because it's weird. Not to conquer mm -hmm. and invade other nations will do the trick. In Wakanda's case, they view the rest of the world as primitive, savage, and aggressive. When they've built themselves their own, so is the society, country that uses trial by combat. Are... I was about to say they. Try it, dude. Primitive and aggressive. Trial by I combat. Mean, it, it, need I remind you about all the lip frisbees? This is... I mean, I'm sorry. What? Who's the primitive one here? The one who uh, mutilates uh, their well, body. They also the have skyscrapers with uh, with huts, huts <laughs> like with straw. <laughs> He's gonna have to respond to that because I make a point about it. So I hope you know, he shows the, the screenshot. That, that stuff sounds like really uh, condescending. <laughs> What now? Especially if this is supposed to be hoisted as some sort of like a black identity movie. You know, the whole skyscraper huts thing, I'd be like, man, really? <laughs> it kind of like, looks hey. cool, but once you start thinking about it in terms of utilities, it's a little bit bizarre. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, you just, what, you think we're just going to live in fucking huts and our, our space what if it rains? fiction utopia? What if it hails? Does it just go straight well, the rain, through the, the rain? No, nah, you don't understand. No, the rain doesn't made, get through the shield. The huts are made of steel, vibranium. They're just... Vibranium hut. straw. <laughs> they no, they grew the yellow. trees out of vibranium. It's vibranium wood. When After Earth was more respectable to black culture. Also, I, you know, honestly, <laughs> this has actually made me think about something. They have a mountain of vibranium didn't kill them when the, the comet or the asteroid landed. Yeah, that should have wiped them out. That should have, I mean, if it was big enough that they have an entire society that barely touches the, the, like, remember when Claw said, oh, they barely scratched the surface, so it must have been a pretty big asteroid. Maybe. You know, big enough to kill humanity. Maybe the story was saying it crashed ages ago, and then when humans arrived. Yeah, uh, that would be the only explanation, yeah. though. Because otherwise it would have just killed everybody. I mean, we haven't even I got mean, to the flower power yet, too. Let's go with that. Let's just say, yeah, it happened before they were Yeah, there. We, we haven't even talked about the the grape juice that turns them into superheroes. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to point out you... that I'm wrong on that, too, but we'll, we'll have to get to it. Uh, let's if you told me about some ancient, ancient group, they said, name a group of people that's isolationist and pacifist and they're guarding some lost secret. I'm like, uh, Tibetan monks, uh, mm -hmm. the Amish, uh, something like that. I wouldn't be like, oh, an ancient African tribe. That's Someone that we've called been it shown. the purple drink of heroes. <laughs> of heroes. People are actually educated, well beyond the standards of anywhere else in the world. Why do you think that they'd think it would be a good idea to then go and conquer some of those savages? What you say because the then they can on. just take over the whole world and have a monopoly on the entire See, planet. What he just did was argue that because of things that happened way later, that explains things they did already, which was stay isolated. I'm talking yeah, about way back when. Sense. I'm not talking about when they became fucking super civilized, super advanced people. When they yeah, were literally just a terrible a... argument to make. It's like, oh, the, their activities in two thousands explain their activities in the negative one millions. It's like, no. <laughs> what for? They have everything they need. What could they possibly? You don't even know that. <laughs> you just assume they have everything they need. Is that true? I mean, when, they, when they, has we can assume they have the has infinite anybody... vibranium, but infinite vegetation and, and shelter? That's not even possible. Yeah, what about space and other resources? I mean, it's it, vibranium's great, I have no doubt about it, but you still have to have other things. It's just strange. Mm -hmm. When has a society ever been post-scarcity? I don't even... Just... Why, does, why do people have so much trouble with this? I was saying to Wolf, I think, before we started, it's like, you have a family who have a house, and then they have seven kids, and then they grow up, the parents die, two of the kids say, we're having this house, you guys can build and sit in another one with your new family. Oh, look, one house, now two houses over one generation, apply that to an entire culture, look what happens. It's just basic shit. You expand your tribe in order to serve the populace. They need more resources and shelter. Simple. Stop treating it like it's some kind of horrific thing to do. Like as if there was just tribes right next to them. They were like, we can't, we can't hurt them. It's like, no, there was probably how, loads of grassland. Quickly, and how quickly we gloss over, they conquered four other tribes in bloody warfare. To start off the story, and he's like, let's get that out of the way quick. It's just now moving on. They conquered every tribe in, in plain sight, and then they stopped because that's mean. <laughs> okay, very progressive. Gained by expanding their borders at this point, other than bigger borders. Yeah, at this point, that's absolutely a different conversation. 
I'm talking about back when they actually start because they didn't have the giant dome then. Yeah, if 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 someone goes to a country and says, "Hey, do you just want free land?" You think the country's going to say, "No, it just makes our borders bigger." That's the part that I don't get. I, I know, think it is. Yeah, you know the, all the it's fields that are out. just outside of Wakanda. It's like, why don't you grab? I was about them? to say. Earth is really big. We have a lot of vacant space. Yeah, Earth is insanely <laughs> you know, big. It's really there big. are people everywhere. There are a lot of empty spaces that they could have taken. Yeah, like, as someone just brought up in chat, it's like, what typically stops an expanding civilization? It's like, well, it's usually a lack of land or an opposing faction. It's either a, a limited military, some sort of a geographical barrier, um, mm -hmm. uh, a, a truce between two people over a guarded border, um... It, it, it could be all sorts of things, but yeah. it's not just because one side is like, nah, <laughs> nah, we're not going to do that. That's mean. <laughs> Especially so, back, you know, a thousand years ago. The humans expanded excessively and the Wakandans are already established as a people who are willing to dominate neighboring tribes. Are you telling me they stopped after they took fucking four? The five tribes did battle, but they weren't all conquered by a victor. They united in the end. All the battling took place. No, they were conquered by the guy with the Black Panther juice. That's the point. He won. Because he had the most power. <laughs> I'm gonna double check that Black Panther intro to see what that They didn't do yeah, when... it. It's not like they just went, he, well, even if they only unified because Black Panther was like, by the way, I'm Black Panther, they'd be like, okay, fuck, fine. That's yeah, not that, exactly that's a like, truce, is it? It's unification through, because one of them would kill you. And so you're like, yeah, let's unite. This is and the best possible that, way that this could end. That ignores the part that they actually fought still. They were still fighting, which means they, they are showing them fighting on the screen. <laughs> Someone called it colonization woke juice. <laughs> like, but yeah, it's like no, no, they weren't conquered. The screen. See, to me, this has is grasping two people at straws. fighting each other. Yeah, like, man. why do you need? To, we don't even. We can move on to another topic because this is obvious. The film is very clear about this. You don't need to like. No, the fighting. You interpreted the fighting wrong. It's not actually fighting. It was discussion. <laughs> Someone uh, pointed out. Remember when Adolf united Europe? <laughs> oh, as 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 Jen has just had the quote for peace is having a larger stick than the next guy. Like yeah, they use they they use strength, and they were like, we're better than you. So fuck. This is the thing: the Black Panther juice. Like no one would be able to stop a Black Panther powered person back then. It'd be impossible. Place long before they had their advanced technology and the unification of the right, Panthers but there was a Black Panther. <laughs> The Black Panther <laughs> came, and then they unified. Remember? It, it so why did they do is, that? What is he suggesting? They fought until that a... the Black Panther <sighs> guy was just said, "Peace and love, everyone," and they said, "Okay." Like, so was Black Panther like Black Jesus then? Apparently, like this is the thing that I'm, I don't think I think he's inventing that part. I would have to watch the intro again to make sure. But the fact and is, and then the good load said, "Eat watermelon." They and did be happy. fight. Is is the main point? It's very strange, too, when you think about all of the other tribes and stuff, and all the other cult. They just didn't notice Wakanda. They didn't do anything about it. They didn't write anything about it, or get into fights with them, or or be aggressive in any way. It's just, you have, it. it's... How do you reconcile that? Like, with reality? It's a perfectly adequate explanation of why the warring stopped. You didn't even provide an explanation, you just said it stopped. Go back. Let's go back, see what he said. ...did battle, but they weren't all conquered by a victor. They united in the end. All the battling took place long before they had their advanced and technology. And the king is the victor. And the unification of them all indicates a culture... Fighting before they had advanced technology doesn't affect the, the point whatsoever. The, the, he, he doesn't understand that the unification happened after there was a Black Panther. Yeah, he got the magic the key juice. detail right there. And, and I would imagine that the reason why everybody stopped fighting was because you now have an unstoppable force who's telling you, all right, nah, stop. Yeah, if they and say- And it's that the four unified under the one. There were five tribes and four of them agreed to unify underneath one of them. Yeah, that's How cutting that your losses. Conquering? Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> saying, oh, they won't wipe us out in our entirety. So that's probably the way we need to get. It's the fucking this is the best, Borg. The Joy best possible die. solution. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs>
We've Did been streaming for an hour and managed cold. to make it three minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost to three minutes. We'll be conquered by a victor. They united in the end. All the battling took place long before they had their advanced technology, and the unification of them all indicates a cultural shift, acting as a perfectly adequate explanation of why the warring stopped. Indicates no, a cultural shift. Terrible. Gotta be careful with that language. Indicates a cultural shift. He hasn't got anything. He's just yeah, inferring. That's descriptive. It's not. It's not actually saying what's what what happened. Like we we go like, from what we're actually shown. He's going from what you could infer. Seriously, and no one managed to get the word out about Wakanda's resources across its entire history except Gollum. Are you telling me that across the vast history of Wakanda, no one on Earth found them before they got their cloaking device up? No, the movie isn't telling you that. The movie literally never said that. You said that. I mean, that's why it was a question. That yeah. <laughs> That's, that's I'll catch so that. <laughs> this is amazing projection coming wow. from the guy who's literally making up story he points to Dude, he quoted me. Like, how did he miss that? <laughs> like, everything he said has been wrong in his three and a half minutes. So, to clarify for him, right, my assumption from watching it, again, because I didn't have a direct quote, is that it, it baffles me that uh, Wakanda stayed secret when we already know from the opening in the 1970, 90, 90, 97, 92, something like that, that there is a guy who is about to release Wakandan weapons onto the world, implying that he would obviously let people know that Wakanda exists. And it's like, he's the only- and Gollum was successful in sharing the secrets of Wakanda, right? So I'm saying the only guy who was successful in revealing the secrets of Wakanda is Gollum in, in 2010 or whatever. Like, really? It's also important to remember that um in Captain America, they got Vibranium, and they would have gotten it- I mean, I don't remember how they explained it, but they got it. Yeah. How'd they get it back then and not start inquiring into it? I'm curious how they mined vibranium back in the day when there was nothing. If there's nothing stronger well, than vibranium, I'm curious how they. The they argument is that laser malleable. The argument is that it's super malleable. Yeah. It's basically super metal. It can do whatever you want. Okay, it's the MacGuffin. <laughs> it is, yeah. There's no denying okay, that. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the film, it's used to do everything. <laughs> so how do we have a, a super-powered secret civilization in the middle of Africa that nobody has ever known about in their life, and they're better than everyone else? Oh, a MacGuffin. One medal to Magic rule is them all. And I, you know, he didn't really address your question either, because he said no one isn't saying that. It's like, okay, then... What is it saying then? Well, let's, yeah, that's a let's, fair question. You know? let's, see if, let's see if he does. Well, let's see how he, he approaches yeah, it. Let's see how he does. Adequate explanation of why the warring stopped. Seriously, and no one managed to get the word out about Wakanda's resources across its entire history except Gollum. Are you telling me that across the vast history of Wakanda, no one on Earth found them before they got their cloaking device up? Uh, the movie isn't telling you that. The movie literally never said that. You said that. So then what did it say? Let's, well, yeah, maybe, what, maybe, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, what maybe he's going to do it. Maybe he's going to do it. Maybe. Or, or colonists see. or whatever stumbled across Wakanda back in the day before they got their cloaking device up. What do you think would have happened to change the events of this film? Either the Wakandans would have employed whatever method they would deem appropriate to stop people from spreading the war. You're suggesting they would murder people who <laughs> <laughs> no, they're pacifists, but we've they're established pacifists. that they're, they're we've established pacifists. They're pacifists. <laughs> they're so, like, once they're discovered, <laughs> they're fucked. Dude, dude, imagine it's a horror film with people trekking through Wakanda, they bump into the shield, and then they're just like, the Black Panther jumps and shreds them apart. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's like basically like that, Black Panther. It's like that island, uh, I don't remember where it's off the coast from. It's that island that still has like that tribe living on it. Where everyone that goes on the island gets brutally murdered. Yeah, yeah. Uh, There's a super chat actually that that's interesting, that sort of makes a point here from O F Jahuti V two. He gave nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Do you to read uh, it out, or did you want to read it out? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was. I don't know. Because I was going to say, I usually do the the super chats between videos, but uh, oh, North Sentinel well, this Island. One, this that's one's what kind it of it, it's this kind of topical. Uh, he says other African tribes did find the Wakandans, though. The lady at the museum says the vibranium spear is from another African tribe, and that British soldiers found uh, Killmonger confirms this, but says the spears Wakandan. Well, it's not it's not even just that because as as they brought up earlier the uh, cap's shield that must have come from somewhere. It, it, basically, mm -hmm. there are there are little holes that need to be plugged, and this guy's argument is well, obviously they were plugged, and it's just funny that he's like because obviously they would have just murdered these people. Yeah, <laughs> which is weird because he already establishes that they're xenophobic pacifists. pacifists. 
How could they? But how could they possibly know? Like, if somebody found it before they had their technology, you know, that there, there had to be an evolution it's not, to it's where not they even got just that, to. Dude. The idea that there's not a Wakandan in Wakanda that decided, Who left fuck and it, I'm gonna, like a that. troll. Yeah. Literally, someone who's like, I'm gonna reveal this place. Fuck it. <laughs> it's to me. Like, if I fun, fun, turn around and go home. <laughs> But no, they murdered everybody, okay? Just get over it. It's weird, yeah. You'd think they're in all the... Um, like Even in the 1800s and stuff, and early 1900s, you know, while Africa was being, you know, settled and colonized by France and Britain and all that, you'd think they would be like, oh, the, look at these people. That's <laughs> Dude, new. So we just left a comment. Okay, guys, that's the last person we murdered to conceal existence. Now we are pacifists. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going back to being pacifists. And see, like, I looks. feel bad for the guy because he's having to invent reasons for this stuff to work, and now he doesn't even realize that his, his own fanfiction is starting to contradict itself. We shouldn't even have to be writing it in the first place, dude. Vibranium can't melt plot holes. This film, either the Wakandans would have employed whatever method they would deem appropriate to stop people from spreading the word of their city, or if they did manage to escape, they probably wouldn't have been able to get Wakanda to anything more than legend status. The movie explicitly states that would have been that Wakanda. That Wait. yeah, but putting yeah, but that would be enough. That would yeah. be enough to force somebody to go look for it. Yeah, this is yeah. they they don't exist in a separate dimension. You walk up to it and it'll frazzle you on the freaking. The, the dome. No, I, what yeah. what it is is no. I don't think the shield is up all the time. That I think it's just the shield makes it look like it's and, a jungle. You well, can we're walk talking about that the time, shield. I mean, we're talking about the time before the shield. Oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah that's. that's I'm, exactly, I'm, I guess yeah. I'm talking about both. But I was just going to say, if you walked into Wakanda and kept walking, eventually you'd hit the shield. And whether or not you die or you go through it, that's gonna. You know, that's, yeah. That's even if you die, eyebrow. everybody else behind you is going to go. What the fuck just <laughs> happened to Frank? <laughs> Con Frank. <laughs> And he's like, holy shit. And again, you could genuinely said, uh... make a horror film out of Black Panther then cutting these people down. Like, And, you know, yeah. I'm not going to accept the argument of, oh, they had a census so they knew that somebody walked in <laughs> and Black Panther went and murdered them. What if it was like a, a, a boar or a zebra or something that just walked into the shield and died? So Would you not just like a no trail sense. of dead corpses <laughs> along this perimeter of like <laughs> animals that just died in this thing. <laughs> a whole mountain of dead animals <laughs> just in Wakanda. I mean, <laughs> you think it's just a they of dead animal. Uh, they asked the Wakanda <laughs> king about it, and he's just like, that's just. That's normal. That's a part Just of our culture. Just a ring of skeletons around the world. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can have, they can have like the corpses puppeted up on sticks to warn yeah. them not to come in. <laughs> and he walks through the shield. He sees the basically trying to. <laughs> this is this is what it comes down to. I don't believe they've put enough effort into explain how this place could possibly have remained a secret. And yeah, because so it's many not like reasons. they go into mass amnesiatics or... well i think i think the big issue is that it's on the continent of africa when yeah. it's like landlocked it seems a lot less plausible than if it were an island yeah yeah like you know like how in something. wonder woman remember how in wonder woman yeah there you go. i would be totally okay with that. Only, yeah, that works a mention, lot better as i mentioned wonder woman at least had the caveat of like there's mist that goes around yeah it's like mm -hmm. a weird Dome. secret magical yeah. mist shit but also well, every, you know the well, ocean is really Kong big movie. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. It's a secret island. It's surrounded by mist and the really, really choppy waters, and it's stormy. You're like, I can believe that. Mm. And I think it's just, you look at history, and the latest people that we ever discovered were always in the islands. You know, like, you find people off in the Pacific Islands, but you don't you don't just, yep. like, walk through Russia or something and then go to Asia, and you're like, just stumble upon these people who've never been met by anybody before. Yeah, it's like not a, that likely. Just like North Sentinel Island right now, there's people yeah. right now today that like haven't discovered technology. They still use spears. And, and I shit. guess the Amazon is another example, but it's important to remember that the Amazon is a lot more impenetrable than continental Africa. Yeah. And see, we also, get, we they're know not the same. We get to a point now where it's like he's accusing us of the start. I well, I say us, me, that uh, you know, like maybe think about this next time. It's like clearly we thought about we it more than you did. We have thought about it. <laughs> like. This is, this is, I, I don't criticize lightly. It's like, this is why it doesn't make sense. And he's just like, well, yeah. no, if you just assume well, I, think, this... I think a lot of, yeah, I think, but, I think all of us are probably quite obsessive over like yeah. trying to think this stuff through. We want it to make sense. That's that's satisfying. 
we're, we're trying to play devil's advocate with each other here is what mm -hmm. we're doing. And it's really tough. Like if we were sitting on, you know, Disney's board of directors or the creative team, we're like, okay, we have to do X. And we're like, um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. How do we do this? How do we write this away? Yeah, it would be tough. Well, um, it's the sun. It's the scrutiny that you should be applying to your own. Story. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you're meant to do when you're writing a story. You think about it, and if it doesn't work, then you have to try something else. Yeah, and like, also, I've had you, this issue. Like, if this guy invents the idea that there are xenophobic pacifists, then you can't. <laughs> you have to. You have to be consistent with your explanation. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. We're stuck all the way back at since when was that a thing? And then it's like it doesn't even make sense if we take him seriously. It's just like ugh. Yeah, because it counters what he says later. He's it's this is this is so far pretty awful. But hey, we'll we'll keep going. <laughs> or if they did manage mm -hmm. to escape, they probably wouldn't have been able to get Wakanda to anything more than legend status. The movie. Oh yeah. So the reason we brought that up is when he says you can only get it to legend status. If you told someone there is a place in the middle of Wakanda that if you walk up to it, it'll frazzle you on a freaking dome. You'd be like, like, how many people oh, went looking for El say, Dorado? That's pretty or yeah, El Dorado, Atlantis, or the Fountain of Youth. Um, Shangri La. Shangri -La. You, you realize that a guy tried to launch himself into space recently to prove that the <laughs> Earth was flat, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're telling me that no one would ever think, hmm, maybe I can go looking for this yeah, Wakanda. I might place. take a walk in Wakanda. Oh, that's ridiculous. You never do that. <laughs> I mean, hell, if that legend was spread enough, I could imagine Iron Man being like, yeah, I might look into that just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Leslie states at the beginning that Wakanda is surrounded by mountain ranges and impenetrable forests. And to top it off, if you are Impenetrable no forest? There's no such thing. Yeah, that, those don't exist. You just cut it down. <laughs> people, people live in the Amazon jungle. What the f Impenetrable mm -hmm. forest? That's like me going like an indestructible uh, way Yeah. Further. It's like, you know, Africa's not, like, really a jungle, you know? Are they sci-fi trees? Uh, they're, they're vibranium <laughs> they're trees. They're vibranium even, trees. See, even, even if they were vibranium trees, you can walk through trees. It's not hard. Even, even the Fanghorn Forest wasn't indestructible. And, by the way, that, Until they fucked up Isengard. That's already counting himself again, because that's implying that, what, Wakandans were trapped inside the trees, maybe? And at that point, they're not isolationists, they were just unlucky. <laughs> Well, if, yeah. if you if you look at it from the uh, from the perspective of Thor, technically everything is a giant spirit tree. So we're all technically trapped in a tree. I just picture there's a tree, and he just sees it. He's like impenetrable. And we walk around it. He goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they grow horizontally you just, in Wakanda. You just throw a rock through it, and the rock bounces back at you <laughs> off of the air. Like, now, oh, do they give like a geographic position for Wakanda? Yeah, it's Central yeah. Africa. And they it's show kind of near where they Congo. show they show it surrounded okay. by loads of grass fields, loads of fields that they're not even in. You know, like all of the the faked guys. Oh, oh when they flew over, yeah, yeah they there's, flew there's over. loads of space. It's not like it's a bunch of trees. And even if it were, why would that stop people? I don't understand. <laughs> Actually, Someone yeah, said it's as like... impenetrable as the defense of this movie. Yeah, and like everybody walked back then. It's not like they're <laughs> trying to drive tanks and shit through it. <laughs> like, is impenetrable before us? You walk through it. <laughs> it's just <sighs> like, what oh, were they dear. stopping? Like fucking, I don't know. Dodge caravans. We're not even like on the <laughs> plot, which is, by the way, my biggest issues with this film is Killmonger and the plot. It's not even this. Sure. <laughs> Killmonger in the plot would be a good band name. That's true. <laughs> the movie explicitly states at the beginning that Wakanda is surrounded by mountain ranges and impenetrable forests. Except the parts that aren't. And to top it off, <laughs> if you actually manage to get through all that, what do you find? A group of people intent on not letting you spread the word. Once no, they're act, pacifists. What, I was gonna say, what do you mean by that? They murder you? <laughs> like, what, what do you think happens? Do, you, do they make you pinky swear? You have to write the movies. Yeah, to now at this point, figure. I'm just thinking, like, what happens if some kid from some other tribe just, like, went exploring in the jungle, and he just walks through and just sees these giant towers? Well, what do they it, do to him? Well, they little Nakambi's about to be a fucking statistic, I guess. <laughs> That's the thing, man. You've got to keep Wakanda safe, so whatever. It's collateral. Right, well, we, we can throw him on the giraffe body. We All right, guys. Week. How much would we you enjoy the Wakandan culture at that point? How much would people... Someone said they'll pacify you to death. <laughs> they'll pacify <laughs> you to death. <laughs> 
that, what do you find? A group of people intent on not letting you spread the word. Once you've actually- Have you guys noticed how vague he is with the- He doesn't say murder. He doesn't say anything. He's like, they will, you know, <laughs> yeah. engage in methods that prevent- <laughs> They the will really- <laughs> They will convince you with very, very well-constructed dialogue and discussion. I'm, I'm sorry. I got to read this comment. It uh, says- you must forget Dewey, the first Black Panther to Christopher Columbus. <laughs> forget Dewey. I just, dude, I like, you turn up, you turn up and all the farmer people are like, hey man, you're like, hey, and you carry on walking, they go, where are you going? You go, oh, just over there. And then they go, don't, don't do that. Why? <laughs> just don't do that. <laughs> you're like, I'm, you, uh, I'm you do not know Dewey. <laughs> You do they not know to, Dewey this, over those mountains. He keeps avoiding it's saying it. impenetrable fours. Like, you know why, right? Because if you admit that Wakandans have been murdering anybody who comes close to them, that's really <laughs> grim. Like, you're like, <laughs> good luck That makes them, them. bad. Not so that much makes them very, very bad. Pacifist of that very point. hard to root for. Mo harder to root for them than it was before. <laughs> <laughs> we discovered the city. How far back over the mountain ranges or through the rainforests do you expect people to be able to get so that people can get back home and through, go? Yes, I love how he says through just, the mountain oh, ranges, wanna... as though people don't like climb mountains all the yeah, time. Let me hear that again because I, I think I'm going to be making that point. <laughs> A group of people intent on not letting you spread the word. Mm -hmm. Once you've actually discovered the city, how far back over the mountain ranges or through the rainforests do you expect people to be able to get? So that well, if they got okay. there, yeah. then presumably Wait. they can get back. Before, well, yeah, before people that don't bit, go further than they can't return. Before that bit, because he's wrong on that too, is he suggesting that any people who get into Wakanda decide, well, can't get back out? Guess I'll just stay, stay here forever. Yes, I'll just kill myself. Sorry, wife and kids and say, my there, national there are no, there you know, pride are no, and my culture. There is no other race in Wakanda, so you, that doesn't even account for any explorers across the world from the Western world. Someone else said, "My wait, boy, forget the way, or you will forget your life." <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Watching the movie wrong. That's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, the... so so it said Bone Dome, and that's what we need to start <laughs> calling it. The bone, the bone dome. dome. But my question is, if they're going there from the legends alone, right? And, and and then you go, well, when they get there, they realize they can't get back. Like, it's so flimsy. Do you think people who go to climb Everest don't have the foresight to, to bring resources that will bring them back? Well, yeah. It's not a one-way trip. And we're talking about a rainforest. You could actually survive in it. Like, if you didn't... People do yeah, that in South water, America. You know, this is not, like I said, water, Everest. There are animals... <laughs> Very, I mean, very, I, very strange points being made here. Fucking bizarre. This is awful so far. I went hiking up a mountain just three months ago, and I brought the stuff I would need to get up and back down. <laughs> why? Why does he think what do you that mean, people Wolf? wouldn't That's do ridiculous. that? That's ridiculous. There was Let's only enough gas in the car to If get you there. were so good that you could get through the quote-unquote impenetrable, <laughs> which it isn't because somebody penetrated, but if you're good enough to get through that or climb mountains... Are they so stupid that they don't know how to get back? Yeah, it's I love, very I love the writing because... he's doing. He's just like, they just wouldn't, typically speaking. <laughs> they just wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> well, it's only impenetrable when you try to go back through the forest. It's like, does he not understand that Hannibal crossed the Alps in 218 BC? He took <laughs> elephants over the fucking Alps <laughs> to invade Rome. In 218 BC. But Rags, you're forgetting that there wasn't an impenetrable forest in the way. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, impenetrable forest, remember that. It's How did people this... get to Tibet? They, no, the impenetrable Himalayas, they just... Yeah, they didn't... <laughs> and the fact that he's taking the words of the movie so definitively, like, if the movie told you, for example, there is a mountain on every side of Wakanda that's so big no one could ever cross it, and you're just sitting there thinking like, what? <laughs> And then this like, guy is like, well, you know, they said it. They people, said it. human beings managed to cross an ice bridge between Russia and Alaska and then go all the way down to the bottom so close that they could <laughs> get to Antarctica if they wanted to, but they can't walk through, like, two kilometers of shrub. Dude, it's but like, there wasn't an impenetrable <laughs> ice forest. Ice well, forest. Let's <laughs> think about it, though. If, if what he said was true, that doesn't really help him out, because if there is a point on the Earth where there's a circle of mountains around a point, 
then people are like, "Ooh, that's mysterious." Yeah, we're gonna, I want to Especially if it's uncharted. Yeah. Especially if it's uncharted. Yeah, people want. That's the thing. But they don't. That's the thing they don't make anymore. They don't make land anymore. He's people not accurate about up. this anyway, because they show that there's plenty of grassy field areas, plains outside of this dome. So it's it's just not true anyway. Mm -hmm. But there we are. We're still on the intro as well. I feel like he's not going to be able to cover... He said he's going to be able to do this in two parts. How are you going to be able to cover all my points in two... I have a feeling he's going to skip over the ones that are that are good and ignore good. them. Good. <laughs> love to get in, so that people in, can get back. Impenetrable forest is how good. you lose your open world. I was expecting a better rebuttal to my point here. I, I still think my point's good here. I was like, expecting better as well, yeah. Back home and go, yes, Wakanda exists, I promise. And then when the age rolled around that it would be impossible to miss a big city like that, the modern age of photo evidence and Google Maps, they had their cloaking device up. Do you actually think that any- uh, I never said that Wakanda should we be photographed. We didn't talk about, yeah. Never said that, so... Legis Again, so the someone launched themselves into space, or tried to launch themselves into space to prove the Earth is flat. Wait, you're we've... just in- You're in denial if you think that people wouldn't try and find this. We've gone over his point anyway. In so many, this is the thing; it breaks in so many different ways. But yeah, he's right. Anybody who tries to take a photo of Wakanda with a dome up won't get a photo of Wakanda. But I don't think I ever said that, so it's all good. I don't think I've yeah, ever said that. You, you kind of got to go under the dome to get a photo of Wakanda. No one's gonna believe you <laughs> if you look at the dome. No one ever suggested into that. It. People would have just walked into the fucking dome. There are like people live in Africa. <laughs> like just, I think is that a is that a thing that people forget? Like Africa's full of people. It's just funny that one of the they biggest counters. It's just look at human history. We do insane shit to get to places. Really insane yeah. shit. And I you mean, know, especially towards the later years, if uh, if for example some military in Central Africa went off and it's like, well, you guys go that way, we'll go this way, and then we'll meet up, and, and they just don't show up, and they don't hear from them. Are you saying that at no point <laughs> would anybody investigate that? Somebody said India had mountains, but did it have impenetrable trees? <laughs> That's the important <laughs> angle. Alright, here we go. Any kind of credence once the Google satellite passed over that- Oh, oh, also important before we go on. Hannibal was African, so he could do it. Just saying. Age of photo Just evidence it. and Google Maps. They had their cloaking device up. Do you actually think that any legend of Wakanda that- Oh, well I never said that. You're inferring it and now yeah, you're that's asking interesting. the question. You did exactly <laughs> what you fucking criticized me for. <laughs> okay, Bit of a hypocritical look, move there, buddy. A bunch of trolls on 4chan looked at weather patterns to find Shia LaBeouf's flag. And you're telling me- and, you, and, and you're trying to tell me that people- would not go looking for this. I mean, people found like some dude dragging a dead guy over a dock somewhere <laughs> on Google Maps, and you're trying to tell me that no one would even attempt to find Wakanda in this. We, we were shown they literally travel into the dome with spaceships. It's so reckless. They're not even cloaked. Do you remember? <laughs> I, I make a, I make a point of this. I don't know if he's going to bring it up, but they're in Wakanda with their ship fully visible. Then they go bloop into the dome, and it's like, yeah, Google would actually get a photo of that. Funnily enough, <laughs> that would actually happen. Mm -hmm. Once existed, would ever be given any kind of credence once the Google satellite passed over that area and provided photographic evidence? That was <laughs> Someone that, dude, said people... he will not pacify us. Did you just imply that people wouldn't believe it once Google's passed over there and shown nothing? Do you understand because, flat yeah, earthers people exist? People think that the Earth is flat. <laughs> it's like, come on. Wakanda that once existed would ever first, be given any kind of credence. First flat earthers now Wakanda put in that area and provided photographic evidence. <laughs> that that was Wakanda there deniers. are people who wouldn't believe the Earth is round if they were like you know sh taken into space and traveled around the earth some I mean, people one of the think popular that theory... is 6,000 years old even though we have like um even though we know of things that existed before even that the time. pyramids predate that does, yeah does this guy Dinosaurs... honestly believe that if google said wakanda does not exist then we'd all go oh, okay yeah, they realize all, that that all we would be able to infer is that that Wakanda's conservative. Yeah, people would assume that Google had been paid off. <laughs> like that's so crazy they could get. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, you you realize that people believe, like the flat earthers believe, that every airplane has windows that make the Earth appear <laughs> round. 
I mean, come on! How delusional do are you? Viewed Wakanda that is sitting right next to them in extreme poverty. Do they actually care about the people starving at their doorstep? Do they at least bribe those guys to stay silent? Like, you probably think I'm crazy right now. Watch the opening again. Before they travel through the secret entrance to Wakanda, the ship that Black Panther and his crew are in flies right past regular Wakandans, and some fuck is waving to them. <laughs> 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 No. <laughs> it's funny to hear that again. <laughs> to clarify for this man, in case he doesn't understand my point, I understand that the outside Wakandans are in on it, right? But the the world is in on the outside Wakandans. We know about the outside Wakandans, okay? We accept they mm -hmm. exist. So they would naturally have people there, maybe visiting. They have people who interact with the real world. Like that's that's okay, so information can spread and it's like and you have these people actively watching regular interactions with the secret Wakanda. For me, you, you take that concept, you add as many years as you want to it, and the information is going to bleed out. There's no way well, it Yeah, stays. hey, there's a, there's a new country across the ocean called America, full of opportunity, and you can go there and start a new life. I mean, who, what, all these fucking goat farmers in the middle of Africa, Wakanda or not, how many of them will say, you know what, there's this new world that's been discovered. Let, I wonder what that's all about. And again, right, relief workers who've apparently, you know, they can go everywhere except Wakanda, perhaps. But like, just picture one relief worker who's curious and I, takes a I, track I don't know. to. I scarce, I scarcely remember something that had to do with UN people going to the poor Wakanda front, and no, I guess nobody let it slip. Like, oh. You know, uh, hey buddy, I'm just going into the force field to pick up some groceries. Well, I'll be back in a couple Dude, no, just remember. <laughs> if, <laughs> what Kroger. He like does it uh, in front of all the relief workers and his friend is like, oh, that was, that's, whoa. Oh, what was darn, that? another one. It happened again. <laughs> oh, no. I think. Oh, that, man. We, oh. Time to pacify uh, him to death. Also, pacify. you know, when they went off. <laughs> You when they went much. off to do in uh, in Civil War, when they were in Lagos and doing like they had relief workers, I guess nobody at any point like spoke to where they could see the language written on their lips on the inner side of their lip. Oh right, you know yeah. like, I, when they were chewing, nobody saw that. Lucky no one ever like, saw hey, that. Like, yeah. Words this is, this is the thing, they do not put in enough effort, and they show us so many things that make me go like, how could you possibly have stayed a secret? <laughs> but anyway, let's let's hear his counter. Multiple choice. What strikes you as more likely? The thing that you just said, which you are only saying because you think it's ridiculous in the first place, or these people that are just outside the secret city of Wakanda are from- Okay, so why are they poor then? My point relies on point B being true. Yeah. What this does that guy's even not mean? very- This guy's not very bright. What does he mean the thing I just said clearly isn't true? That fuck is waving. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, this right guy's there. in on it. <laughs> Like, yeah, we know, like he said, Dude, this guy, adds, this, this fucker is waving at them. It adds to the issue if they leave and uh, stay out of the city, if they keep going in and out. I mean, I'm pretty sure the movie makes it a point that everyone outside of the central domed Wakanda is poor. Let me so just give you an example. You're already saying that they don't, they don't leave the city because- No class envy, no strife. Do they have internet at Wakanda? Yes or no? I I'm guess assuming, not. I guess they, no, they because if it. there was, you're done. Just with that fact alone. Oh, they, they <laughs> use VPNs. You can't. <laughs> it's like with the internet, they're fucked, because it takes one Wakanda to go, I'm actually in a secret city right now, we'll play it Overwatch <laughs> or something. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you look at a heat map of like where all of your internet traffic's from, and there's just this <laughs> random spot in the middle of Africa <laughs> where there's a bunch of people who have high-speed internet, and you're like, that's strange. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there's no Wakanda never said, ha, you're gay. Yeah, that was, it was weird that he said this, because, like I said, point B is what I'm assuming is true in order to make my point. All these people there was no like, teenager who just said, fuck it. Wakanda are from yeah, I mean, the secret city of Wakanda, but just aren't in it at the moment. Right, let's put it this way. Okay. That's what I said. Are they your two choices? Is that your two choices? I don't even understand this dichotomy there. Or... That was weird. <laughs> I don't yeah, understand how come... it either. Uh, it's very strange. Why didn't he know? When he was typing that out, was he like, oh shit, people being outside Wakanda, that's like an issue for secrecy. Pretty sure that's not uh, the correct aspect ratio, by the way. <laughs> well, he's got to add the black into it to make it... I don't even... You're, yeah, why isn't he correcting my aspect ratio? Why didn't he use clips from Black Panther? Because it's out. He's clearly using clips from other movies. 
Wow. Because he was too busy thinking of shit. Why, why'd you cut out the against... black? Yeah, why'd you are cut you, out the black, are, dude? Hmm? Are you yeah, against... Yeah, you hate black? Are you... Yeah, do you hate black? You're not, like, saying black it's... on the screen? We may as well nitpick him technically, since he did it to me. It's like, yeah, what you should have done here <laughs> is start, remove the background so that it plays this as black, because now it's just distracting that we have this strange border around the film. Yeah, How, how do you, how do you like it when goes. someone does it to you? <laughs> <laughs> about Wakanda, or claw wouldn't be a thing. But the reason this isn't common knowledge, which seems to be what you're complaining about, is that, well, if someone- Not common knowledge, I'm confused how it never got out. Which would have spread yeah. and spread and spread. Claw seems to be the only information breach they've ever had. Aside like, from Like, remember, the legends spring up about places that never existed, that people spent their whole lives looking for. Yeah. You know, Atlantis, El Dorado. So, a place that actually did exist. Um, yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I told you there was a secret African city that was invisible from Google Maps and all other- Yes, I would believe yeah, that. Really, I could really believe that right Google now. Maps, if you yeah, told Anthony me there was Bourdain would go there and check it out, or one of those Discovery Channel shows, they would go out and say, like, what? Legends. I'm blown Such away by this. The amount of legends that exist in human history that have no bearing on reality. Like, people believe this stuff, dude. Google but Maps does not disprove legends. <laughs> You yeah, realize that the there. flying spaghetti monster actually has unironic <laughs> followers, right? Dude, did did Google Maps when it was released? Did that prove disprove Atlantis? How did that go? I think that this guy forgets that Wakanda isn't a concept; it's a physical place, and that if somebody went to go look for it, they would find it. That's the thing. If you go look for it, you'll find it. Yeah, this, this, especially if they literally got access to vibranium. I mean. Or sold uh, Ultron like several crates of vibranium. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I mean, how is it that how nobody? He... he literally has the, the stuff that they have. It's... Anybody would believe him if he That's... said that. And dude, after Age of Ultron, wouldn't Iron Man have been like, "Where did all this vibranium come from?" By yeah, the way? exactly. Because I should be using this kind of metal. Shit. Like, I would love yeah, to yeah. use this kind of metal. And, th and that's the thing, it's because it's really badly done. It's stapled on. Black Panther as a film is stapled onto the MCU, and they're just like, eh, it doesn't make sense, shut up. And let's be honest, if someone told you that there is a secret world in Africa right now, and you're like, uh, surely not, we would have found it. And it's like, no, it has a dome that literally makes it impossible to see through, and if anything touches it, it vaporizes. I would still be like, hmm. That's a big test, though. That's exactly. It's like, well, I could go and prove you wrong just by walking through Wakanda. So let's it's go like, do oh, it. Oh, yeah. Well, the, on the Discovery Channel, all those shows that they have about people going into the wilderness and checking out legends. To find Bigfoot. They would have gone out still there. Think and Bigfoot exists. Come on. The satellite photos. Would you believe them? Or would you trust the, you know, evidence that there isn't one there? How is Google okay. Maps definitive evidence? I'm not even saying it isn't. I'm not saying it is possible. No, I, I, what I'm saying is that uh, I can understand someone believing that Google Maps is forged if they were, you know, like a shot was forged on there and it was paid for by someone. I understand how you could believe it. I probably wouldn't myself, but it's possible. And the idea that, what does it matter if I believe it? Yeah, it's, you're not trying to convince someone or somebody or a group of people. You're, you're trying to convince an entire planet, multiple <laughs> civilizations worth of people. It's people like he thinks that people it. don't believe things without evidence. Look at every religion ever. I just... This is bizarre. You stayed on this point for so long. It's like, why do you want to die on this hill? <laughs> Leave yeah, alone. the fifth... Yeah, he's five and a half minutes in, and his points are awful. And How contradictory. How workers not find out about this if the third world Wakandans know about it? It's explicitly stated that Wakanda refuses aid, and that would include relief workers, but... Yeah, but that, about... that doesn't make any sense either, because relief workers would find it anyway. I, in fairness because the to, relief... Yeah, no, I was going to say, in fairness to him, I didn't make it explicit enough, but what I meant, and I swear to God when I was writing the script, I meant this, because I remember the scene where they say they refuse uh, relief workers. Relief workers are not refused at every other place outside of Wakanda, so how is it possible over this entire time that nobody ventured into Wakanda? Yeah, because they don't, yeah, they don't <laughs> know it's a Wakanda to venture into. That doesn't mean if you go there... You won't be in Wakanda. You'll just find it. Also, that's it it's, be there. it's more bullshit because are you trying to tell us that as a as a Western community, we're like, let's look after the work, like help people in Africa, and it's like, yeah, every single country gets given aid except Wakanda, the one right in the middle. It's like, why? Well, because they don't want it. Why? 
Well, like, yeah. that's unusual. If they're poor, they would want it. If, and if they're they were rich, actually having people die, they would want it. Exactly. And if they're rich, it'll make us go, wait, why are they rich? Are they able to help? They present themselves as poor. Are they rich? Do they have something that we as, don't know about? Let's like, look into that. This guy, the only way this narrative works for him is if everyone on planet Earth is retarded. It's like we all just go, oh, okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, is he, Wakanda a real thing? We check Google Maps. It's not there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's the Holdo defense. Uh, oh, yeah. The story works if the characters are retarded. Well, you know, you kind of got to be retarded to like this movie, so... That's racist, <laughs> Guess dude. It. Oh, well. Yeah. Some pe some of us are retarded. Okay. And we so hated after this all movie. Of that, we actually get into the movie proper. There are a few balls based jokes that I actually quite like. As he is plummeting to the trees, he throws his balls at his enemies and it disables them. But there's nothing really wrong here. I mean, unless I'm missing something which isn't unthinkable, everything is just sort of. Fun. Wait a second, if if nobody knows about Wakanda, how come he just fucking shows up at the UN? Oh, well, they know about the fake Wakanda. They know about Wakanda, but it's the fake front Wakanda, oh, not it's the, the real fake front Wakanda. Wakanda. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's, it's a little Where bit... they have suits and have access to yeah, planes see, that presumably the... fly them over to different wow. countries. It's a bit weird, isn't it? The more you that think adds, about it, the more it gets that weird. That adds questions. <laughs> it's uh, a let's... fake, I guess, they, they, there's a fake... Yeah, I guess you forgot about that, didn't you? For or that Wakanda is actually... La 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 la, turn off your brain, la la la. Hey guys, he appreciated my balls joke. High five, alright? He's, he's Hooray. Guy. Actually, he, now, he wait, no. No, now, uh, now I'm even more confused. So Wakanda is recognized as an actual country, but unlike all the other countries surrounding it that were created by European colonizers, the one, the single one that wasn't colonized, apparently, that had nobody go there and, like, take them over in the entire continent is the one that doesn't let people come to their country and that doesn't <laughs> accept really? aid. It, isn't that just a big mystery? Isn't that just like, that's wow, that sounds really, you want to go there. And then if you find out there are legends of Wakanda having an incredible society underneath it, you'd be like, fuck, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. It's like, yeah, there would be national <laughs> geographic teams and fucking exactly. all sorts of people trying to find out. The, the, it would be it would be a whole mini series. You'll get fucking psychos, the Discovery Channel, a psycho group of BBC. Like, it's eight people who are like, let's take pistols and everything else that we need and go on this track because we're going to about discover history here, but we might get attacked. Yeah. And if, if we don't come back, we are going here and here and here. Monster. And before someone says that's ridiculous, it's happened in history. People have yes. done it before. They do crazy things. Again, an African guy, Hannibal, crossed mountains with elephants in 218 BC. People get to where they want to go, even if they want to fucking bring elephants with them. Exactly. Beautiful elephants that can get past impenetrable trees. Well, maybe not. Probably not. Well, that's why he took them over the mountains, because the trees were just too much. <laughs> the mountains are easy to cross. But yeah. so, really someone in the chat there. said he's really well spoken for a king of shepherds. I mean, I still, I'm still, I'm still stuck at the whole speaking English thing. I still think that that's pretty retarded. That the entire culture speak English. Shouldn't they speak an African language? Uh, they do have a language. We, should we yeah. chalk that up to just movie simplicity? Yeah, no, I'm actually yeah. okay with it for the most part. I mean, like, I'll let it go. Star Wars, you know, it's but the it, same reason that when Peter Quill goes into space, everybody speaks English, well, even though English. The reason, <laughs> the reason I bring it up, the reason I bring it up here rather than let's say Guardians, is because does that imply they that speak both? If right. they if they speak English in Wakanda, then that means they must have been dealing with the outside world in some way. Like at least they learned the language from the outside world and then adopted it. Or are we supposed to just ignore I that? Guess it's not actually relevant. Research. Well, here's the th we've already established that it's basically inevitable that they interact with the outside world. I mean, if especially if people are living outside Wakanda, and because for almost all of Wakanda's history, they didn't have a magic. MacGuffin wall, they will interact with other people. All like right, I said, uh, they I'll, used a VPN. I'm happy to just keep going anyway on that one. Yeah, yeah. to the trees, he throws his balls at his enemies and it disables them. But there's nothing really wrong here. I mean, unless I'm missing something which isn't unthinkable, everything is just sort of fine for a while. Then we get to stuff like this. Why in the world would Black Panther bother with any kind of stealth? His suit makes him immune to bullets. He may as well just do it the Iron Man way and land in the center of a bunch of enemies <laughs> and just fuck them all up. They can't actually do anything to him, so why bother with the pretense? And maybe you're thinking he wants to do it- Wait, I think he might have cut my context there because I almost disagreed with myself. I was like, why would you bother with stealth? 
in general. It's like, well, there are times where you can at least spy on people, at least, so that's always good for stealth. But I can't remember if I was arguing it for that scenario. You, I, think, I think what it was was you would just point it out the part where they were in the jungle stealthily took out two guys and then yeah, just started was killing them all. I found it weird that yeah. he stealthily took out two and then he took out It doesn't out matter, he can't be yeah, hurt. Like, what's the point? Yeah. yeah, so I feel like he might have cut me out of my context there. With a limit to civilian casualty or protecting the people in the convoy, but he only stealth kills two. Oh, there we go. For okay, the cool. rest, he just assaults the place with bullets flying everywhere. Yes, you heard that right. That was, why is he bothering with stealth? It doesn't seem very necessary. Almost immediately yeah, followed it doesn't. by, well, he doesn't seem to be using stealth very much. It's almost as if he used stealth just for the approach, so that he could get the advantage. But that, that doesn't make sense. No, no, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not understanding the point. The point is that if if he is invulnerable to bullets, yet he stealth killed two people, but then later on doesn't seem to care about collateral damage, it, like it has to be one or the other. Either yeah. he goes Why full approach silently at all. Yeah, exactly. You know, why go silent or why go stealth? And there's no reason to do both. You do one or the other. Yeah, because I remember watching this the film being confused. Truth. He kills two stealthily <laughs> and then just assaults the rest. It was like, why did you yeah. even bother with the stealth? I think it's, wouldn't it's it like have been faster? Game. My actual yeah, assumption was he was protecting the convoy. He was trying to, if you do it stealthily, you can knock it out without bullets flying. But he's like, oh no, he does maybe, do that anyway. Maybe they, the people think, maybe the people who made this movie thought that the idea of Black Panther implied, you know, stealth and subterfuge, and they just threw that in at the beginning to, like, yeah. remind the audiences of it. Well, it makes for a fun scene, because you're like, oh, there's the build-up, oh, there's the reveal, oh, he knocks them out, and now we get into it, boom, boom, boom. And I was just like, well, that didn't make sense as a strategy, yeah, but okay. I, like, yeah. and I guess this definitely confirms that he murders every ever in <laughs> I guess. I mean, if the secret... You know, either you stealth take out people so they don't even know what happened, and then it's like, ooh, mysterious, or they see you, and when they wake up, they remember that they got attacked by a guy in a black cat suit. <laughs> and, so, well, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, do and, they kill them after that, and what? And they have the scene of Iron Man playing here. And it's so fitting for, I forget which Iron Man one this is from, it's one. been ages. It's one. One. This is one. So, yeah. it tells you a lot about the way that Tony solves problems. <laughs> he's very head on. He's very head on. He's very confident. It's a he's great very, sequence. Yeah, he's very fuck you. I'm Iron Man. Yeah, you know, I'm taking my problems head on. I'm not sneaking around. You know, here I am. I'm here to you know solve these issues. It's very mm -hmm. upfront. It's very confident. Very it's a great sequence, though. Yeah, it's I great sequence. sequence. So it just said stealth pacifism. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he peacefully killed those guards. <laughs> peacefully, man. <laughs> peacefully he threw one of them into the truck and broke all of his organs and bones. Yes, but it's very but how, how peaceful. I, he I mean, at least he was nice about it. So anyway. Do you think that any of those got Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I'll try and kick it up so we can get through this video, poor guy. It's almost mm. as if he used stealth just for the approach, so that he could get the advantage of surprise. Well, he has no need for surprise. advantage. You can't he beat him. Well, he kind of <laughs> lost the element of surprise when he disabled every single car in the entire convoy. Yeah, they were all they were all on edge after he did that. And not to I, mention, I what the fuck is what advantage can he, he gain? That guy to the car. He's immune to bullets. What can they do to him? Yeah, why didn't he land at the back of the convoy and work his way up? Whenever I just, it it's, just doesn't yeah, I think it's worthwhile to compare. It, like you compare it to Iron Man and. Really damage well with Iron Man, it needs to be a lot of like firepower. But with Iron Man, he just lands there and beats them all up because they can't do anything to him. But with Black Panther, even though they can't do anything to him, he just decides to dude. He just, he just said he, just he did it to gain the advantage. I wish he would develop that. What what advantage can what he advantage? gain? Yeah, I mean, wouldn't his advantage be the suit that protects him from bullets? <laughs> I would, I would label that. Faster and more, I would label that as the advantage. Faster and more, yeah, I mean, it would have been faster and more efficient if he just attacked them outright. Also, um, he, he skipped over... I had a lot of criticisms of that opening scene in... Um, I can't remember where it was. But, like, skipping over my points for why the film is broken, if he comes to a conclusion at the end of this that, see, Black Panther isn't so bad, I'll be pretty annoyed if he's ignored all the good points by his own standard, if you know what I mean. Because your Black Panther was how long? Uh, Sorry, that came out wrong. Um, the video. Your, <laughs> I think it was 40 minutes. Movie on, 
Mm-hmm. Jeez. Because his, his criticism video is shorter than the one it's responding to. Well, and he well spends part part one. One. if you remember, oh, okay. Rags, you're not allowed to be longer than the original if you're going to make something oh, good. That's okay. how that works. I gotcha, I gotcha. Anyway, we will continue. Use stealth just for the approach so that he could get the advantage of surprise. And then once he'd given himself well, why would away, he need, he didn't that's the thing, he doesn't need the advantage of surprise. Wait, 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 stealth wait. Anymore. Use stealth just for the approach. So he he said that he had nothing, yeah, to nothing to gain from using stealth. And then once he'd given himself away, he didn't have any advantage. That doesn't to gain answer the question at all. Anymore. So he he did. He's not even listening to me. I said that stealth is fine with me, especially for the reason that you want to protect the convoy. So you knock all these people out so they can't do what they did to Iron Man in this scene. Did you get that? But then Black Panther just now, drops. I the do stealth. like his logic though, because you know, as somebody who plays a lot of stealth games, I can tell you that even if you've been seen, you can still slip away, and then they don't know where you are. And mm-hmm. so, yeah. even though they know that you're around, they don't know where you are. Yeah, they already knew so he was around because take... he disabled the fucking cars. And two yeah. of their guys didn't come back. <laughs> Did they think a lion just killed them? And that's like, oh well, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's like, oh man, what are those lions? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Those dusted lions. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It feels like he deliberately avoided what I was trying to say there. Because he's not an idiot. You know, even even before he revealed himself, he might have been scouting out the area and trying to figure out. Nice, just invent the scenes. Dropped in from a plane. I like how you're trying to make his own motivation now. Exactly, he's right in the film. So terrible. I mean, stop writing the film for them. Stop making these terrible arguments. You know, I think of one of my favorite films, Shawshank Redemption, and I can't think of many instances where I'm sat there like, now why did they do this? Let me Let me try and figure out why they did this. You know what I mean? It's clear. It's apparent. Anything that's important is apparent. The, the problem is that if we got him to explain a problem he has in a film, I guarantee you I can just do this back to him with any flaw. I could be like, what you don't understand is that this was happening, blah, 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 blah. And then you'll be Why like, didn't Ultron create more than one cool version of himself? Why didn't he just create like two vibranium Ultrons? Even though like a flattened by Iron Man both times. Oh no, it was it was it was Vision. <laughs> no, the Iron vibranium Man. one, remember? Yeah, it was yeah. four Vision and Iron Man at the same time, right? They like had to... he had he had enough to create all the shitty robots, but why didn't he just make five or ten like awesome vibranium and then, Ultrons? And then, yeah, and then hide yeah. them like fucking Horcruxes. Your yeah, your argument against that could be, well, he's uh, he's arrogant, so he did something purposely dumb. No, dude, I'll do you <laughs> better. Like, he had did... <laughs> he had exactly enough vibranium to only make that suit and whatever One, device. And no he had. more. Exactly. Yeah, and the film doesn't put its effort <laughs> into doing that at all, but it could have. And this is the thing: you're writing the fucking scenes. Anyway, well, yeah. maybe that's what's okay. going on. He's literally immune to these weapons. Not getting a strong vibe of intelligence with this approach here, but, you know, oh, dude. maybe that's the point. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. You don't want to... Also... After, after this first seven minutes, you don't want to be saying that. <laughs> yeah, especially because there should be a comma after you, and there should be punctuation, but that's just, like, really? <laughs> Reveal himself and actually get into the fight. You know, maybe oh, maybe Especially that's what's he, going he lets on. He's literally be seen. immune to these weapons. Not getting a strong vibe of intelligence with this approach here, but he's already commented on how I made some decent criticisms, and I I made him laugh too. So yeah, it's a bit weird. Yeah, I can't you wait know, for me. him to see this stream, so and <laughs> he can see us for two hours calling. Dude, him an our idiot. biggest defense is that we make them so long, nobody wants to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna watch them for that. Long. So they sp- so they spend six minutes on the you know, one little point at the beginning, and even that's wrong. So like, fuck. maybe that's the point. Uh, I cut a bit out here, but that wasn't clear, so I decided to do this. I mean, okay, apparently vibranium is such an incredible metal that it skyrocketed Wakanda to a futuristic age in technology and architecture, but perhaps not in the general market that's available to the populace? What about this market doesn't look advanced to you? Um, are you uh, you fucking uh, kidding me? (laughs) Are you fucking kidding me? The only thing that looks advanced is the train in the background. And even then, it looks... Like a bus. It just looks like a normal- Look at how dirty it is! Look at all the dust that's getting kicked up! It looks There's like little a little straw. Can you see the straw on the left? Uh, the right, sorry. On the roof, there's like straw. Yeah, it's... yeah. There's bamboo and well, that I looks mean, like, I, I, it's like well, tile bamboo, or something. And, uh, Downtown Detroit looks more advanced than this. <laughs> it looks like there's. It's looked like it looks like they're setting up a story for a two class society. 
it does, doesn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like this, this is the is lower class. Not as nice. Yeah, is this yeah. the story that this movie's going to go into about the lower class and the upper class? You know, th- th- is this like an all is is Wakanda an oligarchy? You know, are are is there you know, is this like you no, know? Apparently, this looks advanced. France? You know, revolutionary I, France. I, I want to know what about this image looks advanced at all to him. <laughs> the gerbil tube. I mean, honestly, the original Halo Two uh, city level in the like, I think it's like the second or third New level of Mombasa, the game. Yeah, yeah. New Mombasa looks more advanced than this. <laughs> and that's in Africa. That's in uh, yeah. That's in Africa. Well, there's someone on the Discord who shared a bunch of pictures of somewhere in Africa that's uh, more modern than than the rest of it, and it looks well, yeah, way well, better I mean, than this. Africa is not um, is not fully underdeveloped like a lot of people think it is. It does have cities. Yeah, there are and cities technology and, and, and TVs and internet and cars. It's not just a bunch of people living in straw huts. That's the unless they're in Wakanda, <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, <laughs> unless they're in Wakanda. Wakanda yeah, is, is less advanced is not... than Johannesburg, I suppose. This is not where my mind goes when I think futuristic. That's, this is not. Someone said, uh, "This is Africa almost is just Wakanda on a budget." <laughs> different to what we have over here. It doesn't look quite as commercialized, but there's there nothing are there sign, that looks sign, different. banner, sign, banner, sign, street corners, Straw. Ed, stores, shops. Oh, See, and this is the problem. A lot of people are like, oh, it's because Mola doesn't appreciate culture. And I'm like... Here's the thing. Look at this scene. Take out the gerbil tube train. That's a real place. Well, let's put it this way. When you take out the CGI stuff, which is all the stuff in the background... Around. Someone, this could if be a photograph. Saw that, yeah, yeah. This is a photograph. You'd be like, that bus is unusual. It must be like a Fiat or something. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously though, if like this could, I mean, it looks like an actual place from actual Africa. Just take out the gerbil tube, and you're like, yeah, okay, it's just it's this moderately sized city in Africa. Why did why did someone just say getting a mention from Sargon isn't good? <laughs> it's like, okay, it's a bit of a random comment. But I, uh, I can't judge what Sargon likes, by the way. He's a fan of Predator. So, as far as it goes, okay. It really screams primitive. What, you think people reach a certain level of technology and this somehow negates their need for things like baskets? We then get a royal entrance. Wait, if the- <laughs> What? <laughs> Why did he treat my point that way? <laughs> what? That is, that is interesting. I mean- That's what he took from what oh. I said. That's oof, woo, woo, lad. I love he zooms into the basket instead of the fucking straw roof. Like, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, good job zooming into the fucking the dirt floor and the <laughs> dust everywhere and the tattered signs and all the you know what looks like poverty everywhere. But all oh, the baskets. Just ignore the the whole rest of the scene. And even then, it's commercialized, help. but there's nothing there that really screams primitive. What you think people? Straw screams primitive. Full stop. Yeah. People reach a Basket certain level of technology. vendors on dirty streets <laughs> does kind of scream primitive. <laughs> a little bit. It's almost like they don't have enough space. I f- wonder why they didn't expand earlier on. Yeah, this is a very densely, you know, packed. Well, because they're place. passive, Fringy. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so they just put up with living like this. Also, this, this is a one-way street. If there's a bus coming the other way, then how does it get through? Yeah, this isn't even. See, that's what's so interesting. That's that a pretty bad urban planning. Yeah, <laughs> being poor as fuck <laughs> isn't culture. <laughs> <laughs> Negates their need for things like baskets. We then get a royal entrance for Black Panther as he approaches his mother and sister. And in relation to the cars that were disabled by the Black Panther's balls in the beginning, his sister says, How many times do I have to tell you? Just because something works doesn't mean it can't be improved. This line is a commentary for the point of the film itself, but here it just means that he needs to update his balls. Okay man, that joke was funny the first time, but if you keep repeating it to the extent that it becomes the only joke in this video- But that was no, I kept it accurate going. to what he said. And yeah, that's the thing, it doubles up as a joke is that she's actually saying that he needs to update his balls. I mean... I stated yeah, a it, fact, and now you're like, stop making jokes. <laughs> and besides, yeah, uh, I keep the ball joke going throughout. I found it funny. I don't care if you don't find it funny. There you go. Yeah. Subjective, boys. It is gonna wear thin. We then cut to London, and we see... Oh, look. It's Creed. That was a good movie. I like Creed. Creed is looking at ancient artifacts while getting them explained by some lady. He gets rather flustered when she implies that the artifacts were discovered and corrects her. These things were not paid for by this woman's ancestors. They were stolen just like they stole 
everything else. Brushing over whatever it is you're implying here, because I genuinely can't tell what it is. I'm implying that uh, Killmonger's saying that white people have stolen everything, which is awkward as fuck. The, the, so the idea true. that white people haven't achieved anything themselves and they stole it from everyone else is fucking wrong. Like, that's a real thing people believe. Yeah. Like, there are people out there who tried to book flights and to Wakanda. Because... And also, I mean, if they didn't think it was Wakanda, they stole it. Your, your mic's all... Right. Uh, your, your mic's cutting right. out a lot, Fringy. Sorry. I mean, they didn't steal it directly from Wakanda, though, did they? Yeah. Stolen from a tribe that must have stolen it from Wakanda, and they probably weren't white. And so yeah, but that can't be true because because then people would know about Wakanda. I don't know. <laughs> you don't uh, know about just, this. Just to clarify, right? Because a lot of people in the comments section were like, "Why do you keep showing Jesse from Breaking Bad whenever you talk about something Creed said?" And the point is that I could make a counter argument, but it's going to devolve into a fucking race conversation in my chat. So I'd rather just Which is, say, "Yeah, what yeah, he's what? saying is very awkward to listen to. It was really awkward to they, listen to in the cinema." They they knew who would be watching this movie, and they knew that there would be a segment of people who watch this movie who want to hear things about white people. I mean, so, need I remind you of the end where Killmonger's dying and he's like, put me back in the ocean so I can be with my ancestors. <laughs> Which, like, but you're from Wakanda. What? <laughs> he's from Wakanda. He's not from Oakland. He's from Oakland. And if, <laughs> he's from Oakland. <laughs> if he's referring <laughs> to how... It's like if he's referring to like the, the common ancestor we all have, it's like, okay, so everyone could drop in that ocean. That's right. There were, there were no Wakandan slaves. So they're not no, your ancestors. All, that's the thing. All black people are related to all black people. All black people, it's one big family. It would be, you know, anybody we who says this has family. never met an actual African person. I'm just gonna say that as Correct. somebody who has, because yeah, one of them is my dad. I would have I to. Um, I'd have to clarify have, the dialogue. With... I'd have to clarify the dialogue. But as far as I remember, Wakanda, he says something like. This wasn't discovered, it was stolen just like everything else you guys steal or something like that. It was some kind of comment, yeah. and it was the first in the film where I was like, whoa, okay. Like, that came out of nowhere. And there's a lot of them. That's not the only one. You get the fucking yeah, colonizer comments as well. And I will <laughs> confirm, I've worked with some OG Africans, right? They are not like African Americans. No, they're no. different. They are That's not probably on me, I'm quite stupid. This is wrong! She made yes, no are. claim at all that her ancestors paid for these artifacts. No, I said that he said that. I didn't say that she claimed who... Uh, I, I can't remember what the actual dialogue is exactly. Again, I'd have to watch the film. She but... said something like it was found in this particular place, and he said, like, nah, it's from Honda or whatever. Yeah, like, it would be stolen. the point of the scene is he's saying it wasn't found, it was stolen. And, and like going by the definition of stolen, it means it was saying. not paid for. And besides, uh, maybe I made that mistake. Fair enough. Like, I, I'll just, for the sake of, of, I don't know my own video 100% because I made it a few months back. Uh, I'll let that one slide. It's common knowledge that a huge number of the foreign artifacts on display in Britain were stolen. And for someone claiming to be an expert, making any kind of claim to the contrary would be laughable. Anyway, this whole part is just- But I was criticizing w Killmonger, not her. Yeah, because you're racist. And he was refer- yeah, like, okay, whatever. The description of the scene, with vague allusions to things the movie might be doing wrong? Turns out the lady has been poisoned and the medical team called in to help, for some reason, hired Gollum. Or, Gollum forced his way in. Like, you've got to know that the- That was a joke, but I guess I should have said it in a more jokey tone. <laughs> I was- uh, You should have just said, this is a joke, by the way. <laughs> I, like, they hired Gollum, as if they went <laughs> to Lord of the Rings world to hire Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> like I was, I understand that he's probably going to say, "Don't you know that they could have, you know, they would have been on, they would have been waiting there the whole time, and they dressed up as paramedics, but they weren't actually." I'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, I can, I get that." I, I was making a joke. The entire medical team was planted, right? Right. Please tell me you yes, understand. It was that. a joke. This whole part yeah. is just very vague. It's all sort of like, is he criticizing the film? Is he not? It sort of. Oh, so he did get the impression I might have been making a joke. He got some. Oh, so that's the second time that you've assumed the worst. Um, Potential. Awesome. Sounds like criticism, but when you actually think about it, he's not really said anything about the film, so I'm just gonna skip on past- oh, Well, I still- I still have to summarize plot to make sure you follow along. I don't have to spend the entire video criticizing. I gotta establish the facts and then tell you how they contradict other facts. That's how I do my videos. Yeah, but remember, that's not the right way to do criticism. If you do that, you're making- 
You're supposed to talk about vague thematic elements <laughs> and the I can already tell you the reason techniques. I made sure to keep that scene in as well. It's really important is because Killmonger's out of the film for like an hour and ten minutes. And I'll be like, oh, now he's back. Remember him from all the way back in this fucking scene? Mm -hmm. Actually, think about it. He's not really said anything about the film, so I'm just going to skip on past it. It's the part where he talks about the if coronation. If you think about it, he hasn't said anything about the film. Don't think about fucking Wakanda, but think about it. Scene. Apparently, in the process of being crowned king, Wakandan tribes are encouraged to challenge the current ruler in mortal combat, potentially resulting in either one of their deaths, and for this, the Black Panther's powers are taken away so that the fight is fair. Why in the fuck would the most advanced culture in our time be using trial by combat to dictate a know ruler? The what? So you guys follow along with that, right? You don't think I'm crazy? Yes, right. Of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah, of course. Do, do we need that's to why I'm explain? saying I'm extremely curious what he's going to say. Do we need to explain why it's bizarre to have trial by combat in the most advanced culture in, on, on, on Earth? Or yeah. is are people satisfied by the answer, it's culture? I can literally not think of a country that runs by this metric today. Yeah, well, but... at least what we notice is that there is a correlation with scientific advancement and just general enlightenment as a species in every society in the world. Yeah, it just, it, in, in plus, it, it, trial by combat basically create, it, it's, there's a reason nobody uses that stupid shit anymore. Because that, it's just dumb. It doesn't make any sense. Well, that's, yeah, exactly. But I guarantee you he's going to say it's a culture thing. Here we go. What society based on the progress of technology and medicine, and protection in general, would allow the strongest person to rule rather than the smartest, or generally speaking, the best suited? Let's gloss over for a minute the fact that them being technologically advanced doesn't mean they have to be politically advanced. And talk about- Um, okay. Well, but generally, in all examples, tends yeah, like, to be coral. Theoretically, he's right, but it's since when do you get a culture that's got the most technologically advanced systems that also happens to be the most culturally primitive people? Yeah, these are the kind of things that you find in science fiction novels and episodes of Star Trek. And remember, like, these guys are aware of other systems in place, so I'm not... Yes, sure why they, they know would... about, like, Western civilization and the Americas and Europe and Australia and Asia. They know the rest of the world exists. Well, they also do like the ape noises when they come oh, in God. scenes. So I wonder if you'll come. And I would just that. like them to think about it. I mean, if if we see an example of like, how, like every time T'Challa was challenged, everybody realized that the guy challenging him was probably not the best choice. If they can notice that trend that these violent aggressors are trying to become king, why would they not try and change the system? Exactly, that's that's what I'm trying to say with this. It's like, your system allows the most aggressive and body-built people to rule. That doesn't sound right. But they're pacifists. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Killmonger and the guy who did the oh, oh, oh in the mountain or whatever, the first two people in the history of Wakanda to kind of be violent and wanted to be king too. Yeah, they were the yeah, first. I remember World War One and Two are raging across, you know, the continents of you know, Europe and, and Asia and stuff like that, and yeah, you know, all sorts of these conflicts, empires rise and fall from the Byzantines to the Babylonians to the Assyrians and all this stuff happened, the Romans, Carthaginians, all that. And nobody says, wait a second, we should, you know, this stuff happens. Like, maybe we should do something. Who cares like, if it no. doesn't make sense? Just go with it. <laughs> it makes enough sense. But the actual systems Wakanda has in place. The first detail you seem to have missed is that tribes put forward warriors to represent them. It's not just the strongest person that rules. Why would they put anyone but the strongest? How are you going to win yeah, with the if, weakest? Yeah, why That's would retarded. they... Yeah, That's retarded. I think what, I think the, I think the thing is that the tribe becomes the candidate right that the whole tribe becomes the ruling authority yeah, based on so the even, strength of someone let's put it this way right? i don't know if i think what he's saying is whoever wins their tribe becomes in charge pretty much but it would still be led by the guy in, who who fought well yeah of course and, and he yeah, seems it would just be a monarchy authority. and underneath him there would be basically a cabinet of advisors because remember nobody's system. allowed to disagree with what king does yeah. because kill yeah, right. has a book a all, dictatorship Effective. Someone Absolutely. said, "May the strongest pacifist win." <laughs> yeah, to me, this is like going, "Okay, we want Trump is our candidate, and the way to win the political race is a game of chess." It's like, 
do we i don't think we should put trump up for that can we put someone else up for that? like i don't know like and then you go okay so this one is the javelin throw to get the presidency it's like all right we're gonna need the person <laughs> who in our javelin. who in our party is good at javelin throw? and then you go okay this was trial by combat all right well, John Cena, you're now the president of the United States. What's first on the agenda? He's like, I don't fuck. And there's the thing. He's, it's almost like he's arguing, yes, the strong man wins, but at least the tribe controls. Like, no. Wakanda's I also wonder very if like, they don't use steroids. Maybe one of the people who tries to challenge secretly takes steroids and like throws them off the cliff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and not what if they dude, find out after the fact? If uh, This film is shown to have a, this a very flawed system. The person who is established as ruler rules with an iron fist. Nobody can question them. Mm -hmm. So what's this Which, tribe yeah, going to do if think, they end up disagreeing with the strong man they put know, up to win? Even even European um, monarchies didn't work like this. They exactly. still eventually had governments and conflicts between the church and the and the crown. Like yeah. it was never just one guy in charge of every. Plus, you have to remember that the Wakanda has been around for thousands of years using this system. At mm -hmm. no point, I guess, did someone win and then say, eradicate all the tribes that aren't us. Apparently not. Well, no because this, the, the here's the thing. This is, no a system, this is a system that practically screams genocide. This is this is my this well, is a really yeah. big issue with it. There was no crazy people and no ambitious people that ever became king, apparently. Yeah, because of course Every in the middle of Central Africa in ancient Netherlands. times. The and, king would say, and that's the thing. This, the this guy would be like, "Well, yeah, that's what the film tells us." And I'm like, "That's okay with you?" <laughs> like, I don't believe that. It's like, oh, it's like that's fucked up. <laughs> it's ambiguous whether or not this warrior has to become the ruler of Wakanda. It's no, not ambiguous. Why is he there then? It's not even it's ambiguous. Not ambiguous. <laughs> the guy who wins is the king of Wakanda. Yeah, that's why else would you come here? To know what he comes there to that. fight over mundane Matt's 100,000 subscriber play button. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they Jesus. they literally like crown and inaugurate or whatever Killmonger the second he beats Thiggy. It's like obviously that's that's how it works. And what's so crazy is that they crown him and he knows literally where all of his enemies currently are standing. And he doesn't say, "All right, now." And kill he doesn't those say, guys. "Kill them." That's the other thing I didn't understand. So you had like six, or well, the other four clans, right? And then one of them suggests uh, this this fighter called Jim, and then Jim gets beaten. Then the, the the over to the left, they go, okay, so now it's time for our fighter. And freaking T'Challa's like, can we have a break? It's like, no, <laughs> like, like no, guy. the strongest wins. You're weak now. And I guess there's never been a point when they just let a so maybe two people fight and they're both really tired at the end of it and. They People they just kill both of them while they're on the ground, like trying to get their breath. Yeah, they they explain so little about this system. They like deliberately avoid it because it's so stupid. It's like this. How does this work? <laughs> it's ambiguous whether or not this warrior has to become the ruler of Wakanda. No, it's not. If they're winning not. the throne for their tribe and not for themselves, it seems pretty. You just invented that, mate. But, but no, that. But what about um when Killmonger? He doesn't have a tribe. He's not from. He he's not from Wakanda. So when he won, what tribe won for him? How That's actually, yeah, I don't know how that <laughs> works. Even then, it's just a different kind of injustice because the winner just has to snap his finger and say, my tribe gets privileged status. Mm -hmm. Which is, yeah, there's so many problems. America. It's like, you know, like every, well, remember Shuri's position as like scientist person, she would be removed because she's a part of T'Challa's people. So you just get a random dude who's never seen any of this technology before. And he's like, yeah, I'll be science dude, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it sounds like Australian Parliament. <laughs> yeah, but it's a system that tries to protect itself. Like, there's no reason for people like Shuri and those who are in positions of privilege in the government, who are high up on the hierarchy, to do whatever they can outside of the rules to ensure that someone from their tribe wins the contest. Remember, guys, uh, to figure out what's right with this movie, you just need to think about it a little bit. Just, just, the, let's just think. The fundamental for this, though, it comes down to he's like, it's not necessarily true, the blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you, you just said all this shit that's not in the film. So, <laughs> whatever. There's no point in responding to it because you just invented it. Reasonable that they can just volunteer someone else to take their place once they've won it. Probably the person chosen by the no, tribe. That would to be, be very magnanimous of all of them. And not to mention, it's not in the film. This is something that could very easily have been in the film to explain this better, but you've just invented it to make the film make more sense. 
This is what people do with The Last Jedi. It's what people do with... If this is how film. it works, what is even the point of the trial by comp? If, if yeah, the person it, who wins isn't necessarily the king, why would you not just have an election? Yeah. Why would it you was, not just have an election? And if they wanted to have something <laughs> similar to this idea, then all they would have to do is... You know, it, it is time to choose. And, you know, it is, you know, 10 years have gone by, five years have gone by, whatever. It is time to do the challenge of the, the juju up the mountain or whatever. And so it's it's going to be a test of strength and um, wisdom and all this stuff. Like, you have, you can't just be strong. You have to be smart and resourceful. That's like, why like, a game very of Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a multi-tiered a test to see who's the best ruler. They didn't have to go with just, yeah, this is the strongest person wins because might makes right. Turn that pesky braid off. <laughs> You'll also notice that none of the four tribes actually expected that the ceremony put forward a challenger, and are shocked when the Jabari tribe show up and try to take the throne. This is presumably because be? the yeah, I mean that's that does we can't infer anything from that. That's almost strange that none of them want to yeah. actually take the throne. They just let T'Challa do it. They're like okay, They're yeah, does uh, what? That's what are very because they show how bitter they are, and I'm just like, I, I mean, it's right there, just. Also, I'm confused. Why are you not doing anything? Why does he keep showing my video in slow motion whenever he's talking? Why couldn't he put his own visuals up for his points? I don't know. I don't know. Almost like I'm criticizing his editing, like like he did to me. Expected that the ceremony put forward a challenger, and are shocked when the Jabari tribe show up and try to take the throne. This is presumably because the ceremony at this point is more of a formality than anything else. Oh, wow. What? Wow, way to invent another scene. <laughs> Wow. This is I missed a... the memo that it was just a formality. Yeah, apparently. This is just a surprise if someone ever challenges them. It's like, He's sure, like, man. Okay, T'Challa, um, by the way, at your uh, initiation, technically somebody could just show up and kill you. Hey, man. It uh, but it, it, his... it probably won't. It supports his pacifist theory, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just invent that, that piece of dialogue that we never heard, but sure. You know, yes. honestly, now all I'm thinking is, what if a tribe just had a martyr who comes up and shoots him in the head after they take away the power? And it's like, all right, well, you execute him. Now who's next in line? Oh, Shuri? I'll fight Shuri. Oh, I won. I'm the king now. What? You're telling me nobody just came up with that simple plan? Just kill him, let your guy get killed, and then take over? Uh, this That's the thing. That's why I said I was so curious how he tries to defend this, because I think this is like the most indefensible thing in the film. It's so Dude, stupid. He, and he keeps he's using... making me think of more things that are wrong than I initially thought. And he keeps yeah. inventing dialogue. He should be on our side. We we could we would be talking about how you could have improved this to make it make more sense. But no, he's he's inferring stuff and being like, "See, that's how good it is." It's, what? <laughs> like that's not what yeah, happened. And is it, who is like? And who can challenge him? What if an outsider challenges him? What if anybody challenge him the and they just say, forest. "Then you, you then you'll be a then that'll just weed out the weak ones." I'm pretty sure you have to you have to be from one of the tribes to be able to challenge. But then again, how did I guess to uh, Killmonger? Killmonger belongs... was heir to the throne. He was part well, of the all royal family. Must, so yeah, he all the wife. tribe has to do was say you're part of the tribe now. I guess he was in T'Challa's tribe technically. Then is he? I guess so. I don't uh, know. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. And are shocked when the Jabari tribe show up and try to take the throne. This is presumably because the ceremony at this point. Is... Oh, oh. Also, that's that's just that doesn't even help anyway to say that. You have to be in a tribe to potentially become king, because that just implies that Wakanda is an oligarchy that has privileged mm -hmm. classes of those who can and cannot rule. You know, yeah. it's more of a formality than anything else. Just like at a wedding, when they ask if anyone knows whether there's a. He's comparing trial by combat <laughs> to a wedding. <laughs> it's like a wedding. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe that sounds like talking Norm about Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> The reason the couple cannot be married. Or in England, where the Queen apparently legally owns all dolphins? No one expects the Queen to stop- How the fuck what? is that the same, dude? <laughs> How are you comparing these things? Oh, man. One of them the determines plot. whether or not the leader of the country. The plot relies on this being taken very seriously. It's not a formality. The because the whole Killmonger having his way in is through. Oh yeah, this is how he wins. The president pardons a turkey at Thanksgiving. So check wait, no, hold on. Are... I want to double check something. Um, I will double check it, but while we keep watching, okay. Start okay. going to zoos and taking home the dolphins. No one really expects anyone to yell things out at a wedding. Okay, it because there's no the point to take to home exist. all the dolphins in England to Buckingham <laughs> Palace. There's a point to rule the country. So different. I can't believe he's comparing these. This is ridiculous. And if there was a character this is in like the movie. A if there was a, ca a character in the movie that said, oh, this trial by combat shit, it's more of a formality, and then T'Challa's like, I hope so. 
and then it plays yeah. out the scene. It, that would make more sense, but you've just you've invented uh, this. Right. This never happens. I have I have now confirmed my suspicions. So in the challenge, before anybody challenges him, they take away the power of Black Panther. So this formality, what they will do is before they even know if anybody take away you're, his you're magic powers. Yeah. Oh, your, well, mic's, your mic's off and on uh, a little bit. Go ahead and uh, unplug, replug, yeah. and then say again. Is it better now? Is this consistent now? Yeah, it sounds it. At this point. Yeah, um, I double-checked the scene. So they take away the magic power before the challenge. So <laughs> if this was just a formality, they take it away, nobody challenges, so now they got to go through all the effort of giving him back the magic power for this formality. I, I, I guess this guy would argue that's, that's all a formality too. So it's a formality to just make things difficult for yourself. Yeah, and I guess and they're relying on, I guess, doing something that's a little uncouth, but the reward is you get to be the dictator of Wakanda. People aren't going to give a shit if it violates social protocol if you get to be the dictator of Wakanda. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just to keep the king in check, since he knows his leadership can be challenged, he has to lead fairly. No, it encourages him to not. It encourages him to kill all who would oppose him. <laughs> Taking home the dolphins. No one really expects anyone to yell things out at a wedding. It appears that the system exists just to keep the king in check. Since he knows his leadership can be challenged, he has to lead fairly. This doesn't mean that. Who but it doesn't have anything to do with fairness. It's all of strength. That's based. full of shit because T'Challa's not even led yet. Let's let's say for example, you have crazy ape tribe. And the guy in there is thinking to himself, I can't wait to be king because then I'm going to literally just take over planet Earth. And then he's like, yeah, guys, I'm going to lead Wakanda to a new age. Woohoo, woohoo. Fights and kills T'Challa, becomes king, and then there is literally nothing Wakanda can do. They can't stop him. And, and besides, we've already established that you have to be in one of the tribes to even be able to challenge the king um, in combat. So that wouldn't encourage the king to be fair to Wakanda. It would encourage him to basically butter up all the tribes and keep them either, if he doesn't just outright massacre them, which is of course what would actually happen in the real world, because we see this all the time with royal lines killing off other royal lines and other bloodlines and things like that so that their kids can get the throne. It would encourage, like I said, this is, this is basically just encouraging genocide or a privileged class. Either of them are bad. One's worse than the other. But this is a terrible system. But like, the, he just implied, like, they do this so that it's like, yeah, we're being fair. This king, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you can be challenged in case you think he's unfit for rule and stuff. It's just like, what are you, what are you talking like, about? This guy's actually unironically arguing for the system of Wakanda. <laughs> let's, let's not adopt it, okay, guy? I don't, I don't want to adopt this system. Whoever wants to rule Wakanda can if they're strong enough. This is a tradition that's upheld with a mutual understanding and trust between the tribes. This system may not be as there flawless as democracy. There is no mutual democracy. trust between the tribes in this system. Just said they this are going to backstab each other. He just shit. said this system may not be as flawless as democracy. It's like, maybe. Maybe uh, not. Yeah, there could be some potential issues. There's some things that could happen, I suppose. This you is legitimately hurting my brain. Like we if, could have a representative republic, or we could fight on a waterfall. I think you should suggest it. You should run on that. Get a party going. Trial by combat, man. Really is. <laughs> but it's by no means as ridiculous as you're bending it out to be. Oh. In fact, no, it's kind of more ridiculous than I applied in my video. <laughs> if you think about it. I'd say the only real backwards part of it is the actual use of physical combat, but since it doesn't seem they ever expect what? a need to use that, and what? Wakanda is clearly that, oh yeah, That's the only backward that part. That is the what, only what, part that, of that, it. That is the part. That is it. <laughs> like, yes, the only bad part of it is the only part of it that exists. What? Correct. That means you just said it's 100% bad now. Congratulations. I'm confused. What the hell? The real backwards part of it, it, it is, is the actual use of physical combat. It is one out combat, of one part's bad. The actual use of physical combat. What else is it? It's a trial by combat. That doesn't even make... What? <laughs> what? Since it doesn't seem they ever expect a need to use that, and Wakanda is clearly... What do you mean they don't expect people to use that? This is literally the only time your tribe gets a chance to take over Wakanda and, and rule it by what you consider to be the better systems. <sighs> of course they would take the opposite. We I mean, have shown it, that they didn't, but then actually, no, they did. Also, what and happens remember, if two people challenge at the same time? They never show that, exactly. It's yeah, a fucking problem. In, in what 
world, in what universe would this not be literally tribalism? <laughs> you have trial by combat with no combat. What the fuck? Trial by, trial by combat between multiple tribes. With no combat. It, uh, 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 <laughs> wow. I thought this would be... I thought that he would have said, like, yeah, this is a fair point. This system's retarded. Moving on. But no, he's making a defense of it. And it's so weird because he's fallen back on a lot of what he's just said with this ad dig. It's like, yeah, the combat part is stupid. It's like, what? <laughs> like, nation that cares a great deal about tradition. It's understandable tradition. why they haven't got rid of it yet. On top of that, what it's is understandable that why they haven't okay. got rid of it. Dude, I love it. It's like, why have we gotten rid of guillotine executions? It's part of our culture, isn't it? <laughs> I was cheap and quick. Wakanda is clearly a nation message. that cares a great deal about tradition. It's understandable why they haven't got rid of it yet. On top of that, what is with the location and everyone's outfits? Well, I would imagine after the first, you know, genocidal, you know, action taken, people would have been like, maybe we shouldn't do this. And well, at which point they would be killed for bringing that up. But yeah, I mean, why? Why aren't the Germans still burning the Jews? I thought that was tradition. Because the Jews control Hollywood. Oh, that's true and the weird war paint to bring stuff. Back. This is starting to feel as though they only bring in the high-tech shit when it suits the story. Otherwise, we end up in a tribal land doing tribal stuff and things. And <laughs> things that aren't allowed to exist in high-tech places. Scenic arena location. I didn't say that. <laughs> Very I did not say that. Ritualistic combat. What? I, <laughs> I, was, uh, <laughs> I was asking why they're fighting inside a, like, detractable waterfall. It's the most bizarre thing ever. Do you guys remember what the, they're all standing as well in places that just makes you think, how the fuck did you even get there? Yeah, you would basically need an airdrop or a grappling <laughs> hook to get there. I, I love how he's, like, bringing up this ridiculous straw man, how you have not said any of this, and that beforehand he, uh was saying that oh, you were yeah. just making things up. Yeah, we haven't talked about what they're wearing at all. Awareness at all. Well, th this is the problem for me. It's like you've got all this high tech shit. You even have Shuri who's in like a scientist outfit. If you guys remember, wait, it's like a white thing. It's it's cut close to it, but it's just like oh, suddenly now they're all wearing these culturally appropriate quote unquote things. And well, it's yeah, like, she had the. Also, she's wearing shells. Where did she get the shells from? There's no ocean. So where did they get the shot? I don't know. Imported, just, just, dude. I'm not saying that makes the movie worse. I'm just asking. Just, just saying. I noticed something. Various types of traditional but, African dress, quote unquote, war paint, which again is traditional and still used. Yeah, to but, this but day. nobody's criticism is that they wore traditional ceremonial attire. We do that today. We will probably do that into perpetuity. Yeah, like a kilt. If you count that. Yeah, exactly. People wear kilts and people wear uniforms and officers will carry cavalry sabers and fluffy um, fusilier hats and things like that. It's just nobody, nobody is using that as an, it's the system. We're questioning the system, man. And Not their you know what, maybe dress. Uh, again, to offer him some benefit of the doubt, if I did say there's no way someone would have funky face paint in an advanced uh, society, then yeah, there there are ways for that to happen, and maybe I was brash. Yeah, with I mean, that, if we I have that. makeup in our society. Yeah, like it's Pete, it's women, it's obviously I'm more I'm more focusing the on the complete split between how advanced half of Wakanda is versus the uh, the other half and the other stuff. The random, as I just said in in his clip, I was like, it seems to be whenever the plot needs it, we get to be advanced, and when it doesn't, when we want to go back to be like tribal culture stuff, it's just like oh. No more technology in any way, shape, or form. It is hey, interesting. These things aren't incompatible with technology. Having technology doesn't mean a nation has to put aside its traditions, especially when they're doing things. As if I said, again, as if I said they are forced to or something. Right, and but again, the traditions, not, none of these things are something that Mahler said in his video, so why you're even bringing these up and pretending that he did say it is beyond me. Oh, it's probably because did. you have to make up shit. And even, even if he was, you could argue that as a uh, society progresses, traditions that are counterproductive to the well-being of society generally fall away. Yeah, they do. They typically do. Um, yeah, that happens everywhere on Earth. Eventually, old traditions are not necessarily forgotten, or they're remembered in symbolic ways, but we don't actually, you know, fall, enact them or do them still. But uh, yeah, it's pretty jarring. A lot of parts of Wakanda are just like suddenly techless entirely. 
And you're just like, huh. Because, I don't know about you guys, but some people growing up in Wakanda might be like, ah, I'll stick to all the cool tech stuff, I don't really, I don't, I don't follow in with the traditional, it's just, it feels so, um, it's not blended, is what I'm trying to say. It's so very jarringly split. It's almost like, don't forget, we're in Africa, guys! Yeah, it, it like, I don't know, like people are like, oh, that's racist, I was like, no, it just feels like they didn't give a shit, and they didn't show the effect that having high tech and an and advanced culture would have on their traditions. I think maybe if I put it that way, he would have felt better about it. Things like, oh, I don't know, literally a coronation. Oh, what's this? Horse-drawn carriages? Traditional clothes? That guy oh, has what do you know? Um, they're not, He's bringing up points that I made in favor of us. They're not, they're not wearing straw dresses and dancing and killing each other, mate. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is from how long ago, this footage? 1950s. Okay, and, and what tradition... the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II was yeah. And we're talking, they're doing stump, something that would have been absolutely normal, what, like a hundred years ago at most? While the Wakandas mm. are doing something that was normal like over thousands of years ago. Well, yeah, I mean, in the 50s, cars were only about 50 years old. There would have been people well, alive who remember horse-drawn carriages. Exactly. Well, look at it this way. A horse-drawn carriage is a sign of wealth. Well, yeah, because people who own horses because have people, money. Yeah. When light bulbs so came out, only the rich could afford to burn candles. See, isn't this supposed to be one of the most technologically advanced nations in the world? What is this movie? It must be trash! This fictional country of Britain is ridiculous and could never really exist. <laughs> so that, like, this, like this, this is a terrible fucking video so far. Like, this is awful. We're only this halfway, right? <laughs> this is chance. awful. Can you just strip the Black Panther's powers so easily? Is this a superpower you can just turn on and off with some purple juice? Does he not have a stronger claim to the Black Panther than just being the son of the last guy who drank the juice? I figured it would have been in his blood or some shit. In his family, in his- Which is actually in the comics, by the way. I didn't know this at the point of writing it, but in the comics, you have to be a part of a royal bloodline in order to make use of the royal juice. Which is actually better than what they did in the film, which is, mm -hmm. no, anyone could do it. And you could say, like, no, they never say anyone could do it. It's like, no, they know, never... that's kind of... You know, it's know. funny. It's the same complaint I had, because I watched Iron Fist Season 2, um, and I wouldn't recommend watching it, by the way. It's not very good. Um, but they have a similar thing where, like, the power of the Iron Fist just starts arbitrarily being assigned to different people, despite the fact that it seemed like it was something you got and you had forever. And that nobody could take away from you. I kind of, I kind of prefer the idea that anybody can become the Black Panther if they're like well, they're if they strong. Try hard of, enough. Yeah, well, if they so try well, hard is, enough, and not just, just oh, you, you, your dad. If I got the parents. juice, my point leads the logic into is that I could walk up and get the juice, and I'd be good. I was going to say my point leads Black into Panther. the fact that they have a lot of juice to spare, and they don't provide it to anybody <laughs> but the car, uh, what coronized whatever Black Panther. Despite the fact that you've got an entire team of people called the King's Guard that are literally meant to defend him from dying, and you don't give it to them, even when they go out on missions, it's like it's literal juice that makes you really hard to kill. Like <laughs> to be, I'm just like, okay. And then people were like, well, you can't do it for that because they're the royal bloodline. It's like, no, that's never said in the film, which would cover it if it was said in the film. Yeah, if my life was on the line, yeah, all my bodyguards. It's also not true because remember that if somebody defeats in my con. You're, you, you cut out. You cut out a lot there, Fringy. All right. The the person who beats him becomes a Black Panther. So they don't have to be in the royal bloodline. They can be anybody in Wakanda. Sorry, I, I, Steve I Urkel. Something. What a strange a system. But anyway, this this here is counter, I suppose. It kind of is in his family, but I suppose you're right. The only real claim he has to it is the fact that he's been trained for it his whole life. The guy from the Gorilla Clan. Wait, what? Is that true, though? Is, is, that, even is, that, is that how it works? And that yeah, if and you are the son of the king, you become the Black Panther? I, yeah, that, I, I said that seemed arbitrary to me. Yeah, they trained him for his whole life because he was the son of the king. What if he has, like, a cardiovascular illness and he just is not healthy? And besides, Does my... that mean that he would still be... <laughs> what if he has Down syndrome? My what if he was a came, woman? Well, if he's autistic, he's actually more evolved. If we what if by, the uh, king is <laughs> and can't have children? <laughs> but if, yeah, if we go from just the film, we get no information on this. That's my complaint. There were more questions I had there, because the film doesn't have any answers for it. It's confusing to me how this works. 
and they just don't bother. They're just like, eh, well, I think we had a conversation about this recently, actually, where I would, I, my impression from Civil War was that the Black Panther and the King were not one and the same, and that you had a King and you had a Black Panther. But they can. And the be reason the same. why it was, well, they can be the same, but they're not necessarily one and the same. Because remember, it, T'Challa fact, was the Black Panther before he became the King. Mm -hmm. It would make more sense if they were him. different. Yeah, yeah. Well, would, wouldn't it? Why would you send your king on espionage missions? What if he gets killed or captured? You have no leadership. But now. they are shown to do yeah. that <laughs> in, the, in the beginning. So. I know. It's so I know. Weird. This is it's the thing. There's so, so much. And there's so much world building to do for, to make Black Panther make sense. And that's my main position about this film: is they waste it, or they they just ignored it. They was like, eh, eh. <laughs> at, at least you have stories like the Sword and the Stone, right? The Sword and the Stone didn't have the words Arthur Pendragon written on it. You know, it's because you have to be, you know, a special, you have to be a good, noble person who's worthy of it. It's mm -hmm. not just, oh, you're the king's son, so good on you. And then he says he's frustrated with the out on that because one. their technology is being run by a child and that they scoff at tradition. Finally, he says that T'Challa couldn't keep his own father safe. So this is basically a dick of a character and whatever he means by the girl running the whole science thing, we'll probably get to that. Dick then attacks T'Challa and after beating the shit out of him, he says no powers, no claws, no special suit means he's just a boy. Don't forget that without the suit and the tech like the balls and obviously the flower power, T'Challa really is mostly useless. Are you kidding? I'm no. no, I'm not. No. He's mostly no, he, useless. He gets his ass kicked twice. <laughs> In fact, the second time he falls off, <laughs> and then he just he ends up on top of him. <laughs> <one. laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry. Uh, that's a big problem for Black Panther, is they made T'Challa lame. Like, without his remember powers and everything, he was lame. Alright, so, remember that point in fucking Tomb Raider? Um... Uh, the the one with uh, the one years and years ago. What's the the chick with the big lips? And the Angelina name? Jolie. Angelina. Okay, I'm gonna reference fucking Angelina Jolie's fucking Tomb Raider movie. <laughs> That's something you can learn from. There is a scene in that film where her house gets assaulted and she doesn't have all of her fancy gear, but she still takes out the guys. Right. That shows that she's a badass, even if she doesn't have her, her equipment I think with an her. another good example would be, a lot of times when Tony Stark isn't in his suit, they still show him as being confident at yeah, doing things. They do it in Iron know? Man 3. He's either, he gets Even in Iron Man 3, the one that's not good, <laughs> yeah. you see him do... And, and Age of Ultron, the not good Avengers movie, you even see him do some things without the suit. Yeah. And, yeah, the, and the whole the opening of Captain lame. America begins before he gets his powers... Yeah. That's He's right. a good, righteous, principled individual. Even Thor, even the even first Thor, Thor movie, <laughs> was about that. He's still like a badass. Of course, with Hulk, badass. of course, with but Hulk, we let's, know that Bruce let's Banner hear is the genius. counters. Let's hear the counters. Give this guy a chance. I mean, first of all, complaining that if you take away the tools he needs to use to do his highly skilled job, then he can't do it. But he, it's just kind of silly. That's not what I said. But, yeah, he does need them, though. Uh, yeah, that's what. We that's found. true, but does need them. His point is, like, I'm saying he can't do Black Panther stuff without Black Panther stuff. And it's like, well, obviously. It's like, yeah, but that's not what I said. I'm saying that T'Challa alone, this guy was right. T'Challa on his own sucks. It's a fair criticism. It's why Every I'm not invested in his character. Loses. Yeah, he only just barely wins this fight. And then he gets demolished. And the other later. one, he gets <laughs> demolished. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's like, yeah, no, he can't. If I had no computer, the one marketable skill I currently have would be gone. Oh, it, that's not that what I says said. A lot about, that sounds a lot about, that says a lot about you then. Yeah, it kind of does, I guess, but, but still, that's I not mean, what I said. He's, he's arguing a straw man, that's not what I... You took away a marksman's gun. Oh, they're fucking useless. Um, you took away Iron they Man's are. suit and he's not useless. You take away cap shield, he's not useless. This is so you easy. Take, he's not giving me any benefit of the doubt right now. Bowling Take away my big ass still... dick and I still got hips like fire. <laughs> I guess uh, like... the only other example I can think of is maybe like Peter Quill, because he's just a guy, so if you take away his rockets and all that, then he can't do much, but he is just a guy, and yeah. he's in a team, so it's it's not the same. He's not the leader of a sovereign state. Took away a marksman's gun. Oh, they're fucking useless. Take away Black Panther's suit and juice. Oh. It's funny he's saying all this like when what? Black Panther's getting beaten by yet another dude who doesn't have the suit, the tech, we're, anything. We're looking at Black Panther on the ground, like, beaten right now on this frame. I might be on a different frame. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> highly trained in combat tactics and leadership, and is able what? to win a fight with a guy significantly larger than him just after being stabbed. And by the way, it is very. Why did he get stabbed? Because he sucks. That's why. <laughs> Oh, this is stupid. He's not even listening to me. Strange that Dick forgot to mention the balls. <laughs> hey, you know what's still funny? That joke. Then hey, man, you said it was funny earlier. I'm sorry that it just didn't last on you. I giggled just a second ago. I literally giggled like two seconds ago because it was funny. Yeah, Dick said he had no balls. <laughs> I, I, I just giggled because I'm a child. Yeah, and if he said these jokes are childish, I'd be like, absolutely. He's like, yeah, you bet. But laughter, laughter is laughter, man. <laughs> surrounding spear people are all poking closer and closer to raise the tension, though I just wonder if they realize that they are dictating the length of the fight since the challengers can't fucking move with them being that close. Yes, I, I do think they realize they're doing that. Actually, I think that's probably specifically why they're there. Are the rules- What? You think the spear what? people are in control of how long this fight is allowed to last? That's my point. Why would that even be a thing? Yeah, that's- Why doesn't one of the spear guys stab them and be king? I was commenting on, like, the, <laughs> the filmmaking, so he's- is, is, It's true. The camera keeps panning to these people going, like, ooh, ooh, and getting closer and closer, and you're like, oh god, we're getting to the climax, we're getting to the climax. Like, you feel that as an audience member, but I was just like, take a step back and realize, these guys getting closer and closer forces the fight to end. They're not letting it end fairly. They're making not it to so mention, there's no space. Not to mention, this doesn't- this doesn't happen when he fights Killmonger. Exactly. Those spear guys. Yeah. Are they? Are they like there by committee? Are they like an interloping mariachi band equivalent? But no, he just, just has the sarcastic. The fight, he has the sarcastic response where he's just like, uh, "Yeah, obviously." He's not, he's not catching what I'm saying at all, is he? It's like everyone he's... in this scene doesn't want to be there, shrugging their shoulders all day watching this fight. <laughs> so they're like, he's like okay, "Can I come with... down now?" They're like, "Guys, push <laughs> forward, push forward, add the fight, push forward." And they're like, "Okay." I do think they realize they're doing that. Actually, I think that's probably specifically why they're there. I get a strong H bomber guy vibe from that little bit there, by the way. Super yeah. smug. It's like the it doesn't address smugness the point. Dripping it's smug. like smugness is a replacement for an argument. Well, he keeps going back to the balls joke. So are the rules actually that anyone can just challenge after another challenge has been done? Because that would just mean that I would wait. You know, if I was a member of one of these clans, I would allow someone else to challenge first and then go in second. Because you know, you're probably gonna have better chances. But fuck it, let's just move on. Yeah, if more than one tribe had wanted to challenge for the throne, that really would have been a valid point you'd raise there, wouldn't it? Why wouldn't? So it is no, it is a point because revealed, why didn't multiple tribes not do that? And not not just that. That implies as that never happened in history. And and. Finally, I said if. I said if. I didn't say this should have happened. I said I mean, if I that's think, how it works. I think the fact that it didn't happen like that raises more questions. I want to know why other tribes weren't on that shit. It's like, are you telling me that like every tribe aside from one was like, yep, the child's the perfect leader, we don't have our own ideas at all? Yeah, you think back at clan ferret or whatever, they're like, hey guys, they're electing the new king, do you want to go and no? Okay, all right. Yeah, we're staying home this time. Yeah, when one of the guys with the big lip frisbees want to do something, like, I can smack him with my lip. It could dick a spear. Uh, Wolf, that's an at-home. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's your reaction. Oh, okay. <laughs> But the power of the Black Panther truly is from a plant. It gets crushed up into juice, you drink the juice, then you become a superhero. It's that simple. It's essentially the super soldier program that Hydro are running, only it's way better and it comes from a plant. A plant they have like 50 of that grow back. Okay, why the fuck wouldn't Wakanda supply this drug to its military? The people who guard the leaders. It would make them so much better at their jobs considering how easily this power is provided. Especially considering how much danger they put in throughout this film and how one of them e is even killed. I can't remember if any more than one is, but yeah. I'm, I'm curious how he's gonna defend this one. And there are so many to spare. That's just silly. What's with the counter juice, by the way? It's said in the beginning that the initial flower power came from plant life being infected by the vibranium. Did it also create a counter flower power at the same time? Do you, do you guys follow that? Yeah. It's pretty Where odd that they have a counter juice. It's like, how does that work? Where did that come from? Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll play the devil's advocate for what? this. It's it's really oh, simple. Yeah. The guy who wins the fight and is the new Black Panther, all he has to do is say, destroy the antidote. So no one can take this power away from me. Yeah. But uh, hang on. You know what? Tinfoil hat. Maybe he's going to argue that we're supposed to assume that taking flower power twice negates it. 
Right, but <laughs> what what is the dosage of the flour pack? Any, is it, no, friggy, uh, is no, it, friggy is stop. It like per it's swallow, rude. or is it per <laughs> serving, or swallow, <laughs> or? Well, that's the thing. Is it one fruit per? Is it one each or? But hey, what he, is hasn't, it, he hasn't, over he hasn't said that, so I'm not gonna let, listen. Let's leave him alone. But he hasn't said it. That's just silly. I mean, actually, I guess that it exists for pretty much the same reason that any antidote exists, and that is that humans reverse engineer. How is it an juice. antidote? What? Wouldn't an antidote I be for you, something that's bad? Yeah, I'm not asking why it exists in terms of like functionality. I'm saying where did it come from? How was it created? Like, I don't need to know what its function is. I understand that. Okay. You think that, I mean, imagine a movie where the bad guys, their whole thing was that, hey, we basically found, you know, African kryptonite. Let's use this against Black Panther. And then Black Panther has to fight without his powers for a while, but he still kicks ass because he's a, he's a badass character. Yeah, that'd be cool. But that's the movie they didn't make. And Yeah, and I'm happy, by the way, for you to go, okay, yeah, it doesn't really make much sense that there was also a plant growing that apparently negates the power power, but can you ignore it? And I'd be like, eh, yeah, it doesn't, it's a bit weird. And it allows them to have their trials by combat, which is why it's kind of a problem, but I'd let it go. But no, he's like, no, it makes sense because it's... Um... <laughs> I'm not even sure, let me go back. What's with the counter juice, by the way? It's said in the beginning that the initial flower power came from plant life being infected by the vibranium. Did it also create a counter flower power at the same time? That's just silly. I mean, actually, I'd guess that it exists for pretty much the same reason that any you antidote guess? exists, and that is that humans reverse engineered the juice to create- Whoa, okay, so he's saying that they would have analyzed it as a thing and then created a, a negative version in the same way that we do for, like, I don't know, whatever it is we do on our planet. But it's just like, you just invented that. That never happened in the film. <laughs> never yeah, said anything he like starts that. off by saying, I guess. Why do you have to guess? Like, really? You could have easily had a line from Shuri, so then we could be like, oh, that makes sense. Because they just pulled it out of their ass. They're like, yeah, he has a juice that can remove his powers. Just yeah, so in you case, know. in case a Black Panther becomes too tyrannical or evil, we have this to stop him. Create Boom. an antidote I for just it. solved your but problem, that's... and it took two seconds, and I didn't get paid. Really not what I included this clip to talk about. I just felt like I hadn't spoken for too long, and this felt like a good of a time as any to interject something. I'm a professional. You take it once, and unless oh. you have the counter right. juice, it apparently works for life. Considering the fact that it's a regrowing plant from the first tribes who ever set foot on Wakanda, you could have easily provided the entire population of Wakanda the ability to heal fast and lift huge weights while being agile and fast, and you chose not to? That's just silly. Is it a genuine rule that- And I know that someone's gonna counter with, you don't give your entire as the government, you wouldn't give everyone tanks. I'd just be like, you're, incru you're improving quality of life, like, massively. Yeah, this isn't giving everyone tanks. It's not, this yeah. is making everybody healthy. We'll see if not he's to gonna... mention, this doesn't mean that everyone gets the Black Panther suit yeah, that's suit. bulletproof yes. and has the yeah, claws I'm talking about shit. health improvements. Like, massive health improvements. <laughs> that people who are crowned king are the only ones that are allowed to have the flower power. If that's the case, then how did T'Challa have this power in Civil War before being crowned king? Any because he's apparently the warrior, and the warriors also get it, as well as the kings. Unless the kings are old and then they don't get it. But only warriors who are the king's son get it. All the other warriors, fuck See them. See what I mean? It gets confusing, and let's just leave it alone, I suppose, is the answer. But he's No, say no, discuss it while I go take a piss. Well, Sorry, I was looking at that waterfall for so long, you know. It's okay, it's okay. But, um... <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, like, if... I think I'm about to say, I hope he plays it, but, like, why would you ever have taken the flower power away from his dad? Like, even as... A, you know, he dies in the explosion. If he had flower power, it probably wouldn't have killed him. Like, to me, it's mm -hmm. strange that you... Because what... Is, it, is the concern that he might kill people or something? <laughs> like, I don't... I don't really follow. But, um... We'll, we'll wait for Rags to return for, for the rebuttal. So how are you guys feeling about this, uh, everything wrong with my video? video? Well, I'm not I very can, impressed. I can say that I would not subscribe. The thing is, he tackles CinemaSins usually, and like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be vain here, but like, CinemaSins is way easier to tackle than... I usually make my videos because I'm pissed off at the film, and I usually like to get the details relatively right. So it's going to be harder to take me down compared to Cinema Sins. Like, that's pretty much shown by the fact that he's already said he agrees with some of the stuff I've said and skipped over lots of bits. But, it's also uh, shown by the fact that he has straw manned you, misrepresented your arguments, not addressed your and made things oh, to support his...
questions. Good point. I could try and do some super chats while we wait for the ragarinos. Um, okay, so going back All to right. the beginning, have a have. A, oh, he's back. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> All right, I will do it between videos. Let's let's continue. Anyway, okay. is it just something oh anyone God, is allowed to have if they send outside thrust. of Wakanda? Well, no, because we've already <laughs> seen that that isn't true several times. So you know what? I agree, it is kind of silly they don't give that power to anyone else when they so clearly could. I mean, it's not film ruining for me because people in real life do silly things all the time. Oh, and, oh my god! Hey! Oh my god, Patrick Willems! <laughs> Patrick Willems! Oh, he did it! Oh, he did it! Patrick Willems! <laughs> <laughs> Patrick right, Williams has had sex and had a son. Let's hear that again. That's a beauty. Oh. That goes in our little trophy case. Well, no, because we've already seen that that isn't true several times. So, you know what? I agree. It is kind of silly they don't give that power to anyone else when they so clearly could. I mean, it's not film ruining for me because people in real life do silly things all the time. And, uh, and let me explain to you why that defense is shit. Because you're assuming that nobody ever in the history of Wakanda ever said, Hey, maybe we should give this to all of our warriors. <laughs> Hey guys, and then, why does every single king have this retarded idea throughout our entire everybody history? Everybody in the chats go like, it's Patrick, yeah! No, this is Patrick. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god, he actually said it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's, it's, we should probably call it like, Your Honor, my, my client is insane. That's yeah, what we, this, this is. is the, the temporary insanity defense for a video game or movie, really any narrative. <laughs> someone you know, said he brought up the fact that it was like if you think about it a little bit it's just like if you think about it they're insane <laughs> okay <laughs> clearly could i mean it's Patrick's not film ruining Patrick. for me because people in real life do silly things all the time and as oh. traditions that seem pretty pointless go this one isn't that bad but you know what it is still pretty silly the thing is oh, yeah we're just traditionally retarded this one ain't that bad but it's silly it's like what are, what are you saying <laughs> is it is it bad or is it what wait <laughs> questions you asked at the end there, you just demonstrated that you haven't really been paying attention. Because the answers are Someone pretty clear. Call it Patrick the flower power is reserved for the Black Panther. The Black Panther doesn't- No, it's not. It's reserved for the king and the Black Panther. You dick. Which <laughs> might be the, the king. If... Might not. Well, yeah, that's the other thing. We don't even know this Good. for sure. The film does not explain this stuff. Have to be the king. If the king is no longer fit to be Black Panther, if he's Why too would old, you for example, he can pass down the mantle. He keeps also, hang on. My point wasn't that that's not the case. I know that's the case. I'm saying it's stupid. Can the Black... This is a small thing, but can the Black Panther not have long hair? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, as, as, he sounds like he agreed with me and then said, but it's displayed in the film as this is a fact. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, well, yeah, that's my problem. It's precisely my problem. <laughs> Saying things like, oh, if that's the case, then how did he have the power in Civil War? If you're really thinking about it that much, why have you not come to the one logical conclusion that you can actually find from this? The thing that actually happens. How was T'Challa the Black Panther before he had been through the coronation exactly? We know that- Yeah, and we have to infer, because the, the films never actually say it. There's never a line that says the Black Panther, uh, it, 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 I don't know, once the king reaches a certain age, once the king gets to something, he stops being the Black Panther and then his son takes over until he dies. And then his son also, there's a, there's a fight to become the new king. It's very, like, vague. But um, I'm happy to accept that that's how it works, and that I could have been more charitable to say that that's probably how it works. But I think it, he's already said my main point was valid, though. Which is that the flower power should be delivered throughout the civilization, and at least the king's guard. It is, it is odd. This film takes place after Civil War because they have Helmut Zemo in custody and on the news, so shouldn't he have the power after his time in that film? How? How have you thought about it this oh, much? How have you to used figure your out brain? Where in <laughs> how have you thought about the you movie know what, guys? more than I did? I plead temporary insanity. <laughs> you can't get me it's now. Just, like, is, is his defense really that you're correct, but you thought about it? So, I don't... What's his point? I'm not sure. But I mean, this is this is the thing. This is one of the few points I made after the major one. So even if you like, you got me on this one, which I would happily be like, okay, fine. But what about the other stuff which you agreed with me on? Don't you think that that's more important? Uh, well, you know, whatever. Let's just keep keep on this one, I guess. The timeline it fits, just in case Civil War is actually set after this. But you haven't thought, oh, it's maybe not. the Black Panther it's doesn't not. have to be the king. His dad dies down. in Civil War, and it's and he's dead in Black Panther. 
No, what they used they about? used they used vibranium juice to revive his father <laughs> on the waterfall. Besides, yeah, it's it's pretty weird for me to have picked that up if I wasn't paying attention, right? Yeah. You know, if I wasn't thinking about it, I wouldn't have tried to get that connection, but you know. Because well, remember when you showed me Civil War, right? When I watched it with you, I was like asking who's this guy? Who's that guy? I kinda remember these people. God, isn't it just amazing how like every single person that defends these movies just happens to be a fucking idiot? Dude, if we keep getting quotes from people saying that these these characters are just insane, like I just want to collect them because <laughs> they're the best defense I've ever heard. Timeline it fits, just in case Civil War is actually set after this. But you haven't thought, oh, maybe just the Black Panther just... doesn't have to be the king. He takes a stroll down some street in Wakanda oh that honestly God. does not seem like something you could possibly see in the most advanced society in the modern age. You couldn't see this in a technology. Well, maybe, let me revise my statement, you wouldn't expect it. You could see it, like, in the slums of maybe, uh, you know, like, when you have, um, Blade Runner, for example, it's like, oh, it's really advanced, but if you go to certain places, it's all run down because it's, like, the lower class area. But that's not really, I don't know if that's valid for Wakanda, the whole, it's supposed to be a utopia, as he said. Yeah, it's supposed to be, a. Uh xenophobic pacifist utopia so let me clarify it's not that it's impossible it seems very much unlikely considering the information in wakanda but yeah okay that's a, it that's is an a odd sight like that's i a... said when you look at this scene one would assume that there is a two-tier society yeah and someone pointed out uh pacifist war rhinos <laughs> i'm not killing you my rhino is though <laughs> it's completely different but yeah I'll, I'll give it to him i should have been more explicit logically advanced society well, I'm really looking forward to your explanation of that. They got some outside grill with wood and rags propping up shelters, hey. trading and bustling as though they're in some third world country in a heaving marketplace. Right, so this is like a third world country because it's got a busy marketplace. This lens fly- Uh No. That's- no. Come on, give me a little bit more benefit of the doubt with what I said. I'm clearly implying they're using low-grade materials. They've got, like, barely any kind of system or control. It's sort of just slapdash and- are the fun. roads even paved? Exactly. It's like, come on, dude. You don't. If he was here right now, I would be like, do you really have to sell me this short? Like, come on. Do you? Do you... <sighs> Whatever. Well, <laughs> that you claim to be a grill propping up some rags couldn't possibly exist in the same nation as technology because of technology. Just vaguely, is technology is a spear, by the way. It's just technology that's old, and then you've got new technology. Yeah. When I see this, I don't think, you know, this is a utopia. People are walking in the streets. Like, like, like there's not sidewalks with roads that people are using vehicles to move around Even in. though there is transport, and you can see it, look, people are yeah, walking on the like, tram lines. Yeah, people are walking in the tram lines. The trams have to be like, oh, don't hit everybody just walking in the road. You know, like, in civilization, we have sidewalks because our vehicles travel down the middle of the road. <sighs> In our white Reasons. cultures, that if is. If you have technology, that means that busy marketplaces go away. Pfft, everyone. Yeah, that's not what I said. Cool. Yeah, but, you know, if you think that's what I said, then go ahead. Knows that. Okay, let's skip ahead a bit until I have something else to talk about. Okay, so this- Well, what about my points that are actually good, man? Oh, yeah. I know this oh. video is called Everything Wrong With, but could you at least give me some benefit of the doubt in terms of- What about the way you're portraying <laughs> me to your audience right now? Like, have I said anything reasonable? We or need everything wrong with everything. That one time, because this is the thing. I showed all of H Bomber Guy's video, and I even said there was like three different parts. I think where I was like, "This is a fair point." He's actually. I, mean, I have to do that in my video because I'll be going through the whole thing, and I'll be like, "Yeah, I agree. They're well, right." Let's continue. Yeah, this part I, I don't. Yeah, I don't disagree scene continues, part. and it is revealed that this is the guy from Get Out. It's his farm, and he, he, um, he farms. He farms rhin- He fucking farms rhinos. <laughs> Why in the goddamn hell is he farming rhinos? Well, Baller, don't you understand? They're war rhinos, therefore- They're war rhinos. <laughs> they're they're for the war rhinos. <laughs> they're generally like stationed around the impenetrable forest. Fucking kitten, give it a snack. Why is this normal? What the f- Who farms hey, fucking guys, rhinos? Hey, guys, I know that this is totally unreal. I just made a video where he's, like, finally admitting that he- Flagging people and apologizing. Oh, good. For it. It's only been like what three, four weeks. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> been a little longer than that. Wait, what? Sorry. Monday, Matt finally posted an apology. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe it's probably just... because he. It's probably because he went to MythCon and like met people and talked with people in person. Like everyone told him he should be. Yeah, apologizing. they're like, dude. 
Yeah, because if I met him in person, I'd be like, "Do you want to? Once we're done with this video, do you want to check out that one instead of Down with Thrust?" Well, it's only two and a half minutes. Oh so we yeah, can we'll, yeah, we'll definitely it's only do two that. Two and a half minutes. We'll definitely do that. <laughs> um, yeah, come on, then. Let's There's hear no it. reason not to farm There's rhinos. Really They're not a traditionally domesticated animal, sure, but they produce milk. Rhino probably... milk. <laughs> rhino milk. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't use cows. Don't use goats. Don't use <laughs> <laughs> use rhinos. Of course, it makes it only makes sense that if you want milk, you would use a rhino for it. You know what's funny? They're supposed to be the disguised part where we look at them from the outside and go, "Oh, they're just rhino farmers." How <laughs> fucking confusing is that? You'd be like, "You guys are farm rhinos." <laughs> Does that not raise an eyebrow? Oh. <laughs> like rhino milk. Jeez. They're not yeah, a traditionally domesticated animal, milk. sure, but they produce milk. They probably produce quite a lot of meat. Plus, they produce. Whoa! You don't eat rhino meat, though. Rhino rhino people meat. generally eat rhino. I'm just <laughs> gonna put this out there. It seems like you're far more likely to die farming rhinos than any <laughs> other animal. Here, guys, listen. Yeah, let me explain to you why we have a tiger farm. Because we want milk and food. <laughs> it's a hippopotamus farm. We milk the hippos. Just yeah, don't get too close to their mouths. Okay, we have a T-Rex farm for its milk. I, I just want to <laughs> read you guys this. I, I looked up, do people eat rhinos in response to <laughs> his, uh, his meat? And the very first thing it comes up with is eating rhino is not at all common. Rhino meat is still quite valuable as exotic meat. There are roughly 275 Sa Sumatran rhinos left. We'd like to keep some around, so please don't eat rhino meat. <laughs> Christ's but, sake. But, this is the thing, yeah, right? A reasonable, normal milk. human being just goes, yeah, it's kind of silly that they're trying to farm rhinos. <laughs> but no, you have to defend it. As someone just pointed out in chat as well, have you noticed that it, this is held together with sticks and straw, the, uh, the rhino pen? So what happens if the rhino just feels like walking a bit further? They don't. No, it's forward. a docile no, rhino. Guys, obviously, obviously, they're using vibranium fences. Okay, uh, I also yeah, I also straw. looked up um, I looked up what animals produce milk that humans can drink, and it comes up with buffalo, goat, sheep, camel, donkey, horse, reindeer, yak, and cattle. No rhino. Like, no, so that's definitely not rhino milk. <laughs> yeah, Nowhere does listen. it say rhino. A, just doing a Google search is too much research for a critique of a critique. Now all I'm current. thinking about is, what if, like, if somebody sits underneath a rhino to try and milk it, like, what if it takes a step back and crushes your head? Nobody would ever do what, this. What if milking a rhino? It, that just seems so, what like, What if it dangerous. decides it doesn't want to be milked anymore and impales you on its horn? <laughs> dude, yeah, dude. rhinos will fuck you up. One of my mods just said, that's not milk you get him from the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, listen, listen, it's tradition, okay? It's tradition. <laughs> Everyone knows that in Wakanda, every Friday, you drink the rhino's cum. It just makes sense, all right? It's tradition. It's tradition. This yeah, is for to the clarify, culture, yo. we all know the actual reason that these rhinos are here, and that's the payoff <laughs> in the battle. Would, yeah. The whole reason they're here. Yeah. But it's yeah, stupid. It's the that's the point. Oh, they're okay. stupid. They I, shouldn't I just, be here. Just because you have... Well, there's no reason that technology and rhino cum drinking can't <laughs> exist together in the well, same system. You know, all, this just makes me think of... Because a lot of people... I'm surprised they didn't do zebras. But again, zebras are not like horses. They'll kick yeah, you in the face. Anyway, you, can't you can't really can't domesticate... Them, but, as Ryan yeah, said, really goats zebras. would be the assumed answer, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, goats, cows... And if they're... Just, just because they're isolationists, they're like, oh shit, cows are fucking useful as shit. They're docile, they give you milk for a long time... You can domesticate them. They um, won't impale you to death. You can eat them. <laughs> Apparently, rhino milk is mainly water. 0.2% fat. <laughs> well, that's a lot of work for not much payoff. Milk. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's not a lot of payoff. Oh, okay, this is fantastic. So I, 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 this is like the worst Stardew Valley animal you can possibly make. I, I just cannot fathom that <laughs> of all the defenses he could possibly make for why he's farming rhinos <laughs> is, is that he, he had to come up with, well, maybe you can milk them or eat them, which literally nobody in the world does. <laughs> it's like 
Congratulations. <laughs> Maybe you can milk the right now. <laughs> Congratulations. You are stretching it to such an insane extent that you had to make up something that no one on earth actually does. And they never stay this in the film as well. They just have the rhino. <laughs> uh, they just milk the rhinos, guys. Milk the rhinos. And then whenever you need them Why is to this kill normal? people. What the Who farms fucking rhinos? There's no reason not to farm rhinos. They're not a traditional. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no reason. <laughs> Look, guys, just, just because literally nobody does it doesn't mean there's not a reason. <laughs> yeah, everybody chose not to There's do no it for reason no reason. Not to farm Bengal tigers. There's no, no reason. Well, guys, guys, I mean, there's no reason to r farm rhinos, but there's also no reason to not, not farm, farm rhinos. <laughs> yeah. There's well, no reason someone, not to farm grizzly bears. Someone in chat. Vibranium someone in, in chat did say a reason to farm rhinos would be to try and save their population, which again is like, oh well, yeah, that's fine. Like, well, no, that no. Is if that you were to farming use them in battle, if you would have, yeah, if you would have saved the rhinos, you ride them. Battle. <laughs> the pacifist rhinos. <laughs> God damn it, Rags. <laughs> <laughs> their, their horns are made of rubber. animal, sure, but they produce milk. They probably produce quite a lot of meat. Plus, they produce ivory, a material that we can't- You gotta fucking kill it! Hang, hang on. Does a rhino There's... produce ivory? The I don't know what a rhino has ivory. The Google. I think. What is a the rhino's one. horn made of? Uh, it is made up of keratin, a protein found in hair, fingernails, and animal f***s. So it's not ivory. <laughs> it's not ivory. It's not. Yeah. It's keratin. Unlike the horns of many species, including cattle, rhino horn is not made of bone. It is made of keratin, a protein also found in our hair and fingernails. Yeah, hair and fingernails. And if you trim a rhino's hair, horn, it grows back. And that is how you do research. Okay, okay, okay. So let me get this straight. In this man's world, in his... <laughs> Strange, <laughs> fucked up universe. You can milk rhinos. You eat them. You far. You farm them because why the hell not? And they have ivory. These are what oh, so so much just highlight. Have... So just highlight. He's literally advocating for harvesting ivory from these. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there's just no reason we shouldn't fucking kill all the elephants. <laughs> Can... So anyway, let's keep <laughs> hashtag no more no ethical because walks. rhinos are endangered. But if they were a domesticated farm animal, this would no longer be an issue. Ba he said he it's not domesticate whoa. every animal. Dude, if I got this right, we'll play it again. I thought he just said it wouldn't be ethical if there was a low population, but this is stopped by the fact that we can farm them. You're saying it's ethical once you're able to multiply their numbers that you kill them, eat them, and take them. Like I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm trying to imply that he's like going at this from a, from a point of view that um, is like it's a necessity. But now he's like turned it's, it into. Well, no, I'm it's ethical if you can keep creating them. I mean, I, I understand what he's saying. It's like if there were only two chickens left in the world, you could say it's unethical to make the, them extinct. But if there were a billion chickens in the world, then you're like, okay, now it's more ethical to eat Isn't them. Isn't the ethical you know, principle still the same? Kind of. I mean, it depends well, if you're ivory, what's the conservation the conservation of nature. Like, you can still eat meat and be, you know, pro-nature, because you're not making mm -hmm. anything extinct. <laughs> Someone said ethical pacifist slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the, the pacifist rhino. It's just it's just a fun concept. I mean, he got in so much trouble when he declared that they were pacifists. It's like... Let's <laughs> run through the entire video. They're not a traditionally domesticated animal, sure, but they produce milk. They probably produce quite a lot of meat. Plus, they produce ivory, a material that we currently consider unethical because rhinos are endangered. But if they were a domesticated farm animal, this would no longer be an issue. Basically well, oh, yeah, it, it, it's not it, It's not like if, if if people went out into the wild and cut off a rhino's horn and just left, then I don't think people would have a problem with it. People have a problem because they kill the rhino so that it's safe to take the horn. Well, look, I, I think a good example would be that people, like, for, for whatever reason, in China, uh, great white shark fin is a delicacy. So they'll get the shark, cut off its fin while it's alive, and put it back in the water, and then it dies because it can't swim. Yeah, and that's insanely cool. That's unethical. That is, that's awful. Whether there were 10 billion of them, or, like, only one left, 
cutting off a part of a live animal and then leaving it to die is unethical. Yeah, there's yeah, a there's... reason why when we slaughter animals, it's instantaneous and quick. People and they... kill Bengal tigers and eat their fucking dicks. That's... <laughs> And that, that is unethical. That's kind, of, that's kind of what I was getting at. He's like, the only thing that determines whether it's ethical is how many rhinos it's exist. It's how many there are. And that's to so me, I'm like, it feels like we're missing movie. something there. Like, it's yeah. more complicated than and that. And plus, it's it... like, the, the risk-reward aspect of a rhino versus, like, a cow or a goat, you know? It's like, eh, it's... Um... It's stupid. Why can't he just say, yeah, it's dumb, moving this, this on? Is, this is what I mean. He's stretched really far just to say that this isn't silly. It's not even a, it's not film breaking. I just point out that it's silly. That's all. Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's yeah, it's, it's like, it's a strange hill to die on. Because the reason it's in the film is because they said, wouldn't it be exotic and Africa-y if they rode rhinos <laughs> into battle? And you're like, yeah, that would be fucking cool as shit. And like, I don't have a problem with them riding rhinos into battle. I'm fine with that. Sure, fine. They ride rhinos into battle. Sure, that's fine. Once, and but don't try to be like, this makes sense. Apparently, Someone yeah. pointed out that there's a cow in the background. There is a cow in the back. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> How come the rhinos don't fuck up the cows? And someone pointed out, and I don't know how true this is, but it'll be an interesting thing to think about if we actually got facts on this, but if rhinos are endangered throughout Earth, it's pretty interesting that there's this giant rhino reserve in this place no relief workers are allowed to go to. It'd be like, can we can we help you out, or can we have some of the rhinos so that we can, you know, develop them too? And they're just like, no, don't come here. And you're like, oh, there are rhinos. <laughs> we need them for their milk. We need them for their <laughs> ivory. <laughs> so you've been killing them for their ivory for 2,000 years. But some guy's fuck? like, you know they don't have ivory, right? <laughs> Just like, <laughs> basically, what you've done is seen something out of the ordinary and gone, "Oh, why would you do that? That's crazy!" Because especially because there are elephants in Africa that have ivory, and they're like, that is... "These two don't. These toes don't match." It is reasonable to be this... saying that something out of the ordinary is crazy. Like it, it depends on context. He says that like that's just definitively. Like if someone's eating their own face, I'd be like, "That's crazy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, let's let's take a look at the word, right? The word extraordinary is composed of two words, extra <laughs> and ordinary. It is extraordinary. It is ordinary plus, one might even say. Strange, strange thing to say. Oh, it's unusual, without actually giving any reasons why it's a bad idea. Anyway, after- I didn't think I had to. I didn't think I needed I thought to it explain was to you. Common fucking, it was self-evident why you don't have fun. Rhino. I think we proved the point the when his counters were that you milk rhinos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, Do you apparently think he's gonna make a part two. <laughs> There's gonna be a part two. We'll we'll happily respond. Oh, this has been a lot of fun to be honest. This has been this has been fucking terrible. Has he made one point? There's been a couple things that I could have said more explicitly, but I already had those regrets before seeing this response. I already knew that that was the case for my Black Hat video. There are more like clarification and, issues. Yeah, and it's what happens when you're rushed to make the video. This was came out a week out, and this is why he's had months. Why the hell is he? Like, why couldn't he Google? I at least have an excuse. He sat down at his script. And it was like, rhinos, why would you... And why he read that probably at least milk? once. Yeah, and did like, it. milk... <laughs> And meat, you can eat rhino meat, and their horns are made out of ivory, right? Yeah, let's write that down. I don't need that. Mola, Maula? Uh, don't let me know. I don't catch if I care. Compl oh, hey, oh, you know, for a care? while. Wow, that was that was, that was a bit, the only one. That's been mean for no reason, but okay. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't even care. He's like, when when I tell I, if I respect somebody in a video that I'm talking about, I don't. Just say, yeah, I don't I, care what your name is. I figure he'd want to be able to pronounce my name correctly if he was going to address me, but apparently not. It is Mola. Uh, whether or not you care. <laughs> that's, why it's, that's why it's spelled literally like the word Mahler. But a lot of people think that it might Mahler. be Maula because of the capital L, which I don't blame them for, but once I let them know, it should be alright, but... Yeah, he doesn't yeah, care. So why, do you thought... why do you capitalize the he L? Doesn't, he doesn't care about pronunciation of my name. He just wants to rip into the fact that I don't accept milking rhinos as a... As a, as a yeah. Does that Mola? Maula? Uh, don't let me know. I don't catch if I care. Complains about claw for a while. Says the word balls some more because that's still funny. And then moves on to the scene where Black Panther gears up. T'Challa then engages with his plan and so meets the Wakandan equivalent of Q. She gives him an ear thingy that lets you talk to and spy on people. She makes a what are those reference, which made me question my own existence. And finally, Q has taken his balls and upgraded them to interface with something. I don't know. His balls are overpowered as fuck and they do everything. Whatever, moving on. Q lets Black Panther know that his new shoes will make absolutely no noise when using them. They are 100% sound 
and absorbent. This doesn't come up again in the film whatsoever. But before he responds to it, did you do you follow my problem there? They put this effort yes. to be like, you've got new to shoes, tell... they make no noise, and it never yes. comes up again. It's to make a joke. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's the kind of, it's incompetent writing because you leave the audience like, ooh, setup, and it's like no payoff. You're like, why did you tell us that then? It's like because it was a joke. Like you gave him this amazing technology just for a joke. It's like okay. That's a bit odd. Yeah, James Bond uses his gadgets. Also, we've established that stealth doesn't mean anything anyway, so... Okay. Depending on the circumstances, yes. And yeah, Like, why thing. would anybody really want these in this context unless you were a spy? Well, that's the thing. I was actually interested in seeing how they were going to make use of this, but they don't. And it's like, oh, because they would... It's for a <laughs> silly... It's stealth milking. Dude, when the rhino well, is sleeping... You have to do it, to otherwise... The, way, the reference <laughs> otherwise I had for James Bond like, yeah. was um, an example of how you do comedy while setting these things up. So he gives him all of his tools, and he's like, this is what this does, and it's going to play into the them. And then he picks up the, the sandwich, or the baguette, or whatever, and he's like, what does this do? And he just grabs it, and he goes, hey, my lunch. It's my lunch. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> like, hey. yeah, you expect it to be a gadget, but it's just a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, but this is solely for the joke, and it's just like, okay. He doesn't use this ability or feature. The entire reason this exists is so that Q can tell Black Panther a joke. She says that she calls the shoes that make no noise sneakers. So this isn't a problem for me. First of all, if the movie wants to dedicate 30 seconds to telling a joke, that's fine by me. I quite like jokes. And it gets bonus points for using it to build a relationship Except between they these have to two do as well. Balls. Yeah, I mean, this is this is kind of. I'm not going to say it's a it's a detrimental issue at all. It's just it betrays it's the not. intentions of the writing. It wasn't very clever, I suppose, is what I would argue. But yeah, it's and fine. it's it's comedy. If it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't, then okay. Yeah, I I I know a lot of people who laughed at the joke. I was in the cinema where a couple of people giggled, and I was sitting there just like, wow, that was cheap. Yeah, but the thing <laughs> is, it comes at the expense of introducing it, a, an extremely potentially useful thing that could be used in a lot of useful ways. Like sneaking behind somebody or whatever, or maybe Shuri could have used it to sneak somewhere. Who knows? It it, it could have been used in the film and it wasn't. It was yeah. only there for a joke. I wonder if he's going to have any more critiques for me about that. Well, on top of that, I quite like the fact that we get introduced to gadgets that never get used. It's a nice way to avoid falling into the cliche of being what? given exactly the gadgets you need to solve the mission. That's exactly what happens. His balls solve everything. Did you I, miss that? It literally heals a spinal wound. I can't wait for him to get to that point. I was going to justify wait, that. Wait, he, he likes the idea of someone getting something and then never using it? Um, point? I'm not sure that he said that. Let's go back again. Quite like jokes. And it gets bonus points for using it to build a relationship between these two as well. He says, he like, sorry, just to cut in. He said he likes that it builds a relationship between these two and then lets the footage of Thor play in the background. It's, <laughs> like, it's like, what do you mean? Th wait, what? <laughs> On top of that, I like quite like the fact that we get introduced to gadgets that never get used. It's a nice way to avoid falling into the cliche of being given exactly the gadget. Oh, right, so his point is he likes that they introduce gadgets that don't get used because it subverts the expectation that every gadget they get given is always going to be super useful. I hate the subverting expectations bullshit. Yeah, but pe yeah, but it's really rewarding, and it's a payoff when he uses something later that was given to him previously. Yeah, like, how about you expand on that stealth shit he did for well, how two about, seconds? At the beginning? Yeah, how instead of just go... whipping out some MacGuffin from his asshole and using that to problem. He's like, it's a good thing I brought such and such later. How about you use that moment to go, hey, by the way, I've updated the balls now so they can stabilize wounds, and then be like, what? That sounds amazing. It's like, yeah, with our new medical tech, and say a bunch of words that make sense in some biological context, and then you could be like, okay, cool. So at least we go, oh, so when the guy gets shot in the spine, you can bring the ball out. Okay. But no, that doesn't happen. He prefers it when... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you need to solve the mission you have. You know, that thing that people always make fun of the Bond movies for? It's nice to see that subverted once in a while. After this scene in Maraola... Do they make fun of the Bond movies the for doing that? You made fun of the pronunciation of my name? Really? I thought you talked about me with stale jokes. You know, that thing that people always make fun of the Bond movies for? It's nice yes. to see that subverted once in a while. After this scene, Maraola starts complaining that the Black Panther's power well, just I mean, comes from you the had to do that on and purpose. the juicy drinks. Oh, yeah, because if there's anything this video needed, Sorry, what? You have to mispronounce that on purpose. Shit. It would be like if I pronounce Rag's name Ray G S. <laughs> it's like, it's Rags. stupid. It's Rags. It's Rags. The Dishonored Wrath. <laughs> Franji. <laughs> 
fringy. <laughs> well, to be fair, I thought it was fringy at first too. Yeah, most people do. Yeah, because fringe is a word. Right, but fringy isn't. So yeah, you see, it's, it's you see a, how it's got wrong. Name. In it's that case, name. in that case, it is fair that he's mispronouncing it, and that's fine. Okay, let him go, guys. Let him go. God. So Maola. racist. It's nice to see that subverted once in a while. After this scene, Maola starts complaining that the Black Panther's power just comes from his suit and the juice he drinks. Because if there's anything this video needed, it's more of that. That's okay though, I'm sure he won't mention it again. But T'Challa just has the flower power. Mahler, to I gotta tell it. you, your comment on his video was too nice for this. It was. Yeah, I, I haven't seen so. the video yet, but uh... Hey man, it doesn't, he it's did not, like, not deserve that amount of... <laughs> dude, this, this is going to go up publicly. This will be a permanent yeah. stain on the fucking video he's made. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's not getting out of this one. This is a full response with me and three other people who could fucking confirm, and a whole chat of people watching and listening. You're not getting out of this one. It's like, it's, your rhino milk did not solve the problem. <laughs> But yes, uh, I probably did reiterate the fact that T'Challa was useless without the flower power and the and the suit because of the fact that he's the protagonist and he's got nothing special yeah. about him beyond the arbitrary gifts of his culture. It's to imply that Captain America would be nothing without the the, the serum, which isn't true. He's got a, hu a huge... All of his entire character is all in the, the film. The strength allows him to act on his character. Iron Man is the same exact thing. His suit allows him to exact his principles. Um... We don't even, like, do you guys, you don't even understand T'Challa, really, in the Not film? Really. You don't get much about him. You're just kind of like, eh, he, he wants to do what's right, I think. <laughs> I well, know. I think the way that they wanted to frame it was that his arc would um lead, you know, the arc throughout the story leads him to basically become an open, like, to lead Wakanda into an open and transparent sort of age. And I guess well, the only motivation was that secret that doesn't make sense yeah i was gonna say you know, this, like the this ties into the secret because the whole film is an arc of him going from isolation to open borders or at least semi-open borders and the reason he does is because he finds out about the secret but the secret doesn't make any sense and therefore his character so, arc is confusing yeah, the catalyst well. of his character is weird and strange yeah that's it Okay, <laughs> let's just move on. Yeah, let's keep Was T'Chaka stripped of the power of the Black Panther when he spoke for Somalia? Seems like he probably wouldn't have died if he still had the power of the Panther. So that means they would have stripped it <laughs> from him, right? I mean, not necessarily. We don't really know how much the Black Panther can take without his suit. T'Chaka died- Oh, come on. He could have well, survived Well, what do you that. mean? Yeah, we did, cause T'Challa the explosion and he lived. Yeah, he was right next to it. He, he might actually he have been right closer. He lived. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, that is no... And also, he would have had the reflexes to get out of the way, probably. There's a lot of... This Black Panther juice is very, very good. Like, there's no... It's <laughs> very good. <laughs> you want the explosion at very close range. To me, that... He literally shows <laughs> to <laughs> Charlotte... <laughs> you literally countered your own point by accidentally showing footage of my video. <laughs> We don't uh, know that he'd survive. Sure, man. Doesn't really scream, he no longer has the panther powers. So that means they would have stripped it from him, right? Because, I mean, it's not like you can bring the juice out of people to provide it to another person. So can you guys imagine when T'Chaka gave up the mantle that they just took his powers instead of letting him live his life with it? Like, he's just sitting there thinking to himself, you know, I've got increased healing, better agility, speed, and I'm really old, so can I just keep it? And they're like, no. <laughs> 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 See, I think that's a valid point. <laughs> I think so too. It's like if I was getting old, I'd be like, "Yeah, can I just I have mean, a he's bit?" Is <laughs> yeah, so erectile so. dysfunction? I don't think so. <laughs> I got panther dick. <laughs> panther is a sort of subsidiary <laughs> of the drinking the rhino milk provides that as well. Or... Basically, <laughs> that Wakandans care about tradition. Dick, dick, it's dick, tradition dick, that only the current Black Panther has this power. Yeah, so the answer is tradition. My whole point was that it's stupid. <laughs> I don't care if it's tradition or not, as this is really stupid. I assume it's tradition, that's my whole premise of my point. I honestly really doubt he was even asked to give it up. The logical assumption when watching this film is that How when can he you... became too old to- so Wait, where does the doubt come from? Exactly. I, I assume he's saying that T'Chaka would have been on board with releasing his powers because that's how tradition works. And I'm again saying, that's silly. That's just silly. I, it's like my catchphrase. <laughs> It's just silly, dude. Become Black Panther, he gave up the powers himself because that's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> he did it because that's what he does. It's like, 
Okay, oh. right. So am I to believe that the very first Black Panther did the same thing? Yeah, no. <laughs> and then they set that as a trend? I'm Look, he would, would his he answer to that would be, well, maybe, maybe not. They set it as a rule at some point, and now it's a rule, okay? And again, what if one of them's just like, nah, I'm the king, you can't tell me to give it that's, up. I have complete rule over that's you. That's actually the part that gets me, is that it's not when the king, well, as a result, the king is still the king, and he has to lose it? It's like, that seems weird. Yeah, it's like he just says, I'm keeping it, and... He's the king. And he didn't even try to make it make sense, he just said, eh, tradition. It's like, oh, I'm glad that you have this fucking get-out-of-jail-free card for every criticism <laughs> I have. <laughs> tradition. And, and don't forget, people are also insane. There is two defenses. The fact and rhino milk, the three. You assume someone had to make him give it up, shows that you don't really understand what these people are That was the joke, if you caught it, when I said he was sitting down and they went, give it up, and then he was like, can I keep it? And they went, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke, dude. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if uh, anything, it shows that these people are a bunch of assholes. Yeah, and and like if, if he was on board, your with grandmother it or not. and grandfather had the panther juice, and they would like be healthy and long lived, and they wouldn't have you know like dementia or Alzheimer's or anything. You're like, sorry, grandma, you got to give it up. You got to be weak and you got to be weak. <laughs> she literally gives it like, up oh, and then breaks a hip on her that, way out. She's yeah. like, oh, she jumps through the window. You'll never take me alive. <laughs> That would make for a better film. T'Challa, Michonne, and Not Girlfriend meet with some old lady and they get into a secret high-class gambling slash trading area in the middle of some fish market. Okay. They scope out the place and discover a handful of guards that will prove more than likely to be a problem, as well as Bilbo Baggins, who is simply hanging out and waiting for Gollum to trade some diamonds for the vibranium he has. Bilbo says he didn't call attention to Black Panther's suit in exchange for Black Panther supplying Helmut Zemo from Civil War, so they are even and shouldn't attempt to cross paths. Soon after, Gollum But how do you know that one film comes before the other? Uh, because of reader response <laughs> theory, mate. Oh, okay. An entire entourage that rush past the old lady and through the censors. An entire entourage that rush past the old lady and through the censors, despite having plenty of guns. The characters comment on this, but we get no reasoning as to why they're allowed through with guns. We don't even know what this place really is or who owns it. But fuck it, it's dramatic, and the nameless bad guys need their pew pews. This is a form of film. Oh, yeah, he's one fucking one to talk, oh, Mr. Rhino Milk. Here we go. <laughs> to clarify, before he counters, in case it wasn't clear, there's this secret meeting area that people go to trade stuff. Uh, as our characters go in, they're checked for guns, and then they're clear, and then they go in. Obviously, the spear gets through because it's retractable and whatever. Um, and then uh, Gollum's people arrive, and they go through the scanners, and they all scan, like, red. They're like, you know, you've got guns, but they just carry on going. And it's like, okay. Uh, what was the point of that? <laughs> And I was just like, isn't this place, like, neutral, or is it suddenly owned by Gollum? I have no clue. It's it's just like they're allowed in with guns, and it's like, that's how that works. Okay. That's Think one thing it. I liked about, like, the John Wick movies, the Continental Hotel thing. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, that was everybody moves to gun. Rules are applied equally to everybody. Good, yeah. bad, don't matter, no can guns. Conduct I can, business in the continent. I can argue against myself. I could be like, well, it's pretty clear that maybe he's bribed the leaders there, or maybe he owns the place, or maybe he's pulled in some favors in exchange for vibranium. But then my response would be, that's not in the film. None of that is. Like, well, but... Yeah, but like, even if you just walked past someone and slipped some money into his pocket, that would have been enough. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it it could have been as they were walking in. You would not have needed to change the screen time. It would it would film. literally be the same amount. Of but yeah. let's let's see if he does the inference thing. Yeah, it doesn't just mean that the movie sort of forgot to put one in. It's the movie assuming wrongly in your case apparently that you're smart enough to figure things out for yourself. There you when go. Claw arrives, we see him acting very familiarly with the woman on the door. Then casually Let walking in through the metal that. detector. The movie just wants you to Invent write its own script. story. For yeah. Uh, f fucking because the writers name, um, were so bad. Patrick Willem said this. Remember, he was like, "The film assumes that you're pretty smart." I guess it's wrong. <laughs> it's like that's funny. <laughs> remember the goals. film. The film assumes that you understand the rhino milk. <laughs> <laughs> you were you supposed see, to interpret the rhino milk. You're supposed wrong. to interpret that they milk the rhinos I mean, for their come on, ivory guys. horns. The pacifist civilization that kills anyone that comes in through the impenetrable forest. Yeah. ...with his entourage, despite the fact that every single one of them sets them off. The movie assumes you're smart enough to figure out this means Claw has people on the inside, that he's set this up. 
The movie could very easily no. have a scene just before this where Claw explains that he's got people on the- No, you don't need that. See, everyone always assumes that. They're like, oh, what Mola wants is a whole film to explain everything before even watching the film. It's like, no, did you hear what we just suggested? Slip someone some money. That's it. Well, he didn't- he didn't- he didn't hear it. He didn't hear it? Isn't this live? Like, <laughs> you know, show don't it, tell doesn't mean don't tell people things, it means show things for telling things. So, you can achieve two things with that scene. It, Even another suggestion, a... they could have just like looked at them like all intimidated, like oh shit, and then they just yeah, yeah exactly. Them, they go that, in. That's how they straw man yeah. though. They're like oh, people like rags ball or wolf free or whatever. They'll just be like they want a whole fucking essay before the Dude, film starts. My suggestion is just that you achieve more than one thing at a time in your film. Yeah, get, yeah. get two things done at once. That's that's what you're meant to do. Yeah. That's what good Claw, films do. Claw arrives and there's clear indication that he's bribed the owners. You know, done, done. I, I can just think of so many scenes in that they do these things and they don't explicitly <laughs> explain something, but it still works. So, somebody that they're making the rhino emoji and then a milk emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got the cow and the milk one. <laughs> they put rhino milk is better than cow milk. <laughs> oh my god, I'm saving that. I'm fucking saving that. Like inside. God. Or just not have the metal detectors there in the first place. What the movie is doing here is show- Wait, We what? didn't ask for him to explain that he had people on the inside. Like, I already have him slip some money into his Dude, pocket. I already told you as well, I could have made these arguments. I'm talking about the lack of information. Very, very much lacks of- like, I can invent the script too. So, someone in chat said you were supposed to interpret the rhinos, not milk them. <laughs> <laughs> that he set this up. The movie could very easily have a scene just before this where Claw explains that he's got people on the inside. Or just not have the metal detectors there in the first place. What the movie is- Why did you just suggest that, like, it's something that we should have inferred? Like, by- ch check this out. He passes her the money, and the camera pans around as he walks into the thing, and she presses a switch under a table, and that turns- Maybe not turns the- the things off, but there's like a clear change in how the- the detectors work, yeah, and it doesn't the detect the guns. the light turns off. Or it doesn't make any, or the conveyor belt stuff, whatever. It could be anything. They he puts money in the pocket, gives a nod. The lady looks to other people and then gives them a nod. They walk in. Um, you or maybe they point guns at the people at the entrance and the guys at the entrance. They just put up their hands and let them go through. I yeah. mean, there, there's multiple ways to resolve this, and they that's like these people lack creativity they lack imagination we, they think that about us they're like oh you need your scene to explain everything it's like well uh, uh, it does seem like projection doesn't it you know? oh well explain it like explicitly but i think what people would prefer is that you find creative ways of conveying information in as little time as possible but still in a clear manner yeah like slipping money into the pocket or like some glances between the guys as they walk Kind maybe of the time clear that you're not going to mess with it. Maybe the time they spent on the sneaker joke could have been spent instead, explaining <laughs> <laughs> some other scenes. Doing here is showing you something rather than telling it to you, and that's a good thing. So long. Yes, it's showing us that show there's you. a clear identification that he has weaponry and he's allowed in, despite the fact that all these people on the metal detector have no connection in any way to the girl at the front, and all she does is recognize that she knows Claw. Not that she's fucking in league with him. This is why we said money. Money would tell us that. Money is a thing that people use to bribe people to do things. Kissing somebody, Oh, you've been here before, so, so the rules don't apply to you? Like, why was- it? my problem was like, whoa, they just set off the thing. Why isn't everyone going crazy? Oh, the reality okay. is that without any explanation, you could interpret many ways, but that's not necessarily a good thing. You know, you could look at this scene and go, oh, he owns the club, or maybe his buddy owns the club, or maybe he bribed them in advance, but mm. that's not a good thing when three equally correct answers could be exactly. construed for this one thing. It's like he's satisfied <laughs> that you could just infer anything, and you're like, that's not... <sighs> why not, just, not, why not just have the final scene in the film play, and then we, we can infer, <laughs> we can infer <laughs> the rest of it. Yeah. I'm just actually smart enough to figure that out. Not good. Yeah, I'm stupid. Thanks, man. You know how we all universally agree that if you open a, a battle with two people out of context just trying to kill each other, that it's usually it's not a good thing? It's usually considered not the right way to start a film because you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I guess with him, he'd be like, oh, well, you could just infer that they hate each other. 
Oh, well, oh, really? You reckon? You don't say. And they, <laughs> like, the thing is, they might not even hate each other. They might be training. They might be yeah, forced to be do training. it against each other. Yeah. Context, my friend, is important. Just before this, where Claw explains that he's got people on the inside. Or just no, not have the metal detectors there in the first place. <laughs> what the movie is doing here is showing you something rather than telling it to you. And what you're doing is writing the movie. Congratulations, little Lemmy. Yeah, You've done exactly they actually, what they want you to do. I think they aren't showing you. This is, this, is, this is a genuine problem with writing that they want you to do. They want you to write their stories. They want you to hold them to a lower standard and that you just interpret everything for them. Someone said Patrick Willem's favorite addition to the MCU is the rhino. <laughs> of course, <laughs> and then that's a good thing. So long as you're actually smart enough to figure that out. Not Girlfriend then announces that it is now or never in relation to capturing Gollum, but this makes about zero sense when they have established that there are guards all over the place with guns and our heroes have some knives and a spear. <laughs> Which ones have the advanced technology again? Remind me. Okay, so let's take a step back for a second. This is not the first time that Nyala has complained about the use of spears in this film. You did my name joke again. Is, he said Nyala. Now, I don't see how he could run Emma's. Well, I'm just, I'm commenting on the fact that he's clearly doing it for the laughs, but he just, he's in this video has told me that if you repeat a joke, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not good. It's interesting. Yeah. And to clarify my position before he straw mans me, which is inevitable, um, the spears never fire any energy, so she's literally just using it as a spear, and the other girl has yeah. knives, and they're against people Yeah, with but guns. then the spears fire energy later on, don't they? Well, my or point, at least my in point is in, War they do. in this scene, they have low tech compared to their enemies, and they're the ones that are well, saying, yeah, like, it's melee versus projectiles. And they're saying, you know? now or never, like, this is our opportunity. And I was like, what if, no, this is bad. <laughs> this is not a good time. And then they just win anyway, because why not? Advanced technology again, remind me. Okay, so let's take a step back for a second. This is not the first time that Nyala has complained about the use of spears in this film. The fact that T'Challa's guard uses Nyal? spears seems end? to be a big grievance for him. Despite the fact that these are incredibly advanced vibranium spears that you can literally stop a car by throwing them but through. But what makes yeah. them advanced? Yeah. They're yeah, really how strong, does, so they're advanced. Is that how, does how that it works? help you? Yeah, how does the spear being vibranium help you when you're shot? I could make exactly. a really advanced vibranium paperclip. Thank, what thank, good is thank that? you for reassuring my sanity. Just because it's a vibranium spear does not mean it's going to help you when you're shot in the fucking head. Yes, it could be a. Yeah, it's a. It still is what it is. Regardless of what it's made of, if it was made out of hardened steel, it would do the same thing. Maybe well, not yeah, to the tiniest the little degree. It, but... I, I imagine you get a little bit of a plateau effect, but uh, it's not going to stop bullets. People will shoot you, and you're like, "Oh yeah, but my spear is also please vibranium." Note, <laughs> a counter someone else had for me. I don't know if he's going to use it. Is that they have vibranium clothing that's bulletproof? Look at her dress. <laughs> that's really going to help you. <laughs> When <laughs> How, okay, so you have vi so vibranium is anything you want it to be, basically. Yeah, it's exactly, dude. And Whoa. people don't people are okay with this. And I was like, it's not okay. Yeah. Vibranium's the like, answer oh, to the fucking everything. Vibranium. I'm like, oh, uh, what scene? What, when did they say that? Because they just look like clothes. To they me. they do say that vibranium's woven into their clothes, implying yeah. that. But to me, I'm just like fucking hell. <laughs> like, you just uh, <laughs> by that logic, still your head is a complete target here, as well as your shoulders. Which, oh, stupid, 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 stupid. Plus, they have like blasty and electricy stuff in them. So let's take a look yeah, at the right. But they, they you need to be it. really close. To, yeah, exactly. And that still doesn't protect you from being shot in the head. That's like my main yeah, point. It's right like now. if I get close to him, I can shoot him with a stunny thingy. But this would be, with this would be an thingy. example. This would be an example of why everybody should have that black T'Challa has. Because yeah, they then say you like um, yeah. yeah, like suits on or something like that, and yeah, they exactly. activate them like Power Rangers. <laughs> You know, <laughs> the rest of the MCU. What weapons do the other heroes use? If they're more advanced than us, it should. Uh, a shield can protect you from bullets quite easily. In fact, yeah, vibration. And you can throw it, and it bullets. comes back to you. Iron Man's it's armor. It's a projectile and melee. And Iron Man's armor protects you from bullets. Uh, Thor Thor's literally is immune to bullets. Back. The Hulk is immune mm -hmm. to bullets. You get where I'm going with this. Black Widow has you a know, gun. The I could see arrows. Hawkeye easily taking out. The yeah, Let's Hawkeye put it that has way. Yeah, because his arrows can be his, his arrows can criticize be, like, Hawkeye, but he's or... definitely a useful character. Like I would be afraid of him if yeah, he was a Yeah, utility. and I would be you know what, I'd be equally as concerned for him in this scene. I'd be like, Hawkeye's gonna have to be careful because there's a bunch of fucking guys with guns in here. Mm -hmm. While Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, and Captain America wouldn't have anywhere near as much concern. I guess you can, you can think of other examples too, right? Like if this was Daredevil, usually when there's a gun, he has to actually change his strategy. 
because he means he'll die if he gets shot. Yeah. Also, this is me trying to if, prompt you to watch that show, by the way. And what if you had, um, like, Captain America was in this scene? Like, we got to get him. He's like, no, there's too many civilians. Yeah. Like, someone innocent's going to get killed. Yeah, I, I could see him saying that, to be honest. You know, it's like, we got to get him. It's like, but there, there are people in guns. Like, people are going to get killed. This is going to turn into a Quentin Tarantino scene. Just the one guns, said right? rhino well, milk is Cat better than cow shield. milk. Thor Bill Bo Baggins, who is actually in this film. Wait, he's saying all the stuff we've already counted, so we can probably get through this quite easily. <laughs> I'm hoping. So. If they're more advanced than us, it should just be guns, right? Well, yeah. Cap uses a shield, Thor uses a warhammer, and later a battle axe. I as if they have no magical well, properties. I mean, it's a axe. Yeah. As if they have <laughs> no it magical do anything properties. Is, nothing special about it at all. <laughs> it's just like if I get the hammer from the Jesus Stop Christ! This is what this it. is what I'm talking about. No charitable dissection uh, here. He's just doing his best to make me look as stupid as he can. Thor shows up onto the battle scene at the end and fucking wrecks with his electrical point, magnet powers. And his if he wanted to make a real point, he could have pointed out that lightsabers are kind of in the same category. You know, like it's a melee weapon. Yeah, kind but of. But they kind of make it. Can it. Defend you well, that's exactly it, isn't it? Usually, yeah. you'd yeah. argue they have the, the force, bullets. which is a like. A, you know, a, a Jedi against blasters. Well, yeah, that, them, that's what I mean. Before. There's an explanation, though. It's a melee weapon, but you could still see them taking guns. Mm -hmm. But here, it just seems ridiculous. And plus, the last thing that you want in close quarters is a spear. It's too <laughs> exactly. Big. It it's comes too across. It's someone who runs past. It comes across as jarring when you see this film. It's just like, what the fuck are you using a spear for? Use something more <laughs> practical, for Christ's sake. It's like use a sword or something. It just doesn't. If you want Even to a get a sword, would be better. A sword would be better, yeah, because you just stab them with a spear. It's just they're they're basically long range, in mm -hmm. a sense, they're long range. Iron Man uses but... a suit of plate armor. Hawkeye, well, right, why did he, he can fire well, he I'm can confused. fire things out of his why hands? Would that, though, how doesn't that support my argument? <laughs> like the the, the <laughs> whatever. You'll know about Hawkeye. Hulk just uses his fists, and Gamora uses swords, just to name a few. The few that best exemplify my point. No yeah, didn't counter my point, even a little bit, so... Right, but Gamora does use guns when she needs gun, Like, when it's long range. Yeah, remember that one point in Guardians of the Galaxy had a cannon bigger than her, and she decided <laughs> yeah. to fire it at her sister? Yeah. Remember when uh, we were watching a criticism and he committed the sin of whataboutism? Oh, absolutely, well, yeah. This is the thing, he's assuming I don't have a problem with any of the other ones. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, but what about these other things? Like, and even to me, that's partially not true, because when I think of um scene in The Winter Soldier, when the guy has the and like he doesn't just shoot Cap in the legs, like to me, that is kind of a problem. Yeah, someone in the yeah, someone in chat you. mentioned, uh, just because they know who I am at a bar to let me just start pouring my own drinks. Yeah, like it's not enough that we see that he's acquainted with the owner or whoever that woman was. Yeah, this is. Yeah, because I mean. Yeah, if anything, you know, he, he would have a reputation, and he's not a great, upstanding guy, so they would want to take his weapons away even more. Because I don't want something like what happening in this scene to happen. Yeah. Are they going like, to come back after this? Yeah, there's no way they would let him keep weapons if they know him. That point doesn't even work in his favor. He said it uh. did, so it does. <laughs> None of these things are modern weapons. They shouldn't have any. I love that. A, a giant suit of armor. That None you of these things are modern weapons. <laughs> the, he, modern weapons. he mentioned uh, uh, Bruce Banner's fists, and he's like, "That's not modern." And like, Iron Man. Are we gonna are we gonna acknowledge it's attached to this enormous creature known as the Hulk? <laughs> it's not exactly a standard. Radiation. It's not a standard <laughs> set of fists. And then the, the idea is like, oh yeah, Thor's little little hammer. He's fucking it's just he's just using a hammer. It's like a little Smith's hammer. It's like, oh, it has magical properties and can teleport in places. <laughs> but fuck that, it can summon lightning. Fuck that. That's not who cares about that. It's like, because it's it a can hammer. summon the Bifrost. It's a fucking hammer. There's a lot of people who pointed out the contradiction that I didn't comment on Asgardian culture as much as I did with this. And it's just like, okay, magic, gods, other reality, and they they actually took over. How many realms? Is it nine? Nine. Nine realms. It's like, yeah, there's a lot less to criticize, and they're aliens. <laughs> it's like, it's a little bit, <laughs> little bit more complicated, but sure. These are human beings in Africa. Magical aliens versus real-ass human beings. <laughs> 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 it's the same thing, Mueller. Place on a modern battlefield. But in the Marvel Universe, there are ways to upgrade them that make them viable again. The spears... But is it viable? Like they didn't do that with the spears. 
Like, how can you how can you criticize be like, oh, Thor still uses a hammer, and then moments later say, oh, you could upgrade things. Yeah, he's not recognizing yeah, like, his magical Thor's <laughs> hammer. And that's the thing: Did the spears, not, the spears don't automatically block bullets or something. The, she could have been killed at any moment in that scene. There's no real. If, just, some, if another guy ran out of the corner and was kind of shot her in the head or the leg or wherever, and she'd be like, dead. If Iron Man's suit starts getting broken off like it does in Infinity War, we all get concerned because that's the only thing that keeps him yeah. alive. It's very simple, and I feel like he's just arguing to argue at this point. It's a very simple point to understand, but whatever. Because yeah, like no a room full of men with guns, they have spears, and you're like, obviously they're at a huge disadvantage, and they're a civ <laughs> in another, in yeah, like no, in, a, in another words. movie, they take civilian you know casualties into account. You know, like the the opening of Civil War, or the fight at the end of Age of Ultron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that make Here them viable like, again. Oh, the spears are no different. If you have a problem with spears, are no different from Thor's hammer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or Iron Man's suit of armor. Sure, man. We'll, we'll go with that. Updated okay. versions of outdated weapons. Then say that having a problem with just the spears doesn't make any sense. Gollum uses his fake arm to fire a massive, horrible projectile into something that T'Challa was hiding behind, and a bunch of money comes down, and he says, "Ha ha! I made it rain." Which I just. Was he not supposed to be intimidating at one point? Is this your first time intimidating someone? I'm afraid. Uh, not that afraid. And now he's this weird, incompetent, reckless, unhinged circus clown who laughs at his own- I will accept that it's not, like, definitive. It's not, like, a huge change in character, but I did get annoyed, personally, because he seemed like he was just a clown now. When I was like, oh man, I liked it when yeah, Claw was you. smart. And I, showed, I probably should have showed the clip with him and Ultron. Where he seemed much more in control when he was like, "Wait, you work for Stark?" Like, there's, there's, a, there's like, "Oh, he's, he's actually got agency." While in this film, he's like, "Lol, lol, 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 lol." It's like, eh. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's ways to counter that. Let's see what he does. Character has changed exactly. Remember this? The thing that happened in literally the exact scene you just showed a clip from? They make lots. Disco lots. <laughs> You're allowed not to like Clara in this movie. That's fine. You can dislike whatever you want. No, I liked Clora him. His... Yeah, I, I liked still liked him. him. <laughs> he yeah, was the best part of the Sandy movie. Circus. <laughs> If you criticize him, you don't like him. Yeah, and and like I think it's not really you know, an issue with him; it's the writing. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I did just say that I wanted him to be more intimidating. And I can't remember if I if if I def definitively said this is the wrong for what he should be. Then yeah, this you could easily criticize me for that. But I'm pretty sure it's more of a preference right. I was trying to imply. But sure. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's an interesting comparison that he made between the two scenarios because if someone trying to intimidate him and he's being flippant about it, it shows confidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this yeah, is I don't think he's supposed to be unhinged. Like, I don't get the impression he's unhinged in that scene. Like, I, like, I, like I did the example on purpose. He lo he like turns to the camera, and goes, <laughs> "I made it right." It's like, are you are you okay, mate? Like, <laughs> while people yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, people are trying to catch you and like, uh, should you be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Very limited screen time in the past has been a villain who's goofed around. For me personally, that's where the intimidation comes from. The fact that he laughs in the face of danger shows that he just goes through that sort of thing every okay. day. You get a sense that if there's a gun in his face, he's in his element, and he doesn't care. He's probably my favorite MCU. Are you character. sure about that? Because when Ultron <laughs> his arm, scared. Yeah, he was genuinely scared, terrified. I'd even say. He but, didn't uh, seem too happy when he was getting shot at by Killmonger and yeah, then eventually that, killed. That concerned him when I saw that, by the looks of things. If you don't think he's a No, but then when he was about to die, he started laughing, remember? He laughed when he died. He was like, oh, ha, ha, and then he got shot. Oh, there you go, then. I, uh, you may have forgotten, but he starts laughing when he discovers that Killmonger is actually from Wakanda. Ah, uh, I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah, That's no, okay. It's, it's okay that you forgot about this. <laughs> and that's yeah again me and wolf like i said we didn't have long with this and i've not seen black panther since like i i understand that i would have made mistakes so like like this I'll, I'll just say like fair point i'll leave you with that one but the rest of the video is kind of embarrassing considering the uh context for this analysis fine but don't act as if this is some kind of bastardization of his character so that well did i say that i mean it's I not it's just unusual it just That's came the end across of part as one. The original video is over 40 minutes long. Thank That's God. a hell of a long video, <laughs> so I'm going to cover it in two parts. Part two should come out wait, next wait. Sunday. If you've enjoyed Isn't this, there are like links on screen now. The way more through of my the movie? Yeah, he's not very far in. That's unless, like first act stuff. Unless he's going to skip over my valid points, <laughs> in which case... <laughs>
<laughs> we, we shall see. Well, that's the end of it's it. It's probably um, for the best. Do you want, so do you want the uh, Monday Night Matt one? Well, I was going to say, I should probably yes. try and get through these these uh, Super Chats as quick as I can, and then uh, we'll do Monday Matt. But I was just going to say right. as a, a conclusion, um, not that great. Uh, trying to be genuine here, like, because I... That was awful. I've, I've cut my teeth on, on YouTube with a lot of... I criticize other reviewers, and I've made mistakes in the past and not been kind enough, but, like, this, you know... <laughs> Like, like this is embarrassing. There's a lot of, you know, do we need to say it? It's like there's a lot of straw manning, a lot of uh, ignoring context for what I'm trying to actually get at and providing no benefit of the doubt. And then acknowledging that I've made points, but you sort of just pretend like they don't exist to try and get past them. And it paints a picture is kind of what I'm getting at here. Um, so try and do better in part two. Yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, so you well, I was do gonna say, super if, chats. If all three of you want to do anything that preps you for the next Monday Matt extravaganza, you can do that while I uh, read oh, these things. Oh, I definitely need some prep for Monday Matt. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, Dakota Stanton said, have a great stream, guys, so thank you. Uh, Nick said, I'm Jewish, so I'm giving you guys a Jew pass. Go nuts. Uh, YouTube doesn't like me saying that word. I mean, yeah, it's a standard, Nick. Uh, it's, it's disgusting that you would do that. Uh, Uncouth Badger said, "Is this how I donate to the Church of Jared?" That's um, 100% a truth right there. Uh, Onyx Osprey said, uh, "Hyped to finally catch you go live. Love and appreciate you guys. Your commentary on Jared's videos have really cheered me up on slow days." <laughs> Yay! That's good stuff. <laughs> uh, formerly Rod Line, how dare you trans shame Bowser? So that's directed at you, Rags. You piece of shit. I don't believe I did that. <laughs> James Moore, uh, we have our brown. Bilbo Baggins, by the way. Off topic, have you guys played Fallout New Vegas and did you like it? Have a great stream. Yeah, I've, Fallout New Vegas is excellent. I have not played it. I have not played RPG. it either. You haven't? Really? I it's haven't. Excellent. I own it. I own it, so I might give it a shot. Oh, it, it's amazing, man. Um, Jobin B said, uh, everything wrong with the Black Panther, an angry argue meme. Stefan Bogbaggin in you. <laughs> I think you're trying to combine Bilbo and Stefan Molyneux, but um, excellent. Uh, not I taking all bets on number of times racist is used. Well, luckily for us, he didn't actually call me racist at all. There was no implication, which he's is nice. He's doing better than some other people. Now yeah, right yeah. Now. His, his, points still... are, his, his points are just legitimately bad. They're not just, I mean, they're not just a racist card. Uh, we've got, because there'll be a comment I'll send on the Discord that I'll happily let Rags read out, which will be, amuse you about the... Uh, the people who look at me criticizing this film, but um, Hunter the Hunter, would you guys ever consider watching and commenting on a nostalgia critic video on stream? Um, I mean, yes, but like I've always, I kind of consider that a low hanging fruit, or at least a little bit unfair. I, I don't know if this is offensive to him, but I like would say, is he not like a children's entertainer in that he's, <laughs> it's it because these video essays they're trying to say like we have important things to say about film. It's like okay. Okay, yeah, let's let's try it out. But like, if you're trying to go like, I'm trying to have some fun with kids and explain a movie in a funny way, I'd be like, well, feels a little bit cruel. But if someone found a particularly egregious video, we could uh, go over why, I suppose, in terms of structure. But yeah, I'm not opposed to uh, covering him. And again, like, I don't even know where I rate him entirely in terms of because it's funny. You got all these people who are kind of manipulative with their videos versus someone like Nostalgia Critic who, dare I say, he's more honest in that his goal is to just sort of. Do a quick commentary. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to watch more of it. I'm um, not sure. Someone's asking about Willem's Alien Covenant video. Oh yeah, I will watch that. But I think me and Wolf would like to see Alien Covenant again before watching it, so we can actually fact check. I need to see it the first time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, job in B. Wolf, you missed a key opportunity to cast Jared as Wolverine. The Church of Jared will have to reprimand you for this heresy. I would happily see Jared as Wolverine in a a redo of. Oh, could you imagine? Like a. Oh man, that'd be amazing. I just let him go nuts. It'd be great. Uh, Zach Pulido, as an aspiring author, I can't thank you guys enough. I went through my work with the same level of scrutiny and ended up rewriting nearly all of it. Now it's better than ever. Dude, yeah, that's good. Excellent. That's a good thing. <laughs> Redrafting is the best thing ever. No, I, dude, yeah. as I've, I wrote 65,000 words and it wasn't good and I started over again. It's not yeah, a man. nice thing to do, but it would be better because of it. Don't Ryan Johnson it. <laughs> all right. Uh, Skull on Wheels and Fairies and Unbridled Praise. Killmonger as Superman. That German rant is hilarious. Oh god, that's how far back I am. Um, I'm African, enjoyed Muller's review, great points. Well, apparently not. Except for a few that he doesn't leave in the video. Uh, PC is w the Wakanda of gaming platforms. OP? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, actually, okay, I see that. I was like, it's not hidden, though. <laughs> uh, please someone do the Iron Fist review, can't wait. Dude, I have no desire to make... I think he's saying that because I brought it up. Oh, I, have I, no I, I was wondering if it was like a video he was referring to, like maybe an Iron Fist one from somebody, but... Nah, I... Look, I've made it clear that Daredevil is the best of the Marvel Netflix shows. I would just say that's the one, if you have limited time, that's the only one I would recommend watching. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, maybe maybe Punisher. Punisher can be, is pretty entertaining. And the first season of Jessica Jones I liked, but yeah, Daredevil was by far the best one. Uh, you guys are just colonizer splaining. They didn't even we didn't even get to that in the film. Uh, maybe I think he's avoiding it because she definitely says, <laughs> like, "We'll see." It'll have to be in part two, maybe. Um, Af other African tribes did find the Wakandans, though. The lady at the museum says the vibranium spears from another African tribe and the British soldier. Oh yeah. yeah, we did we did read that one out. We talked about. Uh, but if they knew, but if they had a vibranium spear, then how come the people at the museum were like, "Oh shit, the thing that this is made out of"? Like, oh god, I wonder if there's any more. Yeah, you'd think that would have gotten to the shield, you know? It would have been like, oh, we do have an actual vibranium spear in this museum. They'd be like, oh, shit, we made Captain America's shield out of that. We could probably use that for something. It's very, very... I mean, that's to, that just raises more questions about the film. <laughs> Isle Wakanda, mm -hmm. the first human faction in Stellaris IRL. Um, <laughs> people don't chase legends. Those people who spend their lives looking for Bigfoot don't exist. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Wakanda uses dead animals as border markers, I guess. See, we're catching up now. <laughs> we're getting there. Uh, who needs concrete walls when you have landscaping? That's true. Can someone please explain to me why the quality of movies is so ass in 2018, or is it just me? Um, 2018 has not been a good year. What, what, do, you, what do you think, Wolf? Because a lot of people have said to me, it's like, it's no different than any other year. And I was like, I don't know. 2018 feels a little bit different to me. Just felt a yeah, I mean, I've I've pointed out to you in the past that like over the past like five or six years, movies have been noticeably getting worse and worse and worse. But this year is like, it, it's kind of insane how many bad movies came out this year. I mean, last year there were some bad ones. I mean, Last Jedi, Justice League, uh, um, Wonder Woman, you know, shit like that. But I mean, this year it's like I'm struggling to think of the good ones. Infinity War, Best Friends. Uh, That's always the two that you have. <laughs> just like, well, this is the thing. I mean, me and Wolf don't I mean, see I, every I, film that comes out, obviously. So, yeah, I mean, indie films, I I virtually never watch. Not because I have anything against them. I just you know don't really ever get around to them. But when one of my favorite movies this year, like unironically, is a Tommy Wiseau film, then that's not a good thing. No. And I'm now Green just trying just, to look uh, at a he's list. He's releasing a new film this year, I believe. Oh, uh, Mission Impossible Fallout was pretty great. I've heard Fallout's good. I yeah, really yeah, enjoyed it. Good. Me and Wolf will check that out that sometime as a let's, let's hope for 2018. Maybe 2018 wasn't so bad. Dude, it, it was really, really entertaining. Um, There were Lots of great moments in that film, in particular, especially the final sort of um, set piece was kind of incredible. Yeah, cool. Fair enough. Uh, I will check it out yeah. eventually. I, I heard good things about it. I just I haven't watched any Mission uh, Impossible yeah, movie. I'm, so. I'm just uh, I'm just looking at a, a list of the films that have come out this year, and you're it's not wrong. There have been some some duds. Like uh, there was what Skyscraper, you know, Die Hard, but not good. Um, what what else was there? Incredibles two was not. I didn't enjoy it very much. Uh, the Predator, well, uh, Ant Man uh. and the Wasp, <laughs> The Nun, um, uh, A Quiet Place, <laughs> Solo. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, funny yeah. though. A, lo a <laughs> lot of these films have all in kingdom. Views. They're apparently not very yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, Jurassic World two, uh, The Meg, Oceans eight. Uh, so. Was Sicar uh, Sicario was wasn't good, times. was it? I hated it. It was, Sicario. it was, it was, I, yeah, it dude, was not dude, as good as the first one. I'm going to make a video eventually because I adore the first one. The second one kind of shits on it, like, in terms of the fucking point of it. I don't want to go too much into well, that. <laughs> I got to yeah, say, uh, I was surprised when I saw the trailer for it. I'm like, really? They're doing a sequel? To really? It, yeah, there's no. no need for a sequel. That's my main issue with it. Yeah, and then there there was Slender Man, there was Ready Player One. Oh, jeez. Yeah, would... Ready Player One. <laughs> Dude, Annihilation <laughs> I... was this year, wasn't it? Yeah, and I wouldn't I wouldn't say... I Well, no, I would say A Wrinkle in Time, but I am absolutely convinced that is a comedy and that <laughs> they were trying to trick everyone because I swear <laughs> to God, 
that is one of the funniest movies I have ever seen. I was laughing through all, almost the entire thing. We need to have we need to have like a bad movie get together thing. We, no, we need to lost like, 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 lost like lost lost. I, I recommend the Predator. No, you guys need to see a Wrinkle in Time. I mean, you have to see like giant titan oprah talking about how big she is because i swear it i i was in a different universe when i watched that movie and it was it was amazing but yeah as you've just gone through it's like 2018 has been rough for movies uh not saying it's irredeemable not saying it's the worst year ever but i'm pretty sure it's the worst year ever <laughs> deadpool 2 was pretty good though it's i, this, I this thought is the thing ant-man and oh, the yeah. wasp wasn't terrible but the thing is it's like oh no, it's these, all right these ones that aren't terrible, it's like that doesn't really change the scale too much, guys. Well, I suppose with me, for the Ant-Man movies, I just get a little cynical because I wanted to see what Edgar Wright wanted to do with the first one and it, yeah. it will never exist now, and that bugs me. But, um, yeah, I'll try and do these fast. Uh, when an explorer stumbles on Wakanda, the most dangerous game, we was Kang's edition. Um... <clears throat> I guess. <laughs> the, the thing is, he'd just be murdered, so yeah, it would be the most dangerous game. I love that he still, he already alluded to that, he didn't want to say it. It's classic. Uh, remember kids, when you're slightly inconvenienced, just give up. It's not like human history is based on people doing crazy shit that we thought was impossible before we did it. Don't climb that mountain when you get to it. Exactly. Oh, Appa, I have seen Alpha. I liked it. Um, in Wakanda, they'd be like, do you, you know would. the way? Oh wait, we answered that one, I believe. Uh... You know how the last last year 4chan did it's, it's okay to be white prank for Halloween? How bad do you think the SJWs would react if a bunch of white people dressed up as a Black Panther for Halloween? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they, that's a thing, right? Halloween costumes are offensive, that's a thing that happened. That's probably gonna happen again this year. Like certain costumes, like say you, you dress up as like a Mexican cowboy or something, they'd be like, that's yeah. cultural appropriation. Which Didn't is you? pretty funny. Uh, the border tribe is stationed outside of the dome, and their primary job is to protect the border. I would think they would turn people away from entering, just a thought. Exactly, though, the, the scenario we gave where they're like, you can't go over there, and you go, okay, I'm gonna go over there, and you go, no, you can't. It's like, uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, look at North Korea. Like, it's it's difficult to stop absolutely anybody, and then there's a lot of- we, we did go over it, there's just a lot of ways how the information could leak out. Um... I plot the holes down in Wakanda. You'd have I can't I can't sing. I singing. plot the holes down in Wakanda. There you go, beautiful Rex. Uh, even Cap knows about Wakanda and vibranium. As in Age of Ultron, when Bruce says Wakanda, he looks at Tony and says, "I thought your dad used all the vibranium." They're referring to the fake Wakanda when they say that, though. In fairness, not they don't know it's like a technological marvel thing. Um, how many ghost hunters are on TV? But Wakanda, no. Yeah, that's the case. Uh, randomly remind me of this. There was an Afri African king so rich he caused an economic crisis when he gave away a massive amount of gold while on a pilgrimage to Mecca, devaluing the metal for a decade. Interesting. Um, Wakanda has covert op missions into other countries, see Killmonger's dad, but their espionage activities were never caught, ever. I don't care how advanced they are. Spies get caught and information gets extracted. This That's just another way the information no, can get out. No, they're just that good. That's the thing. It's just another way the information can get out, but we're told it didn't. It didn't. It's like, okay. YouTuber makes stupid excuse for bad movie. Mola, uh, what? Well, yeah, that's, you know, it's, it's one of the common ones, the whole writing the script for the script writer. Um, so the guy in the video said, thanks for being civil in the comments and proceeds. Oh, no, he says, thanks for being civil in the, in the video, I think, at one point, and then said, uh, proceeds to insult you throughout <laughs> his response to you. Seriously, this guy's starting to feel a little two-faced. In fairness, if you're referring to his comment, he did do that after this video was made, so... Um, I think he's probably happy that I reacted that way instead of ripping into him, but I did say in my comment I hadn't seen the video, so maybe he was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, congrats more on getting a huge mention praise from Saga on your stream with V. Love seeing great content made us grow. Well, yeah, I had a lot of fun talking to both of them. Um, and Sargon was clearly a fan of Predator as a franchise, so he was not happy with the new film as well. But um, I'll get in more trouble because I'm, you know, talking to Wolf was enough to make me a racist. Rags will make me a, um, what, what are you, Rags? Do I, do I become a dog now? Uh, uh, Alt-right, I guess. Yeah, Autocrat, to, fascist. To, I think uh, talking to V and Sargon, I'll just be crucified by the end of the week, probably. As long as I don't. But talking to me, you know, nobody. I get, I, get a, I get a few points if I talk to you. You're a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get right. green points. He's a <laughs> Uh, love your stuff, Rags and Wolf. Gotta see Fringy too. Yes, 
Thank you. Check Yay. out everybody. We'll try and do. I'll try and promote people at the end of the of the stream. Give you guys a big rundown of what these uh, flim flams offer. I was so bored and tired watching this in theaters. I fell asleep for half of it. Only MCU film uh, I have at least got a nap in in a lazy boy out of. Well, you know that's a positive. Well, I'm glad it did something for you. Uh, maybe that's why Black Panther loses so badly because he was trained by pacifists. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> it makes sense. I finally caught a stream. Rags needs to make more videos. I've already watched them all twice. Yeah, Rags, what's that about, huh? Uh, don't. I've got a bunch of new art and stuff that's getting worked on right now. Um, so uh, a lot of stuff's going into the channel at the moment. It'll be out. Do not you worry. I have things lined up, so do not you worry. There you go. Uh, the new challenge to become king. I'll have pacifism for four hundred dollars. That's a reference to uh, The Price is Right. To Wakanda. No, <laughs> that's a joke, but I'm, I'm trying to get through these quickly, so I'll try not to stay on it. Uh, the scene showed them asking the tribe leader with their warrior standing next to them. Uh, then they asked if anybody of royal blood if want to challenge for the throne. Killmonger is of royal blood and within his right to challenge for the throne. Yeah, that's fine with me. I, I just assume he's a part of um, uh, T'Challa's clan as well. Like, he's of royal blood. I don't know. It's not really important anyway compared to the rest of the film's problems. Uh, the rest of the world was savage and so Wakanda did not care for it. Is led by only guy who punches best. Like, yeah. That's, that's the savage part of it which makes us think that by definition puts the, the burliest and most violent person in charge. What does that mean for your society when you do that? He sounds like H-Bomber guy. I think he might actually be him. Have we seen the two of them in the same room? No, we haven't. Comic books well, matter. I, I just thought that meant he's Superman. Turn your brains off, we're having fun. They should add rhinos to Farming Simulator 19. True. Um, Wakandan logic, they created the cure for all illness, now let's create an antidote for it. <laughs> That's the weird thing to me. Why would they even want a, a counter to the greatest thing in the world? Yeah, you'd think they'd... You'd, it's like you just, you'd think they'd give it to everybody. And he actually kind of agreed with that point as well, which is interesting, isn't it? Um... Given how much weight. It's not like it's not like someone can take it away from you. So it's not like you can give it to somebody else and then other people get it through proxy or something. Um given how much weight being traditional is given in Wakanda, do you think Patrick H. Williams MCU doppelganger lives there? It's like, well, considering he loves traditional reviewers, he's probably stationed in Wakanda right now. That's where they, they home grow traditional rhino farming reviewers. He lives with Movie Bob. Needs some horny milk. Found you via world class bullshits. Keep fighting the good fight. Absolutely. Jared Genesis Jar Jar video. I mean, we, we, we'll get to. We need to cover more of his On Wolf podcast. Like, get through like several. We can only ever get through like one or two. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we were talking about doing a Jared. Jared only. <laughs> Jared, a Jarathon? You know, I think uh, Jared actually said to me on Twitter that, like, uh, he appreciated that I was very respectful to him, and that <laughs> if Mauler had been nicer, he would have gone on the podcast with <laughs> yeah, you. Mauler. Yeah, I'm the reason he didn't come on now. I was like, oh, oh. Yeah, that For, actually, yeah. First it was Rags, now it's Mauler. I it's genuinely, I love the quotes, because I thought I was the nice one, but I may have said something that even I would be like, oh, that was too mean, but I, I can't remember being mean. It's like... Oh yeah, whatever. Uh, but he still seems like he's playing hard to get. Like he keeps Rags, referencing. Did you it. see? Did you see the drawing that he sent you on Twitter? No. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> uh, there's only yeah, three hey, here it is. Um, I just found it. Oh, oh sorry. Go ahead. It's, Go it's ahead. slightly amazing. Share it in the uh, in the chat so Rags can see it. Uh, the oh spear boy. in the museum was encased in stone. I'm not sure if that's supposed to say like that's why they didn't know it was vibranium. But yeah, either or that 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 could be the case. Off topic, but I'm curious. Tell me why Mark Brown sucks. I hear you rip on him a lot, but not in detail. Love you. Uh, there is. Where, where's the video of us taking down one of Mark Brown's videos? It's not an EFAP one, is it? That's on. Um, that's on my channel. Let yeah, me... it's one of Wolf's podcasts. I can't remember. I which think one, I might have put. I think I put his name in the title. So let me. Yeah, we'll try and find it real quick. Um, uh, there have been some really good films this year. Leave No Trace, First Reformed, Apostate, The Party, Death of Stalin, for example. I have not heard of any of them, so... I haven't heard of any of them. That either. could be my issue, then. But, um... I guess we should just say, of the films we have seen, and a lot of them have been mainstream, uh, they've been very lackluster. A lot of misses. But yes, that is all the super chats I got through it, which means... Hooray! Uh, we can move on Which to... means Mundane Matt. I post it in the, uh, Discord. Oh, sweet, okay. Well, which one are we doing? Are we doing... 
I mean, how how long you went to this the pertinent question. Well, he, uh, did he a... remove it? Hey, everyone. Oh, yes. no way. It I'm still looking, works I'm for me. Looking. It's two and a half minutes, and we can definitely do this. Yeah. It Here is... we go. Here we go, Rags. Here's hey, the everyone. drawing he made you. Uh, oh, it's very, it's very abstract. <laughs> very abstract. <laughs> oh, sorry. There are um, there, these are. I always forget to read these out. There's ones on. Um, I guess you'd call it the the super. Uh, yeah. No. Wait, sorry. The the other thing that's not super chats. The um the Streamlabs donations. There's three of them. Uh, one of them says uh, about to go to bed. Now you faggots alive. So much for that. Uh, so thank you. I'm black and actually African, born and raised. Enjoy Black Panther at least the first time. Hard film to watch a second time, but I appreciate your reviews. So you had great points. Well, thank you. And uh, first stream I caught live. And yeah, obviously, um, thank you all. Yes, not racist confirmed. Thank you all for very generous donations as well. I meant to obviously say that at the end instead of for everyone. Uh, It's very much appreciated. And it's uh, very kind of you all. And I actually managed to read out those ones this time, which I always forget to do. Uh, You guys going to tear apart Movie Bob's latest video, Plot Hole Surface. That's going to be on Wednesday. We're actually doing this again in just two days now. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is two days. Because this video seemed like it was worth responding to. And now... Well, we're going to have to do two this week. I hope you guys are, are up for that, since it'll be, what, like 10 hours total or something ridiculous? But, um, yeah, is everyone good to see this mundane Matt video? Yeah, we can do that mm-hmm. one. Yeah, it shouldn't Absolutely. take us so Just for context, for anybody who doesn't know mundane Matt, he, uh, he got caught reporting channels and getting their videos taken down and strikes applied to their channels because they were saying things that were mean about him. It wasn't even specifically, like anything slanderous or inaccurate. He literally just didn't like it when people were saying mean stuff and laughing at him crying. And then, and then he lied about it on stream and then he was exposed for doing it and then he pretended for months that it didn't happen, gave a half-hearted apology on Tumblr and the uh, reason everyone calls him Boulder Boy is because, <laughs> is because his uh, excuse for not for supposedly not flagging anything is that he was collecting boulders with his eight-month-old, so he couldn't have possibly done it. <laughs> Look, listen, it's tradition. It's tradition. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm pleading insanity. <laughs> it runs in the Jarbo family. Jarbo. But yes, you, you, so uh, he ignored this as a result, and his channel has been plummeting in terms of respect, views, and just attention, I suppose, because not many people can trust this man anymore, and his whole the premise of his channel is that he'll give you it real, you know? Like, this is how it goes. This what, is what's happening. What's the like to dislike ratio on this video? It's actually here. positive. If hey, everyone. Right. That. Oh, wow. For My the first Mac- time in months. Yeah, I was going to say that must be because people are like, fucking finally, this is what you should have done. Yeah, but the thing is, is that can you believe him anymore? He lied on the stream outright for oh, well, a while. And I'm then, curious. You know, I can't trust him. We can, we can break this down. I'm curious what he's going to say. But um, was everyone good? Yeah. 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 All right, then. One. My name is Matt Jarbo, and oh, this is a video I should have made a long time ago. Yes. Oh, you reckon? I owe an apology to Tonkasa, Failure Accomplished, Andy Worski, Swedish Mate, Dame Pesos, and Maxwell Silver for reporting. Well, Mr. Medica, though. <laughs> you kind of lied to him as well. I guess, I guess it's not about lying, it's about the actual reports, so that's fair. Yeah, did he, did he uh, take down any of Medica's videos? Or? I don't think so. Um, I don't know. But he did lie to him, to his face, which I think is worth an apology, but obviously if he's going to get to that later, then fair enough. ...putting their videos to YouTube for bullying and harassment. I should not have done it. I deeply, deeply regret my actions. And I allowed myself to become angry, to become bitter, and to let it fester and to let it rot and to let it push me to do something that is absolutely antithetical to my core principles. Uh, I'm just going to pause it right there. Um, uh, do you think that he would be really sorry for it if he didn't get caught? That is, of no, course, because he a was, concern. No, I don't, I don't think so, because he was doing it for a long time. Because yeah, that's the, the thing, problem he is, though, lied up until he... The thing is, though, yeah, at this that point, like what can he do? Thing. Like, what can he do well, if that's the case? I, I don't know! Like, it's, it's, that's the thing. What yeah, can you... No, it's not my problem. Lie? I didn't lie about flagging people's channels for but, and, and weeks and months. And the thing is... And everyone seems, to, it's weird, lying about it is not nearly as bad as actually doing it. Do you think he's going to cry in this video? I just, comes, I think people... there's got to be something we can provide him in terms of 
uh, he's acknowledged he's this the the action of saying this stuff gets you like one point at least you gotta get him right something. but i guess i guess well let's look at it this way right i know it's not the same but it rob somebody and then you get caught and then you're like yeah i did it i'm sorry you've still done something wrong hmm. and what do you get for that until you, you know? shoot and kill another robber you aren't in the clear. <laughs> well, not until something actually negative happens, I guess. That's the issue, isn't it? I guess... Yeah, and, and the issue is... It's to something... Punishment of some sort. Well, like, but again, do, how does that get thought out? And well, he, it, it, he didn't make a mistake. He continually did this yeah. over a long period of time. What so if, um, it mm -hmm. isn't against his principles. And when he says that it's against my principles, I don't believe you. I don't believe it's that he at this point. It's against the principles he, you know, claims he to, wants have. to have. He wants to have. Maybe he wants to have, mm. but he doesn't actually maybe. hold them. So yeah. what, if you, let's say you were his older brother and you actually loved the shit out of him, what would your recommendation be like for what he should do next? Uh, apologize and then maybe YouTube for while maybe you know give it a little bit of time i guess yeah I, I would say maybe you take a break you need to put yourself in a bit of a timeout is this video monetized yeah. oh we'll Wait, sorry sorry that. i just caught that someone in chat said up till now i gave maul the benefit of the doubt that he truly believes what he says and had a shred of integrity what's that about yeah he claims he's left wing while only ever supporting right wing candidates like Le Pen and Trump and left-wing policies. Is this about me? Is Trump right-wing? He's well, kind of a moderate. But I don't even... Since when do I support Trump? <laughs> I'm... When did you... Have you ever even talked about politics on no. your channel before? This, this is the funny thing. V, like, I think a good half an hour into our conversation or whatever, said, um, I have no idea what your politics are. And I was like, yeah, you don't need to know. We can just talk about videos and uh, films. So it's, it's, it's completely unnecessary. But like, the way I look at it is I really... I did that political test that, they, that went around my Discord, and I, I shot on, like, I think it was left, slightly more left than right, and more... What was it? Um, what are the two options that go up and down? Do you authoritarian remember? and um, libertarian. Libertarian. It? Yeah, I was yeah. more. I was more libertarian than authoritarian. Though. That's apparently where you probably I am. sound the same as me. Then I think because that's about where I am. Um. But yeah, you know, I and I've only spoken to V and Sargon about films, just like I would happily talk to H Bomber Guy or Movie Bob. Even I would happily talk to Movie Bob about films. If he started telling me that all Nazis need to die, I'd be like, okay, what if dude. What he told you you weren't <laughs> genetically pure enough? to debate him on a movie. <laughs> that is his prerogative, I suppose. Well, that, that that's something that I would say, obviously. Yeah, I knew, by the way, that um, any connection to Sargon gets me in trouble, but I just, I'll just i just continue with the principle that who I talk to does not determine my beliefs in politics. It's kind of weird to even assume that, mm -hmm. considering me, Rags, Fringy, and Wolf would probably all disagree with each other on different topics about politics. Just because yes, we talk yeah. to each other doesn't mean we all follow the exact same. Uh... Like, fr because Fringy is a he is a staunch, unrepentant white nationalist, but we <laughs> oh, still yeah. hang out. Oh, we still course. hang out with him. I think it's cool. And Whereas Wolf is a Nazi. I'm I'm a good yes. person. Uh, Rags is not. These are the differences. I'm a, sign I'm a Scientologist. <laughs> there you go. Um, How dare you deny the truth? Yeah, I'm, cur I'm curious though. If H Bomber guy agreed to talk to me, would I actually? Do you think that I would actually get a bunch of people who are like, "Wow, Mola supports you know hard left ideas"? Is that yeah, how that works? You would. Matt, yeah, I, probably I you would. You might get a few, but I don't really. No, I don't. I don't think so. I, they. I think they would be the exception because this is something that I I rarely, rarely ever see when people from the middle or the right talk to people on the left. Rarely do I get from the middle or the right. The accusations that the left throws at people. Yeah, but I get all I the mean, I get all the fun where people call me like a Nazi because I said like one nice thing about Trump once, <laughs> and then uh, if I say anything that's like perceived as left wing, I'm called a communist, even though I like <laughs> shit post about why communists are idiots on Twitter like regularly. I'm I get called neither, which makes me really happy. I must be doing something. <laughs> Well, I just, I was like, hopefully that'll clear it up. And I was like, no, I won't clear anything up. <laughs> it's like, it's not going to do shit. Um, 
But yeah, I was just gonna say there's uh, two things I may as well read out so I can get them done instead of trying to stack them up again. Um, gotta buy some boulders, which, absolutely. And I understand your questioning of the film, but to expect a film to explain many years of comic lore is just nitpicking. Like, y'all did research to debunk arguments, y'all could have done the same to understand the lore. Big fan of yours, Mauler. So the difference, and thank you again for the, for the donation, the, the difference is that it changes the stakes in the film. So we're like... For example, with with the flower power, I'm like, you. Why have we arbitrarily decided that all of these characters are now weaker than they should be? That's taking me out of the film a little bit. While um, something like, I don't know, the the full history of of uh, T'Challa's dad could be found in the comics if I really wanted it, but I don't need it. It doesn't matter to the story at hand. I mean, actually, you could argue that it does. Um, but I guess the principle I should explain is that. For one, the comics are just um, where they adapted from. They don't necess They can of often conflict with the movies, so it's not necessarily a reliable source of information. And two, your story, just just like the Last Jedi and and whatever else, should not rely on third party information to make sense, to have its stakes, to explain the drama. It can it can in it can inform. You'd be like, what's the story of IG eighty eight in Star Wars? That's usually what I end up going with as an example. We don't need to know for Empire Strikes Back to work, but hey, could be cool. Let's have a game about it. Let's have a comic. Why not? Let's just look into it. And that's, that's the difference for me. And obviously, with context, I'd need to argue why um, the ones I brought up for Black Panther affect the plot, but I, I would happily do that. That's usually how I try and differentiate it. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, if anyone else wants to add to that or not. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd say the pertinence to the plot really determines how important it is, I guess. If it affects the plot in a way that's noticeable, like it, if it raises questions... Mm -hmm. that kind of need to be answered, then, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the premise of plot holes, isn't it? Like, if, um, you can actually, ex you know, everything that happens in A Quiet Place, uh, me and Wolf could probably get pedantic enough that we could explain everything away in a book. Like, every single interaction and every little thing that doesn't make sense, we could explain in a book. For example, they're like, why didn't they move to the river? Me and, me and Wolf could write it so that the main character is afraid of water in large quantities. So there you go, they can't go to the river because she's afraid of it. She has thalassophobia, I think it is. Fear of water. Hydrophobia. But, um, you know, and you keep going. It's like, why did the kid put the batteries in the thing that got him killed when he should know all about it? And then we establish that he, he can... Actually, I'm not sure how to fix that one. <laughs> I'd have to work for a while. But uh, third-party stuff can keep fixing. So it's, um, we keep it separate as, as like, a principle. And I, I think it makes sense, right, that a story should stand on its own. Because, um... You can always develop and improve, but but it's supposed to to get the satisfying payoffs. The the film has to provide the stakes on its own. It shouldn't have to rely on us reading a book before going to see the film. Yeah, they shouldn't have to hand you a pamphlet as you walk into the theater. <laughs> oh, I'll just keep this on hand all times. Yeah. yeah. But Do you anyway, want to keep going with the Matt, Monday Matt one? Well, that, this is the thing about this. I feel like this video is probably going to be as good as it can be, but he's still in trouble. Right. That's probably going to be the conclusion, but we'll uh, we'll keep going. Mm-hmm. I'm deeply embarrassed by my actions and I'm embarrassed as a result of the past few weeks. As I said, this is something I should have done a while ago. When it all came down, when it all happened, I did the first thing I could think of, which is to protect myself. I followed that human instinct, continued on like nothing was happening issued a statement and just kept moving forward. That wasn't the right course of action. That should have been pretty clear, dude. <laughs> like it's a, well, yes. Yeah. When everybody all over the internet was like, don't do X, and he was like, X seems like the right idea. <laughs> you should do X. I don't know X, I, I'm not feeling X. Ultimately, what it boiled down to, and this is something I, I just learned over the course of this weekend, or I should say understood over the course of this weekend is that it wasn't about protecting myself. It ultimately came down to protecting my ego. Oh wow. And that is not huh. the right play. That's not the right course of action. I fucked up. I made a mistake. No, 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 and... no, 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 no. You didn't make a mistake. You made a, you made a, long, series... <laughs> you made a long series of mistakes over a period of months, which yeah, it comes across as a little bit more than just so, like like you know angrily punching somebody and being like, "Oh fuck!" You know, sorry, I, I lost my shit. Well, I think I think it's probably worth pointing out that this is one of the things that you 
as somebody who also occupies the platform because you should be aware of the fact that you could ruin someone's livelihood. Yeah, so this is yeah. Bit... this is why it's so like this is never going to be good enough because what he did was quite. It's so many, it's so it's bad for so many reasons. It's like well, taking people's imagine... potential sources of money because you don't like what they said when you're a channel that's all about defending free speech. That's like so fucked up in so many ways. Well, I would say you know imagine if there were some leaked emails from a newspaper where it literally confirmed that they they lied about certain news stories for particular reasons that benefited them as a company or politically. Mm. If they apologize, that's not really good enough because their job is to be honest and they weren't. Yeah. You know, it, it depends on the nature of your mistake relative to what you do. Yeah. And it's one of those like things that's unfalsifiable drug. in a sense where if he right. would have gotten angry and punched somebody, if he does it again, we would know. But this... Right. I mean, how do you, I mean, how do you make sure he doesn't anymore, you know? Like, this is the kind of thing that you can't check. You can't make sure they don't do it again. Yeah, this is, mm -hmm. I, you can't recover because you've broken any expectation. Because you take a person you don't know at all, and you're like, well, I, I don't know if I can trust them, but I have no reason not to. So you just go ahead with it. And if you know Monday Matt for years, you're like, I can always trust everything he said, but now you've, now this has happened. You're like, yeah, I... How could I ever it trust out, you again? Yeah, it turns out that mm -hmm. all that time I spent trusting him, he was actually doing this. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's uh, not hard to get to the end, I suppose. And I want to own it. I need to own it. I want to move forward. I want to use this moment in time as a catalyst. Not sure how you move forward, for, to be honest. It's pretty difficult, <laughs> isn't it? Like, yeah, I understand say. wanting to, and you're like, how, explain to me how I do it. It's like, oh, man, it's tough. Here's, he was saying, well, like, I'm yeah. giving $100 all the people whose videos have flagged to make up for any potential loss that they had. I mean, the thing, it's not just saying you won't do it again. It's a direct attempt to fix the issue that you've created. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. It's like if you accidentally break something, it's much more meaningful to say, sorry, I won't do it again, but also fix the broken thing than it would be to just say, oh, sorry, I won't you know do what? it again. Maybe this is a good time for him to not only take the break, as you guys suggested, but um, improve the content. Maybe take one story per week. Well, and really... will will he do that? Though? No, no. I'm say I'm no. saying a theoretical solution, like oh, as, yeah, as if Monday right. Monday Matt's not going to actually pay anyone. That's just Rags' suggestion. My suggestion would be like create a new Monday Matt that's going to show all of his references. Oh yeah, uh, like a rebranding. And be like, mm -hmm. and you don't need to convince us to trust you. You can show the evidence. Like that would that would yeah, help so, you. Right. I mean, because what like he makes very 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 simple low effort stuff and it's not necessarily bad especially if you're a news channel but normally if you have low effort stuff to like sticks hex and hammer right his videos themselves are low effort in the sense that he just talks to a camera but he knows what he's talking about he's informed and he has you know well well formed opinions Things like that. And you know that there's research that goes into what he's saying because he references things all the time and stuff that's happening and he keeps up on the news and he remembers things that have happened. But when it comes to Monday Matt, he's essentially talking into a camera and he's not charismatic. He doesn't say any in, anything interesting. He doesn't seem to have any real opinions strongly one way or the other. And again, if you have his TLJ video, I would love to have that if anyone out there uh, has a copy of it. I feel like... Um, we're never going to get it, but it's worth asking, I suppose. Yeah, um, but Matt, like, seriously, if you have Monday Matt's video on Star Wars that he did, uh, I would love to see what he said. And, um, yeah, I think bringing back uh, Poli the Polar Bear, that would be another um, potential solution. <laughs> I mean, that, that was the best he ever watched on his channel. You know, when I saw that, I was just like... <laughs> That's the kind of thing for me. It doesn't matter at all. It was like, it was such on, a just like just oh poor Matt. He didn't get rid of it before everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Not only for me, but for my family, and most importantly, my daughter. She's part of your family. <laughs> I own my actions. I apologize for them, and I won't ever do them again. Mm. It's like you're saying that your daughter's adopted, like my family and my wait. <laughs> I'm not, well, I'm, it's his family and his wife's daughter. I was gonna say, is I can't remember if that's a bee or daughter. Is it actually his daughter, like naturally, or is it? Uh, I, I don't know. Idea. I don't know. 
But um, it's not relevant, though, is it? Yeah, yeah it's just, not relevant. It's just like, interesting yeah. having to see my family and my dog. Him like, saying that's... that he'll never do it again. It's like Mac, come on. I don't believe you. The, you would have said I mean, that it's... a year ago that you would never do this, and you did. It. Well, I suppose <laughs> the thing is, like, you he he lied, so it makes it difficult to know whether or not it's the truth. He very easily sat in that stream and lied. So he's clearly, I mean, he's not a good one because people figured it out, but he doesn't have an issue with bullshitting and pretending. But so how, how can you take lying it seriously? about it isn't nearly as bad as him going through and actually doing those things for the months. Oh, no, yeah, of course. The actual thing that he did was... Yeah, like that in and of itself shows far more dishonesty than him lying about it to protect himself. Like it, yeah, it's shitty that he lied about it, sure, but it it's nothing compared to the months of him actually flagging the. Mm -hmm. That shows more dishonesty. I hope going forward, I can earn back the trust of those that I've lost. Mm. All twelve of them, and we can <laughs> all move past this as a group together, mm, moving forward. It's not gonna be as a group. I don't yeah, think don't, it's gonna don't happen. Lump, don't lump me into that. Why are you lumping <laughs> get, get past this as a group? Hey man, they did nothing video, wrong. You... I don't have to get past shit. Towards Ugh. better things. I just wanted to put this out there and express my deepest regret for my actions. I thank you for your time. Don't remember have to a turn good off day. that pesky. <laughs> 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 no, may, maybe, but I would say. Hey, what's going on? Take guys? a break. I want to talk about. Oh it. man, this is gonna be yeah. great. This is gonna be great. <laughs> the, take a break from YouTube. Rebrand the channel. Mm -hmm. Get a new format going. Maybe take an oratory Try class harder. or something. Be interesting. Make more high effort content. Have opinions. You know, um, I would much rather watch Tim Pool. For which I disagree with on some things because he's he he's honest and he stands by the things that he believes and he he has principles that he follows. Then I would just some robot talking to a TV or or a, or a or camera reading an article telling mm -hmm. me what happened. It's like no, tell tell me what you think. Give me your take. Give me your opinion. I want to hear it. Also, I was going to say, we probably shouldn't do Down With Thrust as well, because we're already at 4 hours and 20 minutes, which will push us to like 6 at least. And it is yeah. 2.15 in the morning. And I, I need not only to oh, eat, wow. but also to go to toilet and basically go back to living life for a bit, <laughs> even though this has been a lot of fun. <laughs> so I, I was yeah. assuming you guys are, are pretty much on board with that, are you? Because we could always save yeah. Down With Thrust. Oh yeah, it's 4am oh, yeah. yeah. over here, so I'm about it's ready to pass yeah. out. So, oh boy. Um, <laughs> there are links to everyone's channels in the descriptions. I recommend both Wolf Rags and Fringy because they're all very both. wonderful. As I said, both Wolf Rags and Fringy. I know my English. Oh, yeah. he, he's the Fringy is just the, the like the little tacked on well, addition. I mean, he doesn't like, make oh, videos, God. does he? <laughs> Got, gotta add actually, that green guy. Actually, actually, videos, actually, hmm? actually, both refers to two people or things. Um, you're wrong. You I'm from. I, I, I know England both, better both because I am from Britain, and you you guys are from um, <laughs> America. No, what what that means is that 500 years ago you'd be right. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, there is a second channel I'm running right now. Where Wait, you, did you just use to... the tradition defense? Shut up. <laughs> Just read a response theory, dude. You're not paying attention. M Rhino milk. <laughs> I don't even know how we turned that to be, like, but we need to. Alex Jones, wasn't that one of his sponsors, Rhino Milk? Probably. It's got a lot of. It's got a lot of. Um, what even is Drink the... Rhino Milk. Raw. Brain force. The only milk globalists fear. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so subscribe to that channel and you'll be able to catch all of the uh, the episodes that come out regularly because they will be on this channel at least. Um, we'll be back on Wednesday uh, with, with, with. I think we're doing. Down with, I guess we could do down with Russ and uh, definitely Movie Bob's plot holes video, which everybody wants us to see. Because I'm, I'm even referenced in it, by the way. He, um, oh, I've seen the, uh, I saw a clip. He by basically name? he shows a review of Black Panther with a, a parody of Sargon's account, and he quotes me from my own video. 
So he's, he's making fun of, he has a British accent, but he's combining me with Sargon for some reason, and he also has it about Black Panther. So we'll have fun uh, when we get to that on Wednesday. Hope you guys uh, are interested in having a watch. And of course, thanks for watching, and thanks for the donations. And uh, I guess say goodbye, everybody. Hooray. See ya. Huzzah. Goodbye. White power.